In this world, you yank or you got yanked, says Flowey from Delta Traveler. Hi, chat. Out since yeek senses are tingling. <laughs> Mel had to stop Omorin for this, too. The entire world has ground to a halt for the, um, the, the citizens of Earth to uh, prostrate themselves at the altar of Yeek. Had to do a, a full mental second there just to make sure I didn't say prostate themselves. That would have been embarrassing. Um. <laughs> if Yeeking is wrong, I don't want to be right. Oh yeah, I meant to say supining themselves at the altar of ye. <laughs> Just like Gaster in that when election trekking scene. Supinate yourself. That would be like a yoga god. You have to bow down in the uh I don't know, the the backward bridge position. If ye has no fans, then I am dead. Exactly. Okay, so as anyone may recall from last stream, the, the last Yeek stream that was, if you were there, um, the game crashed after a very long and annoying puzzle, and then I quit and played Pizza Tower for like an hour, so, um, we're back at the door puzzle, but what do you know? I wasn't expecting this plot twist here, hang on. Um, Outsin, like a little... I don't know, Whimsical Fairy, just this morning, delivered me this. It is a, a handmade, um, like, game facts guide to solving the door puzzle. <laughs> With his own yeek art. Um, and, and the background image, for some reason, is the first page of Umaris, so... That's pretty good. And I'm gonna be following this to bypass the puzzle. <laughs> Thank you, Outsin, for that. I'm tempted just to leave this on the stream the whole time here. This is pure Andrew core. <laughs> I think it's very Outsin core. Uh, it's more accurate. We don't need the left side of the screen, do we? Nothing happens over there. No, I'll just... Uh, Actually, if I make it that small, I can't actually use it as a visual reference anymore. I feel like some streamers have face cams this big. Wait, what if I experiment here? Well, let's try like an experimental stream layout just for the beginning here. Uh, what is this one? Yeah. Cover the entire game. Yeah. All right, so, and we have our yeek, um, but I want, I think if I click OBS, it'll immediately minimize the game for some reason. That's the way it works. Um, so I'll have to do this. Just make it small. Um, and then this, like that. Can I like crush the um I want to disable like the aspect ratio preservation here. I don't even know how to do that in OBS. Maybe if I hold shift. Oh there it is. That's the good shit. That's the good shit. All right. So this is going to be the stream until we're past the door puzzle. <laughs> this should be great. This is high quality. Oh, wait, the, the gaster gif is covered up, though. That's not right. It should be like that. Perfect. Uh, we don't need the extra gaster either from the... Uh, Earthbounds, or not, not, it wasn't an Earthbound, it was a Delta Traveler stream. Okay, so I think, um, I have to remember how to play this game for a hot minute here. It was L to do that, then the skateboard, here we go.
Oh, I forgot there was enemies in this game. That's annoying. Okay, this one we can just flee from now. Um, I can't remember what, what was happening in this game, right? I don't think it really mattered. We're just we've just been on the spirit journey with the Essentia 2000 for a long time, and that's about it. And we're just trying to get through. We're trying to get to Switzerland, right? Alex is squished. Yeah, of course. This is the originally intended aspect ratio of the game, but they had to change it to meet like platform constraints. Oh, they gave me the bullshit pattern. That's not good. The greatest stream layout of all time. Oh, I still got it though. Look at me. Dodging robots and shit. Ouchie, ouch. Well, that's fine. We don't need Alex to run away. You hope Mystic joins says outside. If he's not too busy editing the, uh... Um, Twitch plays Undertale stream, by which I mean YouTube plays Undertale. She'll be fine. I've lost it. She took 44 damage from that? What the fuck? If I die, nothing happens. I just go back to the previous room, and it may be faster than running at this point. Alright, good start. We just completely, like, hard reset, party wipe to the beginning of the, uh, the stream again. It doesn't matter. Darkness falls. Oh, no, wait. I chose poorly. I chose really- oh, no, that restarts the battle. I've already made a terrible error. Okay, please just give me a pattern I can win this time. Why is it a different background this time? What, what, why did the background change? Why have the running mini game, but then give me patterns that are just impossible to actually win randomly? Okay, there we go. Alex's body was found bloated in a ditch near New Jersey Lake. The skeletonized body of Alex Yeek was found in the woods two weeks later. Uh, give me the cat. I need that cat. There we go. Wait, why does that locked itself again? Did- I had the ability to progress here, right? Have I- how far have I reset in this dungeon here? I- I don't even know. Shit. Passed it. Okay, I need that open. I need this guy to fuck off. Interact with this hand. Uh, the hand left. Why is this game longer than off? Maybe because it had a budget? That tends to help. Um, I, I legitimately don't remember the way to the door puzzle room anymore. So I hope I'm not going backward. I think this is the right way. Kind of sucks that the safe point was so far back, though. Sick guitar solo, Alex. The big pile of rocks. Ooh, physics. It looks so easy for the comb to just get, like, stuck in a wall or something there, just teleport into the sky. God, I don't trust anything in this game anymore. Anything related to physics. Okay, here, I remember this part, you bring the big fucking comb back, and you, you, you comb the big fucking hair, and then you take one damage on that one bit of goo that's hard to avoid. Fake Yeek fan. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on, that's... Why else would you be a Yeek fan, if not for the experience of having no idea what's going on? Okay, uh, wait, 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 no, I'm kidding, dude, I'm kidding. You're not gonna trick me this time, I don't need the comb, I just need to go to the pillar. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Okay, go. 
The alpaca doesn't have anything interesting to say, don't worry about it. What the hell is going on? Damn right. It's weird to start a Yeek stream and know that there's going to be no, like, Alex lines for, for a good while. It's, it's just dungeon crawling straight up. Alright, so here's where we employ the door solution. I have no idea how Outsin even obtained this information, but I'm going to trust it completely. Maybe open the chests. I, I don't know. It's, it was a mistake to open the chests. I shouldn't have done that. I should ignore everything except for getting through this room. What am I talking about? He's dead. It's like Orpheus escaping the underworld here. Just don't look back. Don't look back! Or however it goes in Hades. Alright. We recovered. Alex cannot go lower than 1 HP, so it really doesn't matter. Alright, uh, cross there. There is one enemy encounter that I'll have to deal with, which is the one down here, because it always gets you. Um... It's more efficient just to deal with it now, I think. I will heal Alex first, though. Use some fucking cheese? I don't know. A Tic Tac. Yeah, the BLTs. There we go. Just deploy the BLTs. Perfect. Outsin is the member of the true Yeekers ACDS guild, which contains two people as far as I know. It's very cool. The, um, Wagnerian epic music here. So let's see if I remember the strat. I believe you select EP strike. I, I fucked it up. You don't select EP strike. That's the noob trap. You want to select beatdown. This might still work, though, because Alex is yoked out of his mind currently. Yeah, he's pretty strong. He's buffing him. Um, Self-destruct isn't even viable because it uh, takes several turns to trigger. Therefore, it, it, it's impossible to actually save time by using it. Just do a fucking missile launcher, see if I give a shit. It's clearly an auto cannon. It's not a missile launcher at all. But okay. Destroyed. Yeah, we're being destroyed. Trivialize the game with slowdown. We'd love to see it. Eliminate. There was a Doctor Who reference, I think. I don't know if that was listed in the references document. All right. Well, this has gone badly. Everything one shots Alex now. I shouldn't bother healing him. Um, but I got summoning salts, right? Where are they? Oh, it's it's above. Oh my god. Okay. He's waking up. Eliminate. Please, God. Just dodge the attack. Okay. With these streams being a background noise, I've given up understanding the story or themes and just vibe. Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> I think that's all of us. Did I say summoning salts? It's been a bit since the first Yeek stream. I don't know where you've been, Mel. Playing Omori or some shit? playing a dumbass stupid game like Omori <laughs> instead of watching Yeek. All right. Beat down. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 That mashing. That should be enough. Yeah, it was enough. 420. The difference is, is ridiculous. Like, that deals 420, but EP Strike deals 60. That wasn't even that good of a combo.
Uh, maybe this music. What the fuck is the music doing? That may have been a record, just first try there. Like a world record, to be clear. Okay, one shot this fucker. So the big news in the room, of course, is that Yeek 1.5 is on the horizon. Which is like the super mega update overhaul to Yeek that makes it good. And definitely not bad anymore, from what I understand. I know that some people are very invested in that. Um, <laughs> such as Outsin. I... I don't know. <laughs> I may I may look at it to see what they did, because it, like, it's not just... They overhauled the combat system for starters, that seems like an obvious thing to do, just because... You know, you, you could improve the combat system tenfold just by cutting the enemy's health by 60%, but um... They've made a lot of extensive changes to that, but also they're like adding characters and like changing the story and god knows what. Um, so who actually knows? I, I don't know like... The, the big reason I'm skeptical, right, is that like the biggest flaw with this game is the writing and the pacing. Which I guess is two flaws. Um, but... Like... At, if, if you're fixing Yeek's pacing by adding more um, characters, that, that doesn't seem just like a good approach, because there's already too much shit. There's too many ideas in here, and they don't, like, interact or synergize. It, it's just like a, an onslaught of shower thoughts, basically. And so I have no idea how it's going to, like, improve the experience <laughs> by adding more more garbage. Okay, I've... Um, have to follow the guide. Right, so I go... back up, and then across. Just like this. Ignore the NPC. She don't got shit to say. Uh, oh wait, wasn't there a good record? Like the one-hit wonder was in here. I remember. Oh yeah, I actually remembered that somehow. What the fuck? Um, I have a, a poor memory in some areas, but sometimes I just remember weird shit. This is actually better than the mystical ultimate LP legend just because it, it's nothing but attack power, which is all I care about right now. The characters will info dump the player to make the lore easier to follow, thus making the game twice as long. Basically, yeah. All this useless chicken sandwiches. I'm ignoring these from now on. Oh, I think I took a wrong turn. Actually, it was fine. I still have the door. Alright, so I'm following the door. Um, I go up here, then I have to put the door into the slot. And then I go in the door. And now I'm up top. And now there's a guy up here, gotta be careful. You wanna deploy your cat. Get another fucking chicken sandwich. Pull the switch. Hit the lever! Oh, I took a shortcut. So, uh, Outsin's Game Facts guide is not, in fact, optimal and will have to be updated. <laughs> That's too bad. Okay, now do I go down? I'm assuming I go down. Oh, wait, he's coming. I gotta choose. Uh, I, I think I must have to go down. Um, yeah, you hit the switch. Oh no, I chose poorly. I had to go back. Okay, I just have to get to the other side now. Yeah, I chose very poorly. Hmm. I think I can just go back up here. It's fine. Okay. Now from here, I go down the other side. I go down three, and then I go left. Just like that. You go down. You go right. You go right again. And look at that, there's a door. Yeah, 
You hope to keep the dead sister line? Well, the dead sister line is integral to the plot. The whole time, people in chat were trying to tell me that they they like uh, tried to patch that line out, or they patched in the reaction to it, where Alex goes to his mind palace. But that was complete, like, false. Um, they were just bullshitting. Uh, that was intended from the beginning to be, like, the direction that scene went. So uh, I don't see why they would change it. Okay, so from here, uh, it becomes complex. Do I have to? Wait. There's there's a funny little detail. Leave the door, then hit the switch, maybe? Is that what it means? I can't hit the switch again, so... Or you leave the door, and then you go on this big circuitous path. Oh, I gotta hit the other lever again, that's it. So it's like this, and that's why you kill the guy down here, is because you have to traverse this area like three times. Okay, yeah, now I return to the door, and then I can take it up. This is peak gameplay. Okay, the door has to stay here for now. And now, yeah, okay, go back to the other switch. I got it. So doing these abstract puzzles is reminding me of something. Uh, there's a new Zelda game out now, apparently, that I I barely followed the, the hype leading up to its release at all. Um, I barely knew that it existed. Wait, how do I get back there? Um, hang on, I gotta consult the map. Can you, I don't think you can go lower than this. Wait, hang on. Okay, Tears of the Kingdom has to wait. I've lost my way here. You leave the door. Oh, you go back up. You go back up and pull the switch, I think. I'm gonna try that. I just need a switch to pull. You just pull whatever switch you have access to. Ah, shit, he was hiding there. The bastard. I gotta run. It'd be devastating to die at this point, because it resets you to the beginning of the whole door puzzle. God, why couldn't these fuckers just put a little safe point in here? Please. I'm so close. There we go. Yo, five dollars from White Hat Hacker. Yeek Gaming. That is what this is. You're correct. You're not wrong. Uh, thank you very much for the contribution to the, uh... What happened? Where am I? Oh god, no. The game... Okay, so I didn't need to die. I've been put into the fucking hell dimension. Oh, there I am. Thank god. Okay, the camera just glitched out. I thought I'd been put into the back rooms. <laughs> It's funny, in, in, in a game named after a literal computer bug, who would have thought there'd be so many computer bugs, right? Okay, now I gotta get back to the door. Or do I? Hang on. You go up there, you go down. And then what? I just gotta get back to the switch at the bottom and then take the door up. That shouldn't be that hard. You QA'd this. I don't know. Probably Phil Fish or some something weird. All these weird indie devs know each other somehow. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Wait, I just got to go back up. Unfortunate. The white hat hacker is embarrassed by their screen name. It's been this way for eight years. Dude, how do you think I feel? I've had the same Tesla profile picture since I made my account in, like, 2011. That's the whole origin story behind the Tesla picture, is that there is no origin story. For some reason, I, I thought it was cool when I was uh, in middle school. Okay. I gave up trying to get past this guy before. How the fuck? Oh, the cat opened the chest. Oops. A half-helm, neat. 
Lift the door, Alex. Lift the- there you go. Oh. Hmm. Gonna bug the game somehow trying to do this. Let's completely destroy the game. I have to try nonetheless, because it's mildly funny. Dude, you won't even pick up the door on command. How am I supposed to perform these high-level strats if the basic mechanics aren't even functional? Am I right? He won't do it. He absolutely will not pick the door up. There- oh my god. Please, Alex. Please, Alex. Oh my god. How did they fuck it up this bad? What- I'm, I'm, I see the prompt interact with the door and it just does nothing. I'm giving like Aaron Hansen commentary. That's how tilted this door is making me. It's the end of- oh my god. I can only pick it up after the monster is unstunned. Oh my god, I picked it up and put it down again because I'm used to mashing it. Jesus Christ. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, put it down. Wait, wait, there's no bridge here. I fucked it up, I fucked it up. I have to go back. I have to hit the switch one more time. I stopped following Outsin's guide. And I, I have paid the price. I'm so close though. I hope the, the game could just crash again, for all I know. This this was way faster than the first time, though. Like, exceedingly faster. It's just a testament to how long the fucking puzzle is. Okay, I was talking about Cheers of the Kingdom, that's right. So cool puzzles exist. That was the premise of, of discussing Cheers of the Kingdom, was that cool puzzles made exist in that game. Because that was my biggest complaint about Breath of the Wild, was that it just had nothing like engaging to do like all the th there were no cool dungeons the shrines were kind of just like ba baby mode shit at all times very boring um but now I i've heard some inkling some rumors that tears of the kingdom might actually have like the shrines are much more uh difficult and complex there may actually be dungeons so i might actually pick that up um and play that tonight which is, you know, it'll be the first time I've played a Zelda game in quite a while. A bit exciting. Alright, don't crash the game again, please. Just don't crash the game. Little Switzerland girl. As Oda cried, sir, I left my body at the age of 13. Very cool. Just, just the auto read, please. Here are very painful. So please bear with me as I can only tell parts of the story. Yep, you go for it. You I lived as a it. young girl with my parents in Pontresina, Switzerland. I had four brothers. My brothers and I rarely spoke as I was much younger than them. It's unfortunate that the, always away the abbreviation for Cheers of the Kingdom just looks like school. TikTok at a glance. I Everyone's like, I highly recommend alone, TikTok. What? During the Pontresina Valley. I dreamed about writing and other worlds. In that valley, but why is I this one voice acted and world. not the others? That's Ammon. This is all from selves. last stream. We, we made the same comments. Getting lost in solitude is the quickest way to otherworldliness. Someone who is surrounded by others can achieve this, but read the Umris book to pass the time. If Some people have so received their Umris person, books, by the way. I haven't gotten mine yet, itself, but you can truly um, it ships see from the Germany, I believe. All the universes. But people have received but it. Most of us are incapable of removing ourselves from yeah, our her world, beings look like a strudel or something. Objects. It's like a pastry on In her head. Solitude and loneliness. Longing you missed the last stream? But the last return. stream was like three weeks ago or something. Was, I don't even remember I what happened myself. I realize now how much potential I had in that life. Who's a lovely boy? Delighted for boy. Let us continue. Do all of them this come from Germany? Apparently. That's what I heard, anyway. Okay. This, so that was it. I think we're, we're good. The game, like, crashed during that loading transition last time. Something about this, like, uh, the partners in Time Vortex literally just crashed the game. Okay. Uh, is that- what the fuck is that? An oarfish? Alex spotted something. 
A severed leg. Oh, it's just a leg. Have I still not completed that fucking wall? There's a bunch of like, uh... That, like, the Chinese meme panda face on the ground here. <laughs> if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so Switzerland was a bit underwhelming. It was just a, a room with a fucking leg on a plinth. And some, uh, Chinese memes. I can't believe that's what the game crashed trying to load. A fucking broom closet with a leg. God damn it. Damn it, I'm stuck now. Time to backtrack. And not- oh my god. It's literally invisible. You can't even see that, dude. Look at this bullshit. Get me out of here. Please. Oh, I think I'm good. What? No, 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 it gave me the, the bullshit at the last possible second. I'm cheesing this as much as possible. I, I, I'm not taking a death here. It's a pin enough that it makes you backtrack through the entire zone, but then it gives you enemies that try to like reset your progress. <laughs> Jesus. I hate, I hate so much that the running sections are like a skill testing game and also are just completely random at the same time and they don't tell you. They can just give you an impossible pattern. Thank God. Oh, 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 I see him coming. I, you got like one black pixel of warning. Fuck off. What will you do? Yeah, give the leg. Uh, dig dig hog off the for you zero eight yard bis. Fug ver ninety eight nine oh eight v her thirty ubber nine ub nine ub How did you know? Yes, yes, yes She's going. She's just become a thwomp. Wendy's be born anew, probably. Probably, maybe. Not for sure, probably though. No, 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 no. Let me out. Please be a safe point in here, I swear to God. Well, I'm in Sen's fortress now. Give me a save point, please. I'm going back and save. Oh, there's a save point. Thank God. The game crashes. Now trying to load the save menu. Watch this. Please! Save every single fucking datum, I swear. Okay, thank god, we're, we're good. So now we're at the guillotine. I got another month's rent. Some medicine. They got the, the fungus balls from uh, Kaled and Elden Ring here. Uh, hello? Bring the victims to the gallows. Be a man. All right. <laughs> I love those candles. It's, it's like a floating point precise angle that you need to uh, burn them down. There we go. If you just wiggle it, eventually it'll take... Oh, I, I know this puzzle. Nothing happens. Alright. Oh. Okay. I know this puzzle for real now. Wait, what? Oh. 
Oh god, I thought the game froze there. <laughs> that was like an uncomfortably long pause before it played the sound effect. You don't even need the cat, apparently. You just have to press the right switch. Can I just, like, kill myself immediately? It's not an option. Okay. Uh, that is a treasure chest. Is there going to be an enemy in here, I bet? Um... Huh? It's one of those, like, binary counting puzzles from off? Oh, I, I never put the stream view back. <laughs> Was no one going to tell me? Hang on. Remove. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're back. Enlarge yourself. You forgot it was different. <laughs> you felt stupid playing Tears of the Kingdom and smart playing Breath of the Wild. That That's music to my ears. I've said in previous streams, but, like... Really, my relationship with Zelda stems from profound childhood trauma where I would just get stuck in easy dungeons for hours, and so the experience that I've been trying to recreate ever since then is just, like, getting hopelessly stuck on a puzzle and, and bashing my head against it for, for upwards of, like, 30 minutes at a time. That's what I really want. An Argonaut Kitar from Vela, who's not here. And a, a, a toonie that apparently was being used as a guitar pick for the guitar that you don't need to pick for. Zelda Trauma Spectrum, exactly. Uh, did I already flick that and I just unflicked it? I don't remember. Uh. Oh, goddammit. Breath of the Wild is going to be impossible to go back to after Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, that's fine. I, I wasn't planning on going back anyway. Uh, okay, well, that's still up. What about... No. Okay, maybe I did unflick the switch. Okay, I didn't. Extinguish both? There you go. It's just like off. You just have to try every combination. Potential victim. Ha 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 ha. No way, man. That's a potential... Okay. What about this guy? You may consider asking Jeremy. He just hasn't been the same since it happened. Good luck getting him to open up to you. Is this Jeremy? Hmm, personally, I'd stay away from the man in the mask. Jeremy may be interested. Are you Jeremy? If I don't have a head on my neck, we'll be too cold. Screw off. Um, who's Jeremy? I'm good here, thank you. No need to take me to the gallows. Check my brother. He may be interested ever since the accident. Me? No way, I like my head the way it is. Okay. Uh, are you Jeremy? <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll go with you. Just carry me with you. <laughs> what a floppy lad. Uh... Okay. Is that a dude? It's just a, a, a physics -y head here. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna see if I can get him stuck in an object and break the game. That'll be funny. It doesn't let you place him if you're too close to a, an out of bounds area, it looks like. That's good. They thought ahead. Why is he birdly? Because I, I ran out of voices? I don't know. They wanted me to come up with like eight voices in that room on the spot. Alright, Jeremy. Time to go into the hole. 
All right, lop him off, sir. Commit this soul to death. Uh, wait, maybe, maybe there's a different guy. Just hang out there for a sec. Wait, does he have legs now? Since when does he have legs? Oh, use Panda. That's a good idea, actually. Can I pick him back up? No, I can't. He's stuck. Kill Germa. I haven't even talked to these guys. A vessel for human suffering. Probably. Probably. Another vessel for human suffering. Probably. Well, these are all fucking useless. You heard you stay alive for a few seconds after being beheaded? Uh, I mean, yeah, stands to reason. Nothing's actually destroyed your brain. You just have to uh, wait for the uh, the blood to drain out. Probably takes a few seconds. Well, I want to see what's in here anyway. Uh, I could probably just use the cat. Hand is completely obsolete. Uh, yo, two bucks from Wondrous. Vessel like Soul Vessel Dark Souls 2. <laughs> you specifically referenced Dark Souls 2 that I haven't played, despite like every FromSoft game having some sort of vessel that you could have referenced. I appreciate that. Uh, that's not an enemy, it's just a little polyp. That's funny. There's even more of these fucking dudes. Oh my god. These ones are... Girl form. Potential casualty. I may be old, but I'm not ready to leave this place. Perhaps my daughter would. Uh, good luck getting her to speak with you. I have no interest in going with you. Why on earth would I? What a... A, a surreal... <laughs> task here. Vessel, like Soul Vessel Undertale. Every fucking game has vessels and souls and shit. Every modern game has to have, like, soul magic as part of it. It's a rule. Ever since my nephew died, my sister stopped seeing her husband. It's a shame, since I had a bright future. Together, they could have created the next iteration. Uh, okay. It's very esoteric. Oh, do you want to die? I can kill you. But I had a college fund. That should have been separate from your unemployment fund. I don't know what's going on with you, Apaka. Like, you're just going on about your, like, college education and your finances here. I'm trying to have, like, a spiritual experience. I refuse. I may be forgotten by all who once knew me, but I'm not going to go out in that way. No! I can't do it! Okay. Well, I guess I'll check the treasure chest. I got a smoothie. It's not all bad. There's a smoothie in a treasure chest. I know it's an Alex line from earlier. I was just being silly. Durable fucking candle. Another fucking camo jacket. One day I'm gonna find out what a germa is and be incredibly disappointed. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, you're probably right. The fuck is that? Is that Michael? Alex spotted something. Obtained a baby doll. That's fine. It's a Fumo. <laughs> it was taken right out of the... Oh, wait, is that a, an NPC? No, it's some sort of larva. Whatever. Yeah, it was taken out of the the Ultra Kill Credits Museum. You just have to sacrifice Gianni What's-His-Face. Like, I, I always get his last name wrong. I'm not going to attempt it. I guess we got to kill this guy to get the next guy in. I, I don't even know what this is for. I'm just like... Killing people. Commit this soul to death. Oh, 
That's cool. I got a head. Uh, what now? He's just clogging up the pedestal. Do I need to explain every little detail? Put the head into the correct head basket. Yeesh. Maybe up here, the vessels for human suffering want the... Okay, they're not the head baskets. They're just basket heads. Is it down here? No. Oh, where are the head baskets at? Uh, another two bucks from Wondrous. Thank you. Uh, doll like peculiar doll. Dark Souls 1. Very much like that. Or like miniature Rani Elden Ring, in fact. Dogged one, aren't thee? Or is it thou habit to make a thing of talking to, to dolls? I, I, I forget what she says. Am I blind? I, I don't see the head basket. Oh, these are the baskets. Oh, you just gotta press triangle at the right spot. I see, I see. Um, I have a baby doll. You want to, like, sacrifice that? Bring the victims to the gallows. Be a man. Well, shit. I'm out of ideas fast. Or maybe if I give the doll to the one that was, like, crying, then she'll let me sacrifice her to Satan or something. That seems logical. Oh, it's trial and error. Which which one goes into which basket? There's only three options. It can't take that long. Alex handed over the baby doll. Distraught parent. Is there even a point in going on? Take me to the place beyond this one. Please. I want to be with you. As a dead kid. Dude, the, the lifting mechanic has, has gone out the window. It used to work, and now it's just like fucking impossible to get it to trigger. There we go. Hey, Golden Alpaca, check this out. That's pretty cool, huh? He doesn't seem that enthused. Do you, do you want this? God, every, every time I put her down, I think I'm not going to be able to pick her back up. Seems like a very good puzzle. I don't think this is a puzzle. I, I don't know. This is just a thing. A set piece. I don't know. Commit this soul to death. Yes, she may have been Margaret Thatcher in her previous life. It's an experience. Correct. Exactly, Otson. It's experiential. Uh, who's next? You have a head, Alex. Just kill yourself, maybe. What do you mean? There are no more volunteers. Disgrace. Guess you'd better step up. <laughs> Alright. Go for it, Alex. Commit this soul to death. Sure. I want a severed Alex head. Yucky. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't need that. Uh, well, that's kind of cool. This seems deeply metaphorical, but I, I really haven't the faintest guess for what. There was this one part in that, um, that game Devotion, that that horror game that I played, uh, which involved very. Did I get the right order by accident? Huh, who knows? It, it, very graphic, like, self-mutilation, kind of like that. It was very horrifying that... <laughs> this isn't quite the same effect, though. Um, oh, it grew back. Nice. Oh, wait, can we duplicate heads? Have I found the infinite, like, knife-screaming women uh, head duplication gl uh, glitch? Your walk is complete. I never pegged you. 
for a killer. There is no no wrong order. Oh, oh, I see. I just guessed right. Um, the blowy heads. They're gonna blow me off. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, wait, what am I? I have the electric guitar equipped. Shit. It actually stunned them. That was so clutch. Fuck off, ghosts. What, black and white ladder? They, they've made the... Uh, the ladder cutscenes are like noir now. Okay, I can't talk to that one. Ghosts are shitty. To protest the ghost, I shit my pant. What? 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 Is this like a, a lost woods kind of? What the fuck? What is triggering this interaction? Sounds like the bomb is counting down. Jesus, I should save before anything. Oh wait, not the mind. Okay, whatever. I, I guess I'll level up. You don't have enough cunny orbs to get to that area. Yeah. Here's a, a random uh, etymological fact. Uh, apparently, the word cunny used to mean rabbit. And then it changed, somehow. I just thought that was interesting. Okay, the Essentia is really power leveling here, that's good. Okay, that's it. This is just an enemy from the the dungeon. Where are these guys in my mind palace? Is that does that mean something? Like I'm fighting my own mental uh, uh, constructs at this point? I don't know. Invest in HP since you one shot everything anyway. Not a bad idea, I guess. Yeah. Although it is a very funny reference to the hit indie RPG by Night Margin. If you wish to level up, it will cost you 100 XP. Hmm. I'm gonna have to warm up a bit to do the uh, Ashlander voice. Would you like to level up? Oops, I pressed the wrong <laughs> option. <laughs> You can decide how you will grow from here. Shoot wisely. The Gastro Crow is here. Alright, I'm gonna level HP. Let's purge the fucking entity. Purge that shit. Like Agonim. Fuck off, ghosts. You just have to out DPS it. There's no strategy. Nice. You spend so much time in the battles that the enemies get in your head, literally. <laughs> Seems to be. Cool. Map bonuses. Okay, I'm not gonna read the the crow text each time. My throat's gonna bleed. Oh, big plus three, dude. That's going into health. Strength. Okay. 
Yeah, the fact they added the automatically assigned stat point system does feel like an admission of failure. You're not wrong. Um, but I'm, I'm weirdly invested in, like, building my perfect min-max build, even though it's completely pointless. Rounds up to two, dude. Sick. Only two more. You wonder why they didn't just make a menu? It's probably someone thought this would be cooler. Basically, the story of this game's existence. <laughs> Someone thought it would be cool. What did that add? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying it added anything. I I also wish it was a menu. It'd be great. I wish it was just Elden Ring. I wish when you booted up this game, it just crashed and loaded Elden Ring with, with the window renamed to Yeek, and that was the game. That would be sick. It's kind of like how Outer Wilds is like Subnautica, if when you booted up Subnautica, it crashed and loaded an instance of Outer Wilds, as was pointed out by like Point Crow's stream chat when he played that. It was very strange, his chat's obsession with comparing Outer Wilds to Subnautica. It was like the Boss Baby vibes or something. You wish Alex was an Elden Ring? I mean, I've done cosplay runs before. You could probably make a pretty decent Alex in Elden Ring. I'm not sure you can do glasses, though. Maybe in the DLC they'll, they'll add in glasses. And I can finally do an, an Alex run. Am I done? I'm done, thank god. I'm stuck. The books. Okay. Chat quickly brainstorm. What what would Alex what build would Alex run in Elden Ring? glass cannon? Well, that's just what Alex- what would build Alex friends in Yeek. Oh wait, the discus! You're right! Similar to the disc, there, there's a miracle called Discus of Light. But that would mean he's a faith character then. I don't see Alex being, like, religious. It, it's, it's a very contradictory kind of thing. I guess he's getting hopped up on, like, New Age spiritualism, which is basically a religious belief, so... Sure. He worships himself! <laughs> I mean, he's got, like, the red hair of Radagon. Maybe I can just take my Radagon cosplay build and tweak it slightly so that he has a beard and call it Alex. Like, it would be perfect, because he already uses the, the Discus of Light. Radagon's Rings of Light. Um... Is this like a, a puzzle or is this just the metaphorical, you know? Is this just like postmodernism? I don't know. Can I blow this up? I don't think so. Uh, okay, there, there is a puzzle here. Let's experiment. Throw the cat into the, the anomaly. Okay, the cat's fine. The Discus of Light requires high intelligence. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's Golden Order Fundamentalism, which requires a confluence of intelligence and faith, such as the enlightened, um, like, literature student that Alex is, where he's read the Bible but, but studies it logically. That actually makes perfect sense, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, skateboard through it. Good idea. The, um, the ghosts won't be able to catch up and reset me if I'm on a skateboard. What, that actually worked? It worked for a second. It's only if you stop moving. Or, I don't know. I already have a... Wait, I can stand here? H how does this work? I have a Radagon cosplay build just ready to go. Wait, what? Did I glitch that? But what happened? I feel like I just broke the game. This is a pool of whiteout. It's clearly labeled so that no one could make jokes. Um, the giant comb. Oh, dude, get it. What the scallop? Is this a soft lock? I don't know. It could be. What do they sell here in the uh, the whiteout chamber? I guess batteries might be useful. What is that? A defibrillator is the same thing as a summoning salt. Why would I want the defibrillator though? It just costs more. God, those are expensive. Can't give up a month's rent to buy batteries. How much? Oh, the sweet tea is really good. Stock up on that shit. Yeah, $600 of tea. Just like me last week spending $20 on a pack of seaweed by accident because I misread the price tag. Ha, huh, I thought as much. I have no idea what the intended solution to this was, but whatever, it worked. I couldn't even tell that was, was one of the grudge statues. It was like black on black, so I couldn't see. Oh, you think the defibrillator's for the Essentia? Well, good thing Alex will always die first. Oh, is that- that's the grocery store anecdote. You're right, yeah. I finally have a grocery store anecdote. Which is just that I overpaid for a pack of seaweed. I have no idea why it was that expensive. Like, and they all seem to be that expensive, too. And someone else was saying that seaweed's supposed to be cheap. It's supposed to be, like, a tenth of that. So I have no idea. I have no idea how it costed that much. A danger lies ahead. Make sure you are ready before proceeding. Okay, yeah, if you say so, sir, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, have I saved? I'll save again. Yep, proceed at the Deltarune reference, guys. Was Donkey Kong there? Wait, I missed it. Was Donkey Kong there? Oh, you mean at the grocery store? No, not not that time. Not that time. I'm bringing the comb with me. If I put my comb and grasses on, nothing will go wrong. Wait, there's nothing in here. You, you were lying to me. Oh, you gotta walk through the loading zone without the comb. That's the trick. Uh, that is an Evangelion. Maybe a Gundam. This is not a lifetime I can recall. These machines, they're so familiar, and yet something feels wrong. Nothing will feel Is wrong. It safe to approach him? I cannot say. I would never harm you, Alex. But it is logical to assume that one of my many parallel lives may have some reason. Yeah, you pissed I in her Cheerios. You'd come back. Oh. Somehow you look different. So many lives wasted, taken experimented on in hopes of obtaining this moment. And now that I'm looking at you, I don't know if I should love you or hate you to kill you in the way that you killed me time and time again has been my only dream, my only waking thought for the past 50 lifetimes. What the fuck, dude? What's he talking about? It's a good question, you actually. feel guilty? Do you... What Often I do? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Everything was taken because of you! You bastard! This is me after the game crashed last stream. I lost everything. My research. My wife. My kids. And all for what? 
for you. What the hell were you worth? <laughs> You're a thief. Nothing more. Moth is just gaping at this. Regrets ever laying my eyes on you. Alex, I can't recall this life. For some reason, it's blocked to me. There is a void in my mind. There are white spots where I should see this life on the astral plane. It's a mediocre restaurant. Wow. Pretty good Mom burgers. You. How long has this life been lingering here? Alex, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to say such terrible things. Come here. Let me hug you. No, he's gonna he's gonna pull up the wall Let of bones. Say, he's gonna see get here. dunked on. Don't do it, Alex. What? Get away from me! It seems as if you harmed him in some way. Alex, look out! Yeah, I told you, Alex. Stranger danger. What the fuck is that? <laughs> he has the, the drunkard voice for some reason. Oh, good thing I leveled HP. Oh, that's what the stun B guns are for. Okay, all I need is Alex to take one turn, and then we can win, right? That may be the, the difficulty of this boss fight. Uh, I do have stun cures. Hey, this is unique music. Lisa music? Yeah, kinda. It's a bit penisy. I'm waiting for the reverb fart sample just to come in with a bass drop. Um, am I blind here? Where is it? Stun cure. Unstun, that's it. For God's sake, don't use it on yourself. The male essential wait, it has no effect? What do you mean it has no effect? It just said that Alex was stunned. Wait, this is just Elder Who. This is easy. Wait, how am I supposed to dodge that? That's 40 damage? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Just just kill him in one hit. Woman wants him, fish fear him. And by fish, we mean uh, roboticists. Gendo Akari. Wait, I got cut off at 35? What happened? Please don't. Okay, he heals 63. That's a joke. That's a funny joke, dude. Here's nausea. Who the fuck cares? Just give Alex the spaghetti. Shovel it into his gaping maw. So that he can tank one more hit, hopefully. This isn't the end. That's a spaghetti! Oh. Oh, it cuts you off so that you can't one-shot him because he has to survive the, the fucking boss fight. That wasn't even my final form! Oh yeah, okay. Th that's the phase two transition. He gets in the fucking robot, Shinji. <laughs> oh yeah. It gives me the easier to dodge attack. Very cool. And now we one-shot him again. I'm excited. Let's -a go! With the, the penis music on my side, I'm invincible. Wait, it cuts you off again. Does he have a third form? Is this just a joke? Like a running joke? Why is it cutting me off now? This is a new attack. What the fuck? Yo, dog, this is jank. What the fuck? Um... Uh, oh no wait, she can't eat the chicken sandwich. She has to take a battery. 
or like uh, the fuck is a life? Okay, that's just a revive. Do I have any smaller batteries? Just use charge, I guess. Okay, she's be charging. Oh wait, the one-hit wonder gives you less- Oh no, I fucked myself. The one-hit wonder is actually nerfing me so hard right now. I think that's what chat's saying. Whatever. Okay, he's dead. He's dead this turn. You come up. He's pushing up daisies. We still have to fight the mooks, though. And I don't mean the one in chat. Super Mega Bot! Okay, um, see if you can contribute literally anything to this, Essentia. It's pointless. They'll both die in one hit from Alex, so let's just, just heal him. The Mega Mook! People want estimates of how many streams are left. I'm hoping that, like, who maybe? Like this and one more? I think there's significantly more after this, but we're at least approaching the endgame, hopefully. Seven million damage. Only two hundred, but it's still one shot. Six more streams. Hell yeah. Seven damage versus Alex's seven hundred. This is the last major dungeon. I mean, that's good, but between major dungeons, there tends to be like 10 hours of fucking around. The one-hit wonder is actually good for, like, saving my joint mobility, because I don't have to mash for as long, and it still deals enough damage to kill most things. Why? I'm sorry I put you in harm's way. However, while I am with you, nothing bad can ever happen. I am here to protect you. By which I mean, feed you spaghetti I with I a need little to answer fork. Some more questions. I'm really confused. Why did this Japanese guy know me? Why did he attack me? Alex, we've been over this. You were banned from bringing up the race of Asian people from now on, okay? It's just awkward. You were supposed to stop doing that. I can only deduce an answer based on the information I have. This information is the same information that you have. So, these are simply educated guesses based on my own personal bias. <sighs> okay, fine. What do you think it is? I think it would be a safe assumption that, in a parallel life, you have harmed me. Alright. Why is... I think we could have intuited that. Why is it stopping to explain this? That this Yuzu Imajo had some sort of relationship with you, and you hurt him in some way. When he saw you, he recognized something in your soul and became angry. This is why he attacked. Oh, so it's like Flowey and Undertale. That makes sense. I harmed him in a parallel life? I, I harmed you? We are not responsible for the actions of our parallel selves. But that does not mean we can't feel sorry for the crimes committed against other souls. Why is she turned into, like, rant Sona mode with red eyes? There are times where someone expresses how they have been harmed. And as humans, our immediate reaction is to become defensive. In our defense, so that we do not harm others, we become offensive. It is in these moments where we decide what type of human we will be. 
this is your conclusion that you've extrapolated with your limited information and personal bias? Which okay. is worse? To harm someone in the past and continue to harm them by justifying your past actions? Or harming someone in the past and accepting that your choices hurt them? Yes, you might feel harmed in the process by admitting your mistakes. But this is a good type of pain. What does this have to do with the Japanese Gendo Akari man? Pain that heals you into a better person is always better than avoiding the small pain of accepting you are wrong. Did I really do that? Do what? Did I always deny I harmed someone? I I guess yeah, that's you you have. I don't see how that this has come to light from fighting the the robot though. This seems like a different thing to me, honestly. Is that wasn't it was a different like parallel version, metaphysical version of you, which is like, it's I guess it's a metaphor for like the past. Alex is being mean to Rory or something. I I, I guess. Do I always feel the need to justify my actions? It, it sort of seems like we got to this philosophical personal tangent from absolutely like nowhere, and that the, the mech battle was kind of superfluous. Is all I'm saying. Yes. I totally did. We must always work to be better. The better person is not the person who doesn't make mistakes, but the person who makes a mistake and works to fix it. And fix the part of themselves that led to that error. There are moments when I understand intellectually how I must act. But then, something happens. Somewhere in the recesses of my mind. Like a warm light in the distance. An idea forms. A completely human, flawed, and kind-intentioned idea. Something that all versions of me know to be a mistake. However, the overwhelming feeling of doing the right thing takes over, and I am forced to make a choice. And every time, this version of me chooses the kind path. I cannot allow any harm to come to you. Um. Without you, I wouldn't know what to do anymore. Current current mystery is why the Essentia 2000 is metaphysically bound to Alex Yeek. You can see the script, taste the script, feel the script. So just remember, it's not important, Alex, to worry about what we accomplish. Oh? Somewhere out there. <clears throat> We have both accomplished and failed at all tasks. Take solace in this. Why would that- why would I take solace in that? That sucks. There exist perfect versions of us who didn't fail or harm others. Just keep working as hard as you can, and you'll be able to be that perfect version of yourself. Or will I? I mean, what's the- if, if there needs to be infinite versions to get a perfect version, then what, what's to say that I can be the perfect version? This seems contradictory. You say I'm not responsible for the actions of my other selves, that their actions don't affect me here, but also like, oh, it's okay. It's just just think about all the parallel versions of you that don't suck shit. Um, what about the parallel versions of me that suck way more shit than I do? You're not bringing up those ones. I, d I just don't see what meaningful conclusion you can get from this whole philosophical framework here. It just seems like a nothing burger. So should I feel guilty that I harmed him in a parallel life? That question is irrelevant. Just acknowledge that the part of you that harmed him exists in all humans, and then work to polish the blemish on your soul that had led to that action. Wait. I have one more question. We, we don't even know what we did. What is it, Alex? Did... Did I harm any of the other women we met? The ones who were also you? Oda, Nyla, Serna? Fella? Yeah, you, uh, you, you threw um, a whipped cream pie into their faces, and it was really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, look, it's Mystic in chat. Mystic shows up for the yeek. Yeah. Oh. The Essentia 2000 went on staring at me with that expressionless face of hers. A face of plastic. Looking at her, I thought of a satellite floating in space. A drifting piece of man-made material, traveling through a place man can barely go. What I had said was out of pure curiosity. 
I had no way of knowing with any certainty that I had harmed any of these women. Okay. My words, though, seemed to have jammed at something in there. I could read the effect on her face. Eventually, without a word, the Ascension 2000 turned away and proceeded from the room. It's very interesting to me that you ask this. <laughs> and you explain Yeek to Mystic. Did I recap the whole plot from the start? Let's see if I can even remember what's happening here. Um, so basically, Yeek is back home from college. And by Yeek, I mean Alex Eggleston. Um, Alex Egbert. Uh, okay, so he came back from college, right? He graduated uh, several semesters late. Uh, he has to go get groceries because his mom is a dumb bitch. She makes him get groceries. He loses his grocery list because of a cat. He follows the cat to an abandoned factory. He goes in the factory where he finds um, a, a fantasy world filled with strange creatures and, and dark, uh, surreal voids and Illuminati pyramids. At the end of which, he finds a vaguely ethnic, in his own words, girl named Sammy Park slash Semi Park. Um who uh, the, he tries to take out of the factory, but then she gets abducted, sucked out of an elevator by a space alien, uh, and he sort of looks vaguely upset about that. And then he goes back home, and he's vaguely upset about that. And then he and then he um, he wakes up the next day, and he doesn't seem to want to really do anything about that beyond that. But then um, an anthropomorphic manifestation of his own psyche and or a talking panda that he found in the factory comes to him and tells him that he better go find Sammy because that would be bad to like just not and let her be abducted by aliens and so then he leaves and then he um uh then he runs into his his old childhood friend Michael who's like 17 years younger than him uh for some reason um and then the and, and Michael invented 4chan right and then they talk about 4chan for a bit and how there just so happens to be a video on 4chan that Michael invented about a girl getting abducted from an elevator, which is definitely just a reference to a real life murder case. Um, and then uh, and then Alex is like, wait, I was in that elevator. I saw her get abducted, which is kind of weird. Um, it's, it's a bit unclear how that actually works because Alex was not in the footage recorded uh, on 4chan. And so they, the Michael and Alex team up. They investigate the factory. Then they find a space alien. Then they run away because they can't beat the space alien. Then they flip shit. And then they go back and their the only recourse is to post on 4chan about the space alien, right? Um, and then they wait for like a month or something. And then after a long, long time, someone posts a, a, a random unrelated story on 4chan also about um, a girl with psychic powers who happens to live in their town, like two minutes away from Alex's house. And so they go there and it's Vela. And then they, they talk to Vela and she's like a spirit medium and shit. She knows, she knows how the, the, the universe works. And then she says, you guys suck. Go level up by fighting monsters and come back to me. I'll teach you how to use the mind palace. And then she teaches them how to use the mind palace to level up. And then, um, then they get back together and, uh, then somehow they end up they get another message on 4chan from Rory and Rory is like, uh, I, uh, my, my sister got sucked into an interdimensional void too. I live in this weird settlement, um, like five hours out of town. And then they take a bus there and then they beat up crack addicts for information for a long time. And then eventually they get to Rory's house and then Rory fucks around for like just hours talking about his like kind of nonsensical spiritual worldview and how many atoms are in the human body and stuff. Then he drags them into the sewers where they fight another space alien who they think is his sister but isn't. And Rory's just been delusional the whole time. Um, and then the, the, it goes nowhere. It has nothing to do with Sammy Park at all. And then uh, so Rory joins the party, but everyone hates Alex because he said something mean to Rory but is not caring that his sister was dead. And so then Alex has to reform the entire party from the ground up by apologizing to everyone. And then they go to find uh, like a ghost appears in Alex's house. And then the ghost takes him to a radio tower behind like in the woods and, and tells him to find a record and play it which doesn't exist in this universe and then the record they have to spend the next like uh t 10 hours of game time searching through every record store in the state uh and none of them have the record and eventually they have to go to seek like an ascetic metalhead hermit on a mountaintop to find like is the only person who could possibly have the record in new jersey um and, and they find him, and he doesn't have the record. He just talks about fucking tea that can cure cancer for, like, an hour, and they don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore. And then eventually Alex asks him about the record. He's like, well, I don't have that, but it's by Vela Wild. Did you notice that, you dumb idiot? You you absolute buckfuck idiot. And then he realizes that Vela made the record in the first place, goes back to Vela, and says, oh, I gotta go in your mind palace to get the record back. And so they do that, and then they... 
they reconstruct the record from Vela's memories, and then they play it, and then they have a like an ep epileptic fit and hallucinate an android in like a a mystery machine like hippie van. Uh, and the android fights a bunch of space aliens, and they have to go on a quest to find every van in New Jersey because it might contain the android. And they literally do. They check every van in New Jersey, and one of them eventually contains the android. And then the android takes us on a spirit quest to a mine palace where we're doing this now. That's the plot. That's all of Yeek. You're caught up. I'm going to choose to not answer this question as of now. There is one last location I'd like to show you, and it's quite a distance. I will answer more questions when we arrive. I long to wash away the bitter taste in my mouth, but even sipping from a water bottle wouldn't cleanse me of it. <laughs> even sipping from- that's the nuclear option. Even if Alex left the mine dungeon, walked home, filled a cup with water, put it in his mouth, swished it, spat it into a sink, he would still have the bitter taste of metaphysical guilt on his tongue. The whole situation felt like a dream, as if I was wading through pools of jello. Very similar. Even then, I kept telling myself that the things around me weren't that weird. What? Why? They're pretty weird. Seeing Sammy vanish, meeting entities, and entering inside a dungeon in my mind should have prepared me for this. But you know, I don't think it did. I wanted to ask the Ascension 2000 if I could feel the feelings of my parallel lives. I realize now I was just seeking an explanation for the various feelings that were surging through my heart. I felt closer to Vela. Closer to, well, every single parallel life of the Ascension 2000, and yet furthest from Sammy. Isn't Sammy the same person as Vela? Wasn't that established? Is Sammy really all that important to me? Or had I just been delaying joining the real world with all this adventure? We're bringing up this again? This, this weird theme of, like, Alex is trying to, like, aggrandize his importance in the world? Despite being, like, demonstrably of metaphysical importance, like, he has a spirit android that exists in all realities that, like, specifically wants to guide him towards self-realization or something. Why, why are we back on this shit about, like, oh, Alex, you're just trying to make this all into a big adventure about you because you don't want to get a job. Guess what? I couldn't get a job. There are no jobs in this town. Uh, and I, I physically can't get groceries. The plot won't let me get groceries, so, like... I'm not sure how I'm supposed to participate in society in this kind of environment. All there is literally to do is to find, like, the fucking plot about the android and just controls all realities and shit and Gendo Akari and the Gundams. Did I really ever want to find her now that I know what finding her actually meant? No, I did. I really did. Okay, you I did. I regret what I learned. Or even what happened next, because if I had never learned what I was about to learn... I could have never met you. Who are you talking to? Without you, all hope is lost. What? What the hell is going on? He's talking to Des Holiday. <laughs> Jesus. How do we get back here? Those stairs were the exit to my mind dungeon. Now we have returned to the foyer. The foyer? Is that a real way people pronounce that word? Foyer? No way! The player is real! You are the player Delta Rune reference! It's a very true mystic. I felt like Alex was talking to me a couple times, but I could never quite be sure. It, it just seemed ambiguous. Foyer, that's disgusting. That's like... That's worse than moisture. People talk about words that are just gross to pronounce. Foyer. Yuck. We've returned to the foyer. In order to proceed, we must first return to the beginning. Allow me to open your mind. To grant you access to the Hall of Parallel Lives. Ooh, that sounds cool. It was the same thing in the uh, the Omori stream yesterday, where like everyone unanimously was calling uh, Basil Basil, and I was just eh. It's it's it, Basil is very nasally. I don't like it. It's gross. It doesn't have the right mouth feel. I kind of go in there. All right. I should save, I guess. 
We got like the Persona uh, Velvet Room music going on. That's cool. My name is Basil. I drive a BMW. I'm glad that more people pick up on the uh, the fact that that Asriel slash Ralsei slash Basil, they're all just the same fucking character. You know, the other thing that bothers me about basil is that it's already a word, like B-A-S-A-L, it's like an adjective of base. It's like, you know, basil insulin, for example. That My mind goes to that, whereas basil is, I've always thought specifically the plant, which you'd assume that basil, the character, is named after a plant. Now, I will ask you not to enter any of the rooms on our left or right. Inside are the various parallel lives that your soul is currently engaged in. I believe it would be traumatic for you to experience them at this point in your life. Our destination is at the far end of this hall. But if I ride my way up the trauma spectrum, my power will become incalculable. That room is the one used to chronicle the past and future of this Alice. The one I am speaking to now. My favorite. Aw, oh, I'm your favorite. <laughs> Do it anyway. <laughs> it doesn't let you. Wait, um... We need the perfect line. Oh, what's up, Alex? There's a door here? I'm assuming that just takes me back. Um, I, Alex, you're blocking the perfect line. Oh, that's pretty good. Skadoosh. Where am I? That's me. The other rooms had you in them. Wait, th what do you mean the other rooms? I didn't check the other rooms. Why I aren't couldn't... I here? You are, and you are speaking. You'd love to get advice from an alternate universe version of yourself? What if that version was a fucking idiot? Ever think about that? What I'm about to show you is something that lies at the heart of all of yourselves. Please, prepare yourself for a harsh amount of bitter truth. What is the link between the different versions? I'm not clear. What does it mean to have the same soul? It's a funda- I just fundamentally don't understand what that concept's supposed to mean here. You're either the same person or you're not. I, I don't see how there's there's a middle ground. I'm gonna pull a, a TJ Henry Yoshi here. What you are about to see cannot be unseen. Should I be worried? No, not if you took to heart what I have taught you. What do you mean? What have you taught me? To recognize your flaws and work to correct them. I'm about to show you your greatest flaw of all. Destruction! Uh, can you repeat that? Can you can you say that again? I didn't, I didn't catch that. I think Discord glitched out. Oh boy. <laughs> what a reaction. This... I... Someone said this music sounds like the Soviet Union hymn. Is that the same as the Soviet anthem, or...? I don't hear it, unless it's a different song you're thinking of. Satana. Uh, okay. What is... on this plinth? Is it arms? An inexplicable rendering stands before you. You do not yet have the knowledge to comprehend its implications. The Light Being. Talk to Scott Cawthon. He will educate you. A, it's Shaddock. Nice. Alex Doom Aspect Player Confirmed. I can't even pretend to understand class spec lore. I can fuck with some Homestuck references, but once class specs get brought in, I just... I leave the room, I'm sorry. Figure of Light. It was a normal day, just like any other. 
Then the sky lit up and we were overcome by a bright aura. My soul left my body as my body disappeared. Where am I now? Where I, was I supposed to enter the other doors? I checked two of them and they didn't even have a prompt to, uh, to open them, so I just assumed that I couldn't go in any doors, and I skateboarded to the end. So they're talking about like they got raptured, I guess, by something. I was caught off guard when the end came. It was like a thief in the night. A thief of light, if you will, from Homestuck. That's what my mom would say, but she has gone too. Gone away just like my body and sun and the moon and the stars and the planets and the asteroid belt and the Urt Cloud, and the Quasars, and the Black Holes, and the Nebulae, and the Interstellar Hydrogen Atoms. Uh, what's up with you then? And Mercury, and Venus, and Pluto from Omori. When you came for us, it was as if we had came for come, come for it, it was as if we I got a speech impediment. Sorry. When you came for us, it was, it was as if we uh, sorry I got a speech impediment. When you came for us, it was as if we had come for ourselves. Our tab was being collected on. We all realized we deserved this. Perhaps you didn't. You were just like the rest of us. You only took the blame. Are they saying that I ended the world somehow? Uh, am I Shinji Akari? Joey Wheeler? <laughs> That's Joey Wheeler with, like, severe brain damage. I just <laughs> need to keep generating voices here. It's a curious thing, losing your body and universe. We don't have a good way of describing reality, so we show it as the Earth, since that's all most people ever know. I'm sorry it came down to this. You tried your best. I would do it too. In fact, maybe I did. Plop, 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 plop. She said we must defeat ourselves in order to tame the destruction. But maybe she never understood us at all. Uh, she. The Essentia? Are these different Alexes even? I, I don't even know. Solid gameplay. I love nonsense. Is that the IGN review? Okay, so we have like crucified Alex over the earth made of fire. Did you end the world, Alex? I don't understand. How is this my flaw? Hmm. That's a good question. Where's the Alex that studied STEM and has a job? <laughs> Could you recap the story again, Andrew? In a way, it's no. everyone's flaw. God, that sounds like I keep thinking there's a fucking ambulance passing my house, but it's just the music. Destruction. To be destruction or to be creation. What do you- what? It can only be one in the end. But what will I destroy? This reality. That's everyone's flaw? The universal, like the, ori the original sin is that people destroy realities? As you have destroyed many realities before this one. How could I destroy reality? Do you remember that one time you played Undertale? What powers do I have that could lead to this type of devastation? Inaction is just as much an act of aggression as taking up arms. And will this happen? What? They didn't answer the question at all, Alex. You, sh you should press that point, because I don't fucking know what she means still. Outsin says, original sin is increasing entropy. Well, life forms actually locally decrease entropy, I think, which is pretty cool. It has to globally decrease still, but... How will I do this? I do not know. 
But what's important is that it hasn't happened yet, and... Wait, you're saying we can still stop this? What does this have to do with- why is this like everyone's fundamental flaw? Like you're gonna destroy reality, how? I don't know, maybe you, eventually you will. Something about inaction is an, an, an act of aggression, what does that explain about destroying reality? What does any of this mean? I'm becoming Alex. No, your reality was doomed long ago. Okay. All reality ceased to exist. The only thing you get to decide is if you aid in the destruction or fight against it. What? Fight against it? But you said it was doomed! None of this makes any sense! This reality will fade away, and another will take its place. But this does not mean that you can't prevent the loss of future realities. This is some homestuck shit. Shattuck was right. How would I do that if we all die? Come with me. Escape into the soul space. We can take your friends with us. Together, we will protect realities from the ultimate loss. Loss of souls who perish with worldly attachments in their hearts. That's just Buddhism again, when okay? When a soul is bound to the planet by thoughts and obsessions of worldly things, they die with the reality. But a soul that is free of love for the physical, and longs only for the spiritual, can find life in the soul space. I'm not joining your cult, lady. Just what the... what I want to save this reality. What about my mother? My friends! I couldn't just convince them to enter the soul space. I don't even think I could convince my mother that there is a soul space. Your mother. What do you want to do, Alex? Whatever you decide, I am with you every step what of the way. What is the choice here? I, 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 the choice is between, like, I will destroy reality, but I want to save reality, but the Ascent is saying, don't do any of that, just... Fuck off, leave reality, save a different reality. Is is it like a Greek tragedy here? If I try to stay and save the reality, I will destroy it somehow via mechanisms that I don't comprehend still? But wait, why is this... Why is this my choice? Because this is your reality, not mine. I mean, like, I, th I think he meant Essentia. Why is it his and not... Someone else's, like, I, I don't know, the fat guy at the burger shop. I just want you to be happy. Essentia, how do you know me? Why do you care so much about me? Because you have been in all of my lives. And at every turn, I have been there for you, even when you have harmed me. I have always loved you. I would fight a losing battle for you. Mel is back? What's Yeekin? I don't know anymore, dude. This is fucking... It's gone further off the deep end than I thought was possible. I... What do I even say to that? <laughs> Just kiss. Kiss the Ascension. As Sammy, you helped me when no one else wanted to help me. As Vela, you gave me back my music. The only thing I ever expected to love. Wait! You're saying I'm the asshole that used Vela and... Well, there you go. Alex, regardless of how much you have harmed me in any of my parallel lives, I am always here for you. Mm, yeah, people were speculating last time, I think, that Alex was the other person in all of these stories. The, the, the male figure. I want to help you be the best that you can be. Can't you help me be the me that saves this reality? From whatever the hell all these things are falling from the sky? What? What are what's falling from the sky? I can't see those, Alex. What it do you mean? Possible. But if you would like to try, we may try. What's falling from the sky? Like, do they have information that I don't have here? Why do I feel like the characters are talking about something that I have no context on? Like they both seem to understand each other, but I'm just being brick walled here. But how do you know it's impossible? I can feel the reality breaking apart. Alex is the specter of toxic masculinity, says Edison. What the fuck? Of, of all the things to attribute to Alex, is toxic masculinity one of them? Maybe? I feel like he has a lot more going on. Uh, th then you have to, like, you know, 
<laughs> take off some of the layers to even get to that. I can feel souls fleeing in every direction. This world will soon end. But there has to be something we can do. Some way to be strong enough to take down whatever is going to destroy this reality. I thought that was supposed to be you destroying the reality, Alex. Or, or was or is that just a big flowery way of saying that you weren't going to do shit to stop it? That That's the flaw, is that you're not going to help destroy... You're not going to help not destroy reality. But he clearly wants to do that. So why is that his flaw? The, the, essential, uh, the essential is saying... To, to give up on that idea what is what is the flaw even what is the what is even the choice what's coming for this reality but what about me Vela, you and the others every alex on a toxic masculine spectrum it's like the trauma spectrum but somehow worse it pleases me that you want to fight for something. I know this isn't your usual way. It thrills me to see this passion in you. I mean, if you if you tell someone that the fucking reality is going to be destroyed by some sort of cosmic force that tends to light a fire under their ass. I mean, I doubt Alex would be as on board if you said like you have to just go, you know, work at the grocery store. And, and raise enough money for next month's rent. He'd probably procrastinate on that. But we say like reality will be destroyed by God. It's like, okay, maybe I should I should probably do something. Together we can attempt to fight this ender of realities. Just know, we will fail, but we will fail together. Okay. Don't be such a downer. If I'm going to die, I at least want to go down swinging. That's what she just said, Alex. What other choice do I have? Well, yeah, literally you don't. That's what I mean, like, what is the choice? The Essential was proposing to just, like, fuck off into soul space and become, like, I don't know, bodhisattvas or something and save other realities here, but, like, it's been so... The, the fact that the reality is going to be destroyed has just come so out of nowhere, it's like... W w what do you mean? Like, I don't even know what the stakes are here, like, I... She's saying that, oh, it's inevitable, yeah, no nothing can stop it from happening, but we've seen, like, I guess, like, Y2K is what's been alluded to, like, the, the world will end in Y2K, but it feels so fucking random. I understand now that in your heart, there is no other choice. Perhaps you, Alex, are different from the others. What others? You, you didn't ask anyone else. I will stay and fight with you, but if we are going to do this, we must convince your friends to help us, and we must train. Even I am not at my most powerful. We must complete the mind dungeon before the end comes, and be prepared to fight it. Is she telling us to go grind? How do we convince them that the world is gonna end? By saying so? I don't know, I think they'd fucking believe you at this point, Alex. By convincing them that this reality will soon perish. And by making them understand that this world is just a byproduct of that destruction. What? What do you mean? What does that mean? This world is a by- you mean the- the- the metaphysical mind dungeon? That's a byproduct of this- which world is a byproduct of what destruction? Okay, so what's this great destruction that will be obliterating reality. That's a great place to start. It's the same destruction that destroys all reality. Oh yeah, okay. And yet, I can't give it a name. But when you see it, you will recognize just it. Just call it the Babadook or something. I did, just give it some, call it something. I think I want to go home now. Everyone's probably wondering where I went. Yes, we've been gone quite a while. Really? How long? 4,000 years? Five days. Three hours, and two minutes. Three minutes. Wait, wait, what? Everyone's probably freaking out! What has Alex been doing in the meantime? Just like on the the hospital parking- or uh, the, the, the shopping mall parking lot, passed out? Let's, let's get out of here! Let's get out of here indeed. <clears throat> the Y2K problem. <laughs> That's like the title of a fucking video essay about this game. Call it the Roaring. There you go. <laughs> 
some sort of apocalypse. The world is going to end. Why do I feel like it's such a it's such a simple concept that was introduced? Please don't crash again, game. This is how it crashes. Ah, oh, it's probably fucking crashed again, hasn't it? It's so definitely crashed. The crash is to simulate Y2K. Well, uh, let's try this again. Pizza Tower. It's not Pizza Tower time. No, I'm fucking. I'm getting back. It'll just be skipping through a cutscene and maybe doing the boss fight again. Oh, not, not even the boss fight. It's just the cutscene again. Now, I will... Inside are the it crashed the just like Undertale. Someone's saying I unironically enjoy this game's story. I, I don't get what know. story you're Nothing perceiving that can be enjoyed. I don't- there's not even a story from what I see. It's, it's just like unrelated ideas and not even in the way that coalesce to form some sort of like really deep meditation on an abstract topic. It's just like... Th there's th the sum total is just confusion. Okay, I'll check the other doors this time at least. Okay, that one doesn't work. 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 Not that one, 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 and not that one. <laughs> I'm glad I checked all the doors. Where am I? The other rooms had you in them. Why aren't I here? You are, and you are speaking. Autoplay. What I'm about to show you is something that lies at the heart of all of yourselves. Please, prepare God, is there some fucking bit that I can use to, like, truth. make this entertaining? What you are about to see cannot be unseen. Should I... Maybe the game detects if you're complaining about not understanding, then just mandatorily no. resets you to no, watch it again until you get what they're talking about. What do you mean? What a... Oh, I can mash, you're right. We need YTP sex, sir. <laughs> that, that's a good standby. I'm always down for some YTP sexer. Bitch. Okay, this is good. Bitch. Bitch. Read the Azzy Pants fic. Oh, there's a good idea. My money, bitch. Wait, is there an Azzy Pants ready? This is crucial information, Chad. Is there a complete Azzy Pants, Azzy Pants fic that I can read? There is. Oh shit, this is a good idea. Uh, link it in um, general in the Discord. Just slap it in general. So for those unaware, um, the, the newest task that my Discord's been put up to, not even officially, just sort of autonomously, is um, in the last stream I did, I accidentally created a Deltarune ship, which is Asriel x Pizza Pants, and people have really taken to it and are like writing fan fiction and stuff. So I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna read a random like uh, Asriel Pizza Pants ship fic uh, while this cutscene plays. Here we go. This should work pretty well. This will be a fun exercise in multitasking. Okay, so Asriel's voice is Bakuga from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Understood. I still have to sort of interact with the game, though. Uh, so I have to simulate back at Yeah, this kind of foppish British voice. Pizza Pants, could you help me clean up the kitchen for a bit? Asriel's firm but gentle British accent resounded. 
Uh, yeah, sure, buddy. The kitchen of Icy's Pizza was barely functional, with stuff strewn everywhere and stray cheese lining the ground like splattered paint. Pizza Pants left their phone on the counter to bend down and cleanse the ground and crevices underneath the counters and tray racks. Asriel sighed. You know, maybe we should tell the warrior to rein it in a bit. Always makes closing time such a problem. Let me tell you a secret, buddy. You try to tell that guy anything and it goes right out the other ear. You may as well be talking to a brick wall. That's how Pizza Pants speaks. Uh, wait, where is the the next guy? I, I've lost track. Wait, who do I talk to next? Maybe this guy? I don't know. After lining the ingredients up and getting everything as clean as you could in five minutes, the duo heads out. Maybe it's this one. You got the delivery- You got the delivery pants, Asriel called out as the low battery notification on his phone prompted him to stop reading the top ten factors from choosing a college. For choosing a college, that is. Yeah, you know, uh, we don't usually do delivery. Hometown's pretty small, so there's never been a real need to. Well, at least the shipping fee goes directly into our pockets, Asriel gleefully remarked. A small token of gratitude in this cruel world, buddy. Who is it addressed to, anyway, anyhow? And where are we delivering it to? The sun is setting, so we shouldn't take too long, Asriel inquired. Um, can I look at the altar now? Here we go. Now we can really read the fic. Someone that goes by, uh, GXY and some numbers, Pizza Pants replied. Understand. Let me have a look. Asriel peered over the contents of the delivery the request way. invoice it's paper. That's not part of the name, that's coordinates. I assume that's where they're located in hometown. It can only be beats me, buddy. I have, may have, uh, slept through the entirety of math class daily. You know, that explains a lot in hindsight. Let's pull up the map of hometown. How could I... It's steam impending. Gotcha, gotcha. Powers do I have that could lead to this type of devastation? This is fine. Is just as much an act of aggression as taking up arms. And Asriel pulled out their cell phone and loaded the map of hometown. I do not know, but what's important? Huh? He doesn't appear to be anything here. Oh, there doesn't appear to be anything here, but it's as if they want it delivered. Let's just put it here no. and call it a day. Asriel and Pizza Pants set out from in front, uh, set out from the front of Icy's, walking east and then south, continuing down the long path. You know I'm realizing. Didn't we just had one of us do the delivery? Pizza Pants mumbled. Pizza Pants' voice is kind of like Susie's, actually. It's, it's a bit... It's a bit hard to really hone in on the correct intonation, with Alex Yeek talking over me at high volume. It's getting rather dark. Don't you think that sightings of Isis have been making the headlines on the news? So better safe than sorry. Well, let's just get this over with. How close are we? It's just past the large mound outcropping with an, uh, the, uh, it's just past this large mound outcropping with the odd noises coming out of it, Asriel replied joyfully. Nothing like some weird noises to make Friday a little freaky, buddy. We just need to turn here and walk through the woods for a bit. Ah, I see a small clearing to enter through, Asriel noted. The troop proceeded through the clearing, the branches threateningly brushing against them for the sheer density of the forest and they carefully walked along the narrow clearing do, afforded to them. Whatever you decide, I am with you every for crying, step uh, For crying out loud, wait, wait. that's the fifth cut from these branches. Is, Are you okay, Pants? My choice? I don't get paid enough because for this, this Pizza reality, Pants said coldly. Suddenly, a circular clearing emerged with a single egg underneath Why a lone tree in the center. Why do you so this so is the place? You? Pizza Pat because asked. Let me check my phone, Asriel replied. Um, it appears my phone has died, so it took a little longer than anticipated. Fine, I'll pull out my phone. Pizza Pants rummaged through his pants pocket, <laughs> his pants pocket, then his shirt pocket, then his back pocket, but there was no phone to be felt. Damn, I left my phone at work. The only thing I ever expected to when do they make out, Wait, says Chad. You're saying I'm the asshole that used Vela and... Well, 
In any case, I guess we can just leave it next to the aid. I'm assuming the owner must be nearby, as we all pondered. Hey, they paid in advance, so let's just leave it here. The wounds are killing me like you would not believe. Yeah, lean into the Brooklyn for pizza pens. That, that'll do it. Ah, I can help with that. As we all put down the pizza delivery box and began to lick pizza pants' arm wound. Whoa, that's... Asriel briefly stopped licking to speak. My saliva is antibacterial, isn't yours? Uh, Asriel's turning into like Bear grills here. I, I guess. Asriel began to lick the nearby wounds. Pizza Pants mulled over, just licking the wounds himself. But a twinge of pain brought his mind elsewhere. <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded reading this. <laughs> I'm trying to talk over the fucking yeek and I'm like getting lightheaded. <laughs> That stings, but in a good way. Just or maybe I'm just losing it after a long day of pain. Pizza Pants bemoaned. Asriel seemed to be getting down. into the licking. The pace of the licking die. quickened. His excess saliva <laughs> began to drip from Asriel's no mouth onto Pizza Pants' lips. I now that in your heart, there is no other choice. As I, uh, much as I appreciate the concern, we're in the middle of, un middle of the, the, wait, is that Pizza Pants? There's no dialogue indicator. As, uh, as much as I appreciate the concern, we're in the middle of the woods right now, and I am gone, buddy. Right, of course, we should be able to get back to town, Asriel said, quickly wiping his mouth. Uh, you know what that is, right? Because I was not paying attention at all to where we were going. Yeah, even my phone died and yours is still at work. I think I recall where we came from. We can start with heading back through the clearing. What's the matter, buddy? The, the clearing, it's it's gone. Every, even my last brain cell knows we just walked in a line and the pizza from the pizza palace, so uh, the, the, the pizza place, uh, so uh, it, it's just, uh, oh. The narrow clearing they had previously used to enter this bizarre circle of bereft of trees had vanished and was as dense as any other direction. I got any bright ideas, buddy? Put that college brain to use and help us both out. Pizza Palace. Pizza Palace? Who the fuck is Pizza Palace? Hey, we're back. Alright, uh, the Azzy Pants is over for now. That That's just a preview. I'm so lightheaded now, I can't even think straight. It was getting so hard to read. I didn't crash this time. Well, that was cool. I hope you all enjoyed that. So, uh, he really was just lying in the parking lot the whole time. His friends just left him there. He was like run over by a minivan since they left. Public transportation. Ugh. My mom never picked me up from school. Alex, 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 we went on a fucking spirit journey and you're talking about public transit there. again. What the fuck is your problem, Alex? The ascension is just like staring at him here. It's like we just revealed that reality is in danger and that you have to like overcome your your central core spiritual flaws to like save reality or something and Anox is back immediately and he's like oh I hate taking the bus my mom didn't pick me up from school fuck my mom my mom sucks I hate public transit too by the way Andrew what are your thoughts on balls um the yeek devs had a lot to release this on steam I have seen many realities and this one is by far the least prepared for public transportation. Damn, God, in New Jersey, right? Perhaps if you lived in a better reality, your country would be more equipped to handle traversing the countryside. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get on that. Hey, is it winter time now? In those five days, it turned to winter. Sick. I love pollution. I love climate change. She's not coming? She's just gonna stand there. I still have my skateboard, so it's fine. I'm gonna go shopping. I'll be back in a sec. We're just back. It's like nothing ever happened. It's fine. If I buy them a size too big, they can use a belt and grow into them. None of the other party members are here. It's like what I said, right? Anytime something important to the plot happens in this game, 
your party just disperses like it was it was shipwrecked and scattered by the tides. They just drift back into their idle animations and their like default states, and you have to go and recover them all manually. It's really it makes it very hard to build any momentum in the plot when that when this is happening, right? It's like every time we're on this big high from talking about the, the universe is going to be destroyed, and I was like, well, you got to go find Michael at the pizza stop and say like, oh, Michael, I'm sorry for having a seizure in front of the van for five days. Reality is in danger now. I need your help. And then Michael's going to say like, hey, Alex, you can always count on me for a laugh and then not talk again for the next three streams. And that's how it goes. And Rory is like, it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up, Alex, that you kissed me last time, but I guess I'll help. Wonder if I can go into any of the shops. Baptist shellfish. What does that even mean? Is that a joke? Maybe I missed. Oh, what are the the missing poster for Semi Park? Wait, since when is Semi Park like a? Uh, known to the police. Maybe maybe they the fun gang told the police while I was gone? Who knows? Rory never mentions the kiss, apparently. I do know apparently. It, it did come to my attention that uh if you make the wrong decisions, Rory can kill himself in this game. Kinda fucking crazy. I don't think we'll see that this time, because I wasn't a, enough of a dick to Rory, but like Alex being nice is the only thing that keeps Rory alive in this game, which is really fucked up to think about. Like, imagine the only thing holding together your ego being like, approval from Alex. Yeek. The Ascension is still here. Wait, does she come with me? Who owns this van? Wait, no, 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 no. The chase scene music starts again? Are you kidding? The penis music just comes back. I'm saving. Yeah, save the data. I don't even know who wrote that fan fiction, by the way. I just started reading it. I, <laughs> I don't even know who wrote that. It may have been Roserade. Maybe I can take- I was, that's what I was gonna say, like, can we just take the van and drive it? Does Alex have a license? I thought maybe he just didn't have a car, but maybe he doesn't have a license at all. Oh, that was blue NSLs! Oh, okay. I was curious to see what blue NSL would produce, because they're just- they, they won a bunch of, like, tournaments in ACDS. But I think I've yet to contribute to the fanfiction. These fucking guys! They were chasing me when I went into the mall! Like, uh, ten years ago. It's that they've been waiting here the whole time to ambush me. Fuck off, Ninja Turtles. I hate you so much. No! Ah! I have to dodge the attack still. I'm glad I saved. Those guys could like wipe me. <laughs> then I'd have to do the cat scene again. I said no anchovies. No anchovies. I'm gonna rip off your head and shit down your neck, asshole. <laughs> this is the 90s. Go to Shell. Yeah. They've already been to Shell. It was kind of boring and had a door puzzle. <laughs> I'm going to remain somewhat dissociated for the rest of the stream after the, the Azzy Pants experience. We're out of vacation days! Where do I even go from here, dude? Oh, yo, Internet Cafe. This is a good time to read 4chan for like three hours. I kind of do actually want to read the, uh, the blog posts or whatever, whatever you call them on the computer because like... I, I'm missing out on a significant portion of the game otherwise. 9 out of 10 stream already? How do I get it to 10? Should I have played 
white TP sexer while reading the the Azrael fic. Look up Susie in the trash thread, get traumatized. That's how we get the sequel to Umris. Stop signs alive at night. So I've been getting home later and later each night. I've been doing a pretty epic guest with uh, SNESMAN99 Oh, a quest. Oh, this is, is this Vela or Vera? Vera from whatever. I'm just going to voice it as Rory. So I'm not really home these days. I've noticed something weird though. When I get back home, the street signs appear to have moved. I know this sounds weird, but if we, if we think the street signs might have come to life and are moving around, if anyone can go to Birch Street in Frankton and confirm that the street signs are alive, I'd love to know I'm not batshit crazy. Okay. Fire, hot fire. SNESMAN99 is Alex, yeah. Veraformer is Michael, oh. Paper Shivers is Claudio. Bear Necessity is Rory? What the fuck are those names? Ghost Sightings. Oh, it's it's big. It's massive. I just got back from a trip to the KNN and this is what I found. The KNN building is on a highway that is more or less a local road. North of the KNN is EU, which stands for the European Union, and south of it will get you to the highway to go to the city. Across the streets from the KNN is a toy store, but it's not in direct eyesight. There is a bus stop, but it's uh, it's about three to four miles north of the KNN. What the fuck is the KNN? I doubt Sammy walked that, based on the high heels she was wearing in the elevator video, so I went to the toy store and asked a few questions. This is where it gets interesting. They had never heard of the elevator girl video. I showed them. I've been carrying it around in a zip disk. What a fucking... Never trust anyone who carries around a piece of media just in their pocket and whips it out. Like, what talks about an interest and they just have it, like, in their pocket ready to show you... To, no, that's, like, a red flag. And they were wondering why they weren't showing it on the news. So after working up the courage, uh, I, 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 I missed where the line went. So after working up the courage, I walked over to the KNN and offered them the video of Sammy. But they just sent me away. Literally, they told me they weren't interested. Weird thing is, they were missing posters for Sammy around the area, so I assumed the KNN was responsible for putting them up. But now I think about it, they, they really just couldn't care less about her. She wasn't a long time employee, and she didn't vanish on their property, so it's probably just a giant headache for them that all these internet kids keep popping up and bothering them. Is it a news network? Is that where... Did Sammy work at the news? I didn't even know that was a plot point. If we don't bother them, who will? Listening, literally no one is reporting on this. No one cares besides Ornism. I want this girl to be found. But more importantly, I want the world to know she is missing. Hoax. Hoax. Great argument. You really changed my opinion. Hoax. 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 Okay, that was a really worthwhile experience. I have theories. I tried contacting a college and they ignored me. Bismal. Is there anything worth reading in here? Weird game a QT's brother made. What is this some meta shit from the devs? But this is Michael again. I've been seeing this girl. She isn't my girlfriend yet, but I'm working on it. 
He's cool, but her family is really weird. They don't really talk when I go over to her house. Her brother has something wrong with him. Some form of autism, I guess. She tells me her brother is really into making computer games. I said that it was cool, trying not to come off as uh, really impressed, although I was. Apparently, he wants to make a game that feels like the game itself is possessed by a spirit. I didn't really know what that meant. A few months go by. Still not much like uh, with the girl. Still not much like with the girl, but enjoying her platonic company. So, on Wednesday, the girl invites me over to play the game, and we boot it up on her computer. The game runs from DOS. Graphics are shit, but there's something there. Something that really cut deep. In the game, no one else really knows what your character is under a curse. It, it, it goes on for fucking ten hours. <laughs> Ableist by Korea! Everyone in this game is so offensive. Maybe that's an accurate simulation of the 90s. To be fair, this is 4chan. This is this is exactly <laughs> what you would expect. Yeah, it's too long. Uh, is there anything like kind of short and sweet? No. I remember where I stopped reading this before. Is he talking about Rory? I have no idea. That, no, that was Michael talking about seeing a girl, so that Michael would have known who Rory was, I think. I was wondering if it was going to turn into a reference to, like, um, Eulalilia or something. I'm not sure how... The, the game seems to, like, touching on, like, real-life stuff, but uh, I'm not sure if that was actually going there. Rory's neighbors with Sunny. This is a complete dead end. The Ninja Turtles are gonna ambush me at any second now. Here they are. Okay, that wasn't too hard. the bus stop again. I just gotta get to a bus stop. Immediately. Up there. That looks like a bus- oh my god. This is gonna take a while, but I'm not killing them. I refuse. I will never- I will never kill them. Nice. Please, 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 please. That's not even a bus stop, it's fake. What is this thing up here? No. <laughs> the chicken. Chicken avoided. Oh, I need more tea. Doing the fucking Michael Sonic the Hedgehog voice. Oh, that's the university. Does the university have a bus stop? That is a save point at least. Actually, there's nothing to save. What does the sign say? Nothing. It's it's not a sign. It's just a folded piece of cardboard. <laughs> That looks like a bus stop. Wait, the KN, that's what he was talking about. What the fuck? Why is KN in like a parallel dimension? Joy Toy? Does this. Is this like a sex shop? What's in there? Where the fuck am I? No way to get me in here. Only way to leave my places of the world is literally ending. Okay. 
If you want to speak to the mayor, try causing some terrible catastrophe. There's been a lot of internet detectives putting their answer ever since the new fire vanished. We missed it, but you can't just wait and move on with your life. We have no control over it. Do you have a bus stop? Can you give me a ride? Well, this place sucks. What the fuck? Dude, there's a car accident happening off screen. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> there was just a crazy car crash. How do you make an RPG with like passive vehicle physics that can bug out like in, in like Grand Theft Auto? Good lord. Uh, wait, was that... No, that doesn't have a bus stop up there. Oh my god. The cool stuff happened off screen. Like, you never would have guessed in a million years that that car parked the ribbon physically simulated and like running an AI script and like just running into another physically simulated car off screen. Like, who, who does that? Who adds that to the game? Flagtown has a bus. Oh. Why did they make so many different models of Ninja Tortoise instead of designing different enemies? They're actively chasing you. It's basically the Undyne boss fight. Exactly the same. The McDonald's dude. Hamburger. Nice. See you soon. Will you though? Please. Oh, I made it. Yo, it's winter time in Flagtown. They made a whole different map. Does that mean I have to go get Claudio here? They wouldn't have redesigned the area if it wasn't mandatory to come back to. This is what I mean about the return to their idle animations. It's just like, or maybe he's not back. His, his Jeep is here. What about the back room? Welcome. Mog liberation? What? Got a sick paint job. I don't any of these are good. Come again. Okay, where is Claudio if not in the shop that he owns? Gay Pirate Canada. You're damn right. If this was a real adventure game, the, the, the solution would be to, like, set off the car alarm so that Claudio has to, like, come to the car. I don't think we're quite on that plane, though. He's not here. He better be here somewhere, right? Like, if his car is here, he better not be fucking around in Frankton or something. I swear to God. I've been sick since the start of this summer. School's starting and I've barely gotten to go to the beach. Make sure you enjoy the weather. Dude, this is the problem of not updating the NPC dialogue. It's fucking snowing now. That kid's been sick since like for half a year now. And maybe terminal at this point. There's a maze? I just have a labyrinth. Does Theseus live here? King Minos? Ever since the record shop opened, we've had so many young people around town. They're all so nice and helpful. Please visit the record shop and support the local businesses. Yeah, that's the Neapolitan pride flag. <laughs> and blue. 
Okay, I don't, I don't think Claudio is here. I, I bet I just have to go back to Frankton and like talk to Michael or some bullshit. And then that'll like trigger everyone else to load into the map, like the NPCs they are. Oh, the ball though. I've forgotten the joys of ball. This is the deflated soccer ball. The, the only one in the game that they didn't pump up with air enough. Oh, I can't even kick it. Come on. Come on. There we go. This is so refreshing after the mind dungeon. You have no idea. Football! Ronaldinho soccer! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wait, wait. What if combine skateboard with ball? Okay, nothing really happens. That's too bad. Wait, I want to see if that car crashes off screen now. I know it can happen, so now I just gotta wait. Oh, fuck. The ninja shuttles are gonna get my ass now. Uh, let's just go to Frankton. Holy shit, man. Just go back. Claudio disappeared until his plot contributions are needed again. That's literally what they do. His car still exists, though. Like, if they wanted to make it seem like Claudio was just couldn't be found, they could have just deleted his car from the map, and he's like, oh, he's driving somewhere, you can't find him yet, but they just left his car sitting there. Is this guy finished the zine? I gave him, like, a thousand dollars last time. Dude, it's done! Yet it is! Holy crap, you actually did it! I thought you were gonna just spend it on drugs like the other homeless guys in Frankton. Alex read the zine. It was worth the wait. So, what did you think? His his accent's gone from three beer to like, if you could change your fate, would ya? Alex listed off several dozen complaints about the zine and four backhanded compliments. So, does that mean you'll phone this you too? The world's going to end soon, so... Hell yeah. This is a good business model. Just don't make any profit. Just have some random guy give you the money that he found in caves. To, to keep doing it. It's like uh, having a whale patron or something. I bought these samples and I figured you could use them. I got mystical threads. I wonder what they do. The police? What the hell are the Franken Popo doing here? <laughs> you just said the Popo. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not important. Just come back later. Uh, I want to check on like um, I don't know Snoopy. <laughs> Woof. The real soccer ball. That was sick. Is Vela around? These cars have lost their minds. It must be the Y2K bug. The only person you know that says Popo is your grandma? <laughs> is that a grandma thing to say? The Popo. I think the first time I encountered that that slaying was in one of like Joel's ancient roller coaster tycoon streams where some like multiplayer entity just spawned in a a coaster called the Popo Be Fast on Your Ass. And it was just like a single loop that you went around at the speed of sound. <laughs> and it was really funny to me. Popo means poo in Spanish. That's excellent. You heard it from YV? Oh, that, yeah, that's good too. Guns that hate Texas. Why am I shopping for fucking cameras? I hate you. I'm leaving. I always forget there's a pawn shop. This is the most liminal corner of all of Yeek. 
someone can make a YouTube video just about this one corner of the map and yeek and how liminal it is. He's gonna gun down the oldest lady you know. I do have the ramp mostly memorized, but unfortunately I already I blew the gag in the Mother 3 streams. I will not be reciting it here. D just let it be known that I don't believe in gnomes, I don't believe in uh, uh, the other thing. All me be believe in is my nuclear throne. Oh, the popo are gone. It, it resolved itself. All right, that's good. You just ignore the police and they go away. Mom, are you okay? What's going on? How the fuck did the Essentia get here? Uh, maybe she joined our party. Alex, where the hell have you been? I was so worried. Oh, I was, I was on a sp spirit journey. Ah, oh, the the android. Ah, oh, mom. Uh, ma'am, is this the boy you reported missing? Uh, is this the boy? Wait, this is a good voice actor. Missing? You reported me missing? I was only gone for five days. I haven't seen you for days, and none of your friends knew where you were. What do you mean they didn't know? They saw me go into the back of a van and, like, disappear off the face of the earth. They could have come up with a story. What were you doing, guys? Like, you're not going to cover for my ass while I'm off having the spirit journey with the android. Sometimes a panicked mother is worse than impending doom. That's something that... The, I, I think Alex is the only person who's ever said that. Hey, I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry, Mrs. Eagleston. Alex was with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. My car broke down, and he was kind enough to walk with me to the auto body shop and help me out. For five days. He's been with me, and has been perfectly safe. Who are you? Is she gonna comment on the fact that she's an android? Why is your hair green? Technically, wouldn't she be a gynoid? I don't know. I feel like I said that in a previous stream. Alex? Why are you hanging out with a woman with green hair? The metal joints aren't a factor, it's just the green hair, okay. Mom, that's the latest fashion. Everyone does it. It's the 90s. It's true. Maybe the green hair tribe is, is ideologically opposed to the red hair tribe. Because they have like opposite hair colors. Multicolored hair is the bomb, or whatever. Yeah, you went to talk, red-headed Andy over here. Redhead Andrea. Yes, my hair is the bomb. By which I mean the two discs on top are thermonuclear warheads. Okay. Well, if you're safe, then I'll be heading back to the station. What the fuck is this voice actor, dude? Another case solved. I am the greatest cop on the force. Have a good day. Stay out of trouble. I'm watching you. Well, now that you're safe, I can tell you the good news. I got a job. Wow. That's awesome. What are you doing? More programming. I got hired by Moon Macrosystems developing Y2K compatible versions of their software. Mom, I think it's pronounced yeek. Basically, I'm rebranding all their products as Y2K compatible and selling them for twice the cost. Hell yeah. Y2K? Yeah, you know. That theory that at the turn of the new year, all computers will stop working? It was explained to me in a previous cutscene, yeek mom, I, I get this. People are afraid the world is going to end, so we might as well capitalize on that fear. And I would say, choose fear. Should we be worried about Y2K, mom? I think you know the answer to this, Alex. Like, a, an android from space just told you that the world's gonna yes. end. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Not unless you're a machine. I wouldn't worry. Yikes. I wouldn't want to talk to my mom either if if this is how conversations with her went, to be honest. Why would I be a machine? Why would you say something like that? What? No, I meant 
<laughs> this is like the, the Game Grumps bit. I am human. You're quite unusual, honey. Alex, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, not right now. Um, yeah, we need to work on something. But by which I mean, uh, fuck. I'm gonna ha have sex in my room now. Work on uh, what? That's like the first excuse that comes to mind. Homework. Homework, okay, that works too. Homework, but in a way that is code for sex. What is this yeah. voiceover? What the fuck is this voiceover? Is this like extreme indie music? Where they just open up with a phone call where their dad like abandoned them or something? And then it turns into a, a, a guitar riff? She's doing a homework. The Essentia is the homework. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Average Midwest emo song. Yeah, I guess. This is by the Brave Little Abacus. This used to be on my dad's dresser. We still don't know what happened to Alex's dad. Or what's in this room. Disgusting mom clothes. Fuck. What? Wait, what's the... Oh, Alex can give that dialogue prompt through the wall. Homework? Wow. You are not helping. You didn't think of anything better, Alex. Come on. I'm sorry. I could not resist. Okay, so you do have a sense of humor. <laughs> I wasn't sure if being part android took out the fun parts of your personality. The fuck does that mean, Alex? You are being a real dick right now. I can be very funny. Would you like to hear my stand-up routine? Please. What? Really? Now? The world is gonna end. This is no time for jokes. Your existence is a joke, Alex. Listen to the comedy routine. Knock, knock. Okay, who's there? Old lady. Y2K. Oh, okay. Y2K who? Yeek who? Y2K. They couldn't get the Seinfeld theme, so they improvised. Funny. Okay, so, what's the next step? What do we do? We should begin by asking your friends to join us. She should have turned herself into a pickle. She's halfway there already. It's so not funny, it wraps around to being funny. Uh, I think it's like... It, it wraps around another half turn to like not being funny again. I don't know, it, it's, it does several revolutions. Although there is a possibility that they may be smart enough to enter the soul space before the end. Do you really think they do that? It is a possibility. We must convince them to aid us, as we are about to die fighting a force that cannot be stopped. Okay, if we're gonna do this, I need you to stop reminding me that you think this is a lost cause. I'm determined to try and stop this. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I am sorry. I did not mean to upset you. I am here to help you with whatever you need. I think it would be wise for me to speak with Bella alone, as we are one and the same. That, that would help, I guess. That, like, you know, Pisces to Pisces communication, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you should call her and arrange a meeting? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that right now. Go make an appointment at the villa office. I don't know. You have her phone number, right? It's his father's record player. Notice how the laundry hamper is completely empty because Alex has not changed his clothes in nine months. His pants are just soaked with piss like in Disco Elysium. One of the gnar uh, honestly one of the gnarliest plot points in Disco Elysium is that your pants are just canonically soaked in piss for the whole game, 
And presumably it dries out, but like they still can't smell good. The cookies still going strong. On text, play Disco Elysium. It's, it's not a trick. Hey, Vela, uh, listen, I need you to come over. Alex, where have you been? <laughs> we were all so freaked out when you disappeared. <sighs> yeah, come over and I'll explain why. Why was Vela freaked out? She knows how this shit works, right? He got sucked into the pocket dimension or whatever. Well, why is Vela bothered by this Did at all? Do you want me to call the others? Please, I don't want to have to find them myself. No, I think no. it'd be best if I just told you this alone. Fuck. I'll tell the others, but I think you need to hear it first. Okay, I'll be right over. You! You're the android from the van! Yes, I remember this. It happened five days ago, and I've just been... I don't know, working at the arcade since then and not thinking about it. Bella, this is the Essentia 2000. Essentia 2000, this is Bella. This is going to be really awkward, but you're actually the same person. And actually, I was the guy who ghosted you in your last reality. Awkward. Hello, Bella. It's nice to see you. Likewise. What's going on here? I don't even know where to begin. It's... So complicated. So basically, there's this guy named Alex Adelson. He gets back from college, and his mom tells him to go get groceries, right? But he loses the grocery list to a cat. Alex, please go up to your room. Did you seriously just tell me to go to my room? Come I on. I would like to speak to Bella alone. But mom. Oh. Yeah, sure. What if I wanted to go outside and take a walk instead, though? I saw in the dark, two floors below me. Two women of the same soul spoke about the fate of the world. Do you know how weird it was thinking that? <laughs> I, I guess it's, it's kind of weird. It would be pretty fucked up if that happened in real life, am I right? No, you really can't. Well, maybe now you can that you're in the same situation. One soul, but many people. Hmm. In the darkness, thinking about the end of all reality. Knowing inside myself that all of this was true. These concepts, previously absurd were now mysteriously vivid in every detail. To the point where I felt like I could grasp them in my hands. This is everyone after like one dose of LSD or something. Immediately they come back from the trip and they're just like, it's it's intuitive to me that the world will end in, in Y2K and that we have to go on a, a spirit, a, a grand quest to like, to fight off the gray aliens with the love battleship. I pictured myself alone. It's literally universe. what Alex has undergone. All things around me had been destroyed. Everyone was gone. And then she floated by. Sammy. But she wasn't Sammy. She was Vela. But also not Vela. She was the Ascension 2000. Oda, Yuzu, and Nyla. Somehow these people were linked by their soul. Whatever that meant. Indeed. What did it mean to share a soul but be a different person? That's a good question. What did the Ascension 2000 called it? A parallel life? Circumstantial simultaneity. I thought of Buddhists and their concept of past lives. Hmm, I've been thinking of Buddhists as well, Alex. Funny, it's almost like the author intended you to think about Buddhists. Before I was Alex, I was a pirate or a poor village girl living in Croatia. But in a parallel life, I was Alex, a pirate, sure that's... and a little girl in Croatia. Yeah. Yeah, showed us to Croatia. I lived all of my lives at once, in distant but similar realities. Similar was only an assumption. I realize now how little I knew about reality. Oh boy. Cut the parts of the garlic off. Oh, let's go the fuck down here! I have spoken with Bella, and shown her irrefutable proof of my identity. We have the same mole on our left buttock. I've explored the soul space, and I've seen the beginnings of destruction to many realities. Oh, you have? I have seen the remains of many souls. And Alex, 
This scares the living hell out of me. Or you did it a lot faster than with me, I gotta say. Maybe the uh, the two weeks of not streaming Yeek were canonical, and that's why it took five days. I, I will do anything I can to help stop whatever's coming for us. Well, that was easy. You spoke to us in the past, specifically to Bella, about a feeling that fate brought you two together. I am that fate. This was meant to happen. Cool. I do not know if we can stop whatever is coming, but I know that we are meant to try. Cool. So what's next? What do we do? What's the plan? We should get the others on board. Oh god, we could have just called them. And then we should train in the mine dungeon. Oh Alice, god. You have seen what is coming for us, and you know better than anyone else. The only way to stop it is to understand yourself. Which means being a level 50 probably, if I don't know. we can get as far into the mine dungeon as possible, and learn as many abilities as possible, we may stand a chance of dying with dignity. No, we're gonna one-shot God with uh, beatdown by abusing the game mechanics. That's my actual plan. How much health does it have? Like 10,000? I, I can deal 10,000 damage in one combo. I can do that. Alex, what did you see in the mine dungeon? Uh, usually it's just a bunch of doors with like uh, chains on them. What did the end look like? Why did she say that? Ignore her question. What the? Why? Why is that an option? What a fucking stupid option. This is the first time you've talked to Vela in like days canonically. The whole point of this meeting is to talk about what you're doing and you can just ignore the only question she asks. Like what? I don't know, but I know that it's related to me, that somehow I am the destruction. Right, that was a plot point that I forgot about because it made no fucking sense. I might just be a piece of it. I might be all of it. I can't say, but I know I can stop it from destroying everything I love. Okay. Alice, I believe the best I course am of action now approaches. would be to go and find each one of your friends individually and talk to them about the current situation. I am the one who knocks. Remember that the better you do, the more mind dungeon keys you will unlock. And the stronger you will become. Yeah. It is vital that all of your friends are on board. Okay. Without achieving the highest level by the time the end comes, our futile efforts will be even more. Is this seriously the, the last segment of the game? But we don't even know when the it's end is coming. It's just to grind level it 50? Could be tomorrow for all we know. Y2K. Could that be it? Oh. Oh, it's, that's, why the, that's why the game is called Yeek. Oh, I just figured it out. Holy shit, guys. Could the turn of the millennium be the date? I don't know, maybe. What do you think, Android Me? It is possible. It is possible. It is also possible that this is not the case. I've had a weird sense of impending doom ever since Rory and Michael mentioned it. That might explain why 99 has gone to shit. I've been looking at the newspaper a lot lately, and things are really screwed up out there. Well, what do you really got to complain about in the 90s, Michael? I mean, really. Well, I suppose having I mean, some estimated date is good enough for me. Alex, you can return to the mine dungeon anytime to see how many days Wait, remain. is this Persona now? We're on a timer? Wait, what? You mean the date was real? It's been so many numbers and zeros. How do I even calculate that into a date? What? I could not see the number myself. But if you take me there and tell me the number, I can help you convert it into days. Oh, you mean the weird numbers on the wall? Well, damn. Why didn't you tell me that sooner? Well, she didn't. Lay off of her. We're not perfect, you know. What? Why is this such a big deal? Is that Just... your new thing? Referring to her as you and etc, etc? Yes, it's really quirky. Just don't, don't mention it. Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Well, I'm gonna go find everyone and get to work on them. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. They both just like agree. He asks for luck and they both just say good luck. Ideal. He feels I like he's being mocked at this point. And convince them that the end was coming. Alright. Cut the garlic off. Good luck, asswipe. 
Maybe if you could play the piano, you'd be able to defend from the uh, interdimensional apocalypse. I guess I'll save. All right, we're into sort of open world freeform gameplay now. It's quite a transition. It'll be a shock to the system. At least there's a soccer ball though. Can't wait to see a video essay on this game, Mr. Cunningham. Oh God, it sounds like a nightmare. Actually a fucking nightmare. The amount of like mental effort it takes to like structure ideas into a script, even in a game that I've been thinking about for years, like Undertale, is immense. Like th this would just be a disaster. A complete clusterfuck. You'd love a unique video essay instead of just game bad? Dude, if you want a video essay that's not game bad, it's not gonna be mine, dude. There are video essays that try to take this game a bit more seriously, I think, but um I, I'm not going to make that. Okay, you know what? Before doing any more of this shit, I, I have to take a piss. Um, I'll be back in a wee sec. Maybe I'll get a snack too. Who knows? I'll be back eventually.
Oh, I see chats talking about <clears throat> uh, the Yeek battle system and stuff. Whether it's better or worse than a traditional turn-based thing. God, the music's loud. It's fucking overworld music. Um, but, so here's some, some exclusive lore. Um, some, some might not know that uh, Mystic Slime did that YouTube Plays Undertale thing a while back, and uh, it basically, like, myself and several other Deltarune YouTube people were invited to join the stream and just sort of provide a kind of meandering commentary. And while I was there, I, w I was in the call with uh, Jaru, and I finally got to ask Jaru a question I've been meaning to for a while, which is, um, and I know that Jaru Jaru is is a epic battle fantasy fan, as am I. Um, maybe the only other person in the world who plays those games. I don't know. But I, I don't really play RPGs, or at least not traditional ones. Like, I grew up in epic battle fantasy, the fucking Newgrounds Scottish Flash game, was my first introduction to the genre of, like, JRPGs. And so that's my reference for what turn-based battles are like. And I asked Jaru, who's played several Final Fantasy games, um, his honest thoughts. Like, how do you think epic battle fantasy compares to Final Fantasy's this combat? And he says, it handily thrashes them. He confirmed that, like, epic battle fantasy may be the best example of turn-based combat in existence. And that was my first introduction to it. Crazy, right? So maybe the reason that I hate turn-based combat is because all of it's failing to live up to the resplendent legacy of Epic Battle Fantasy 3 on Newgrounds. That could be it. Um, oh, by the way, 420 pounds from JD. Time to take a piss! It so was, JD. Damn, you're right. Thanks for that. But, um, as for Yeek, I do think this is worse than most normal turn-based systems. Um, it was... because, like, all the enemies are the same in this game. Like, they don't even have different attacks, really. Like, they have a couple different ways they force you to dodge, but... Effectively, every enemy seems to just be a reskin. And the way you fight them all is exactly the same. And even the party members kind of do similar things. It's... There's no tactics to it at all, and so all there really is to enjoy is the minigames. And the mini games are slow and boring, so it's like it fails on many simultaneous levels. Like there's not even a cool animation usually for attacks. Why am I here? I have I, I, I'm gonna go to Wind Town or something. Give me the skateboard. Gotta go talk to Rory or some shit. I wonder how much you actually have to grind. Uh oh. Okay, I thought I'd be trapped doing that for a while. And the reason people like dodging attacks in Mario RPGs and stuff is because it adds variety, but in Yeek the attacks have no variety. Yeah, it's a far cry from, like, in Superstar Saga, you're not just- it's a timed minigame, sure, but, like, every enemy in the game has their own unique animation for attacking you that you counter with one of, like, three predefined systems. Um, it's more like Undertale in that way, where the, the enemy's attacks actually express the character of the enemy. Although the enemies don't really have, like, personalities in, in those games, it's mostly just, like, um, a bit of superficial flavor, but it really goes a long way. It makes them feel like they're they're different. They attack you in different ways. So it's Dark Souls. <laughs> there's two different types of combat. Yeek and Dark Souls. It's, it's just a, there's a line drawn between them. You're on one side or the other.
Wait, wait I, that just clicked for me. Is the flagship record store in Flagtown because flag is in the name? Is that the, the pun? I don't know. Then you have Sekiro Combat. That's definitely a step up from Yeek. <laughs> if that's what is that that's what you mean to say. Sekiro is better than Yeek. I might agree to that. I watched an all bosses uh, glitchless Sekiro speedrun the other day. And it was quite remarkable. It really just seemed to be like every boss could be beaten by um either dead angling them into a corner or spamming mortal draw. It, it looked so ridiculously easy. And the, the contrast with like how difficult that game is playing it casually, it's it was really strange. I knocked but no one answered. Can I not go to this house yet? How do I initiate? The same thing happened last time. I went to Rory's house to find Rory. Rory doesn't exist yet, sorry. I had to go back and like find Michael, talk to Michael. Michael makes Rory exist after talking to him. Then you go back here. It's such bullshit, dude. How do- just- no, I'm stuck. I just want to get the party back. No Rory, sorry. Sorry, Rory machine broken. Is it the Ninja Turtles again? Oh my god. I am so sick! The chicken. <laughs> People are talking about Fallout 2, a game I've not played. I've not played any Fallout, in fact. Kind of looks like we're in the middle of the, uh, the springtime cherry blossoms here because of the faintly pink light, but it is in fact snow. Fallout 2 heads in chat, says Outsin. Apparently everyone in chat's a huge Fallout 2 mega fan. Who knew? When am I gonna stream Sonic 06 for the next game? Oh, uh... That would be quite an event, to stream a Sonic game. Cause I've... I've never played any Sonic game before, despite how uh, invested I am in auxiliary aspects of the franchise. I forget how you access Michael. He was just loitering before. He was just outside of a store somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure what Sonic game I would stream if I were to stream one, though. Like, obviously Sonic 06 is just a clusterfuck, but... Sonic Adventure is also a clusterfuck, but also people say it's good. That one seems like more interesting, at least. Was that Rory? Wait, did I pass a Rory? Sonic Mania is supposed to be good, yeah. Oh, there's Rory, what the fuck? Okay, here he is. Hey, Rory. Yo, where have you been? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, where have you been? About that. It's like all the characters just haven't thought about this at all. Like, they saw me go into the van. Are they not interested? Are they not, like, why haven't they met up? To like find me. What what are they doing? Do they do they, they just stop existing when they're off screen? They unload, they T-pose, they get teleported back to their spawn locations, like the fucking scuttlebug. I spent the next half hour telling the tale of me, the Essentia 2000, and our journey deep into the dungeon of her mind. God, I'm sorry I missed that half hour. That sounds sick. So. That's how the world ends? Not with a bang, but with a whimper? With you destroying it somehow? I don't think I know what that means. <laughs> you and me both, little buddy. I don't get it myself, but I need your help. And what's your plan? Suicide? <laughs> uh, just kidding, that's never cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
Unless. Uh, I'm thinking something a little less martyry. I want to train our butts off and be ready to kick this thing's ass once it gets here. Nice joke. I mean, it's it's at least interesting that that comes from the character who does kill himself in another timeline. What is it coming for us? I don't know the exact date, but my gut is telling me it's on New Year's Eve. That's a good good thing to go off of. All that Y2K panic? What if people can sense the end is coming? I, I know that sounds dumb, but I can't help but feel like that's when it's going to happen. So what do you What's the alternative? Ah, oh, I skipped it. Run away to the soul space? He, he really put his finger on it immediately, yeah. I could never convince my mom or dad to even try Ash. And I would never leave everyone else here to die. Uh, of course I'm in. Apparently the, um... I should, I should just r reveal this. I watched the beginning of, um... A, a Yeek video essay. It, it was kind of like I really just wanted to. I wanted to dip my toe back into the Yeek, but I didn't want to spoil myself. So I just watched, like, the first little bit of it. But uh, apparently Rory's VA, um... Was, he's just a YouTuber that the devs contacted to do voice work. And then halfway through the project, he realized that, like, he wasn't qualified and he kept asking them to uh, just hire someone else. But they refused <laughs> and just made him finish the project. Okay, that wasn't very hard at all. He's like, I don't want to try to get my mom to astral project. That would be stupid. Is Vela here? No, I already talked to Vela already. Okay. Okay, does Rory cause Michael to spawn in now, or...? Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, Chandra! Oh, I was hoping I'd see you. Her clothing does not change depending on the weather. It's You know, I constant. had the strangest dream last night. I was looking for something... Something for my brother. You were dreaming about finding your brother instead of hunting for me. That's really reassuring, Sean. My brother was older. I was also missing. Probably in his 30s, except he had glasses and red hair. Oh, so you were dreaming about finding me instead of actually doing it. I see what you mean. like you. Anyway, I was wandering around. Yeah, I don't even mind Rory's voice that much, to be honest. Like, I, I think it's fitting. It's not that bad. I wanted something of his to take home, but it couldn't Oops. be anything important that he would miss. So, I stole one of his pencils. Guys, there's a snapping turtle outside. I think it's lost from the pond. It's like a mile away from here. It's just a chat message about a snapping turtle. I wish you luck. Make sure to grab it from behind. Um, if you're going to interact with the snapping turtle. Where do you live that there's snapping turtles wandering your yard? Where does that happen? You know what's weird? I feel like I've heard this story before. Illinois? What? Why is that? They have snapping turtles in Illinois. Feed it a hot dog. That's an idea. Don't don't like approach it. Just like throw a hot dog at it. I don't know. Anyway. I took the pencil and started drawing all over the walls with it. Oh my I god, Chandra. I don't want to hear your fucking over. dream last night. It's always boring. I, we have to, like, save the world here. What did you write? <laughs> it was Pantaloon over and over again. Jesus pantaloon, Christ, pantaloon, I don't pantaloon, care. Pantaloon. I don't care. Anyway, my brother comes into the room and he just looks at me like he caught me naked. Or at least in my pantaloons. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and he starts crying just sobbing i start crying too <laughs> is there an option just to I like turn away while she's still talking <laughs> dream, and, and right? just walk away yeah yeah uh yeah okay anyway i know the world's going to end oh i'm gonna do my best to help you what, what? how did you figure that out it was another part of the dream you'll figure it out you're smart enough you have all the clues you need Oh, your earphones, your headphones told you that. That's what's playing on your Walkman. It's a message about the end of the world coming. What? How, how can you just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I thought there'd be like side quests associated with this, but it's actually just like you talk to them for 10 seconds and they're obviously I'm going to help stop the end of the world. Do you think I'm stupid or something? And then they join you. That's all it really seems to take. Oh, there's Claudio. You know, I had a dream last night. In my dream. Oh no. I saw my brother. No, oh, not my this brother again. It's happening. Are you back in the you fucking room again? Ugly ginger like yourself. Shut you up. came to me and asked me for a favor. Is that why you're here? It is. You're gonna take that sitting down, Alex? Ugly ginger? So? What's the deal? I'm guessing it's something serious. The world's going to end. I saw it in my mind dungeon. Remember the android from that van? Well, that android is Vela, Sammy, and a bunch of other people in a parallel life. I'm glad we're past the point where this any of the sounds like deranged rambling. Everyone's just like, yeah, checks out. She showed me all of these things, and I know now that the world will end soon. This is basically one of like the the needy streamer overload endings, isn't it? <laughs> He just becomes an apocalyptic prophet after taking too many drugs. But in this context, it makes perfect sense. I want to train in the mind dungeon and be ready to fight this thing when it comes for us. You down? Are you serious? Very. <laughs> I'm down. See? I believe you, man. It's easy. It's just like, yeah, well, I guess so. That that seems about right. You're, you're going to put the snapping turtle in a, a wheelbarrow? Okay. The, the snapping turtle plot is just evolving in chat. Can you pick it up with a shovel? How much did one of those weigh? I don't know how big they are. Dude, you gave me hope again. You brought a sense of adventure back in my life that I thought had vanished with my little brother. Or maybe with becoming a, a business owner. That kind of sucks a lot of the adventure out of things. Really? I didn't know. You just gotta deal with like taxes and stuff man meaning you and your friends was the best thing to ever happen to me aside from res uh, early investment in bitcoin without meaning you i'd be so oblivious to everything that's out there oh when you will when you want to move a snapping turtle you lift it slightly by the rear and let it walk with its four legs oh <laughs> that's what you mean by turtle barrow <laughs> that's really funny I love the, like, when do you want to move a snapping turtle? It, it happens often. It, it, there's many occasions in your life when you'll have to move snapping turtles about... 20 pounds? Oh, that's, that's not as big as I, I thought, maybe. I was picturing, like, a Galapagos giant tortoise. I'm glad I was able to help. Man-eating. I had no idea I had that sort of effect on anyone. That's about how much my dog weighed. Well... <laughs> Claudia, what? Just let me know... When you're ready to start training. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, ha, yeah. Oh, ha, whoa. Way past cool. They really just let the, the VA pop off for that line. Hope grew as I realized everyone I asked to help me said yes. Did I really deserve everyone's help? Nope. Not at all. Maybe they're invested in, I don't know, not dying in the apocalypse. Maybe that's Maybe also this is part why of it. I was exceedingly grateful. Okay. I thought about Michael. He was the only one I hadn't seen since I returned from my trip into the Ascension 2000's mind. And also the only one that I didn't really want to see. Where'd he gone? Why hadn't anyone else seen him? You haven't asked. <gasps> the phone. Alex, come to the forest meadow just south of Frankton. There's something I want to talk to you about. The meadow. I'll be right there. Okay. I'm assuming I, he's not calling us from the forest meadow with like a payphone. He's gonna also walk there. How does he know Alex is back? I don't know, the same way that Chandra knows the world's ending. Oh, maybe they invented cell phones while Alex was in the mind dungeon. That would explain everything. They've all just been pranking Alex. They're in like a Discord chat. Soccer ball. Uh, the meadow to the stout, south. Um, it's this way, I guess.
Oh, we're in the Jeep now. Oh, because Claudio is in the party. Right, right, right. Can you get a random encounter in the Jeep, I wonder? Kind of want to save regardless. Is there a phone here? There's the phone. Didn't I skip it? What, what, what did I skip? I don't know what I skipped. Oh, did I skip a text box where they talked about Michael, maybe? That could be it. That could be it. There's a path down in Frankton? Oh, what, there is? I've never noticed that. Oh, that forest meadow. Okay, there must be, I guess. I don't recall seeing it, though. Hmm. Um... Was it over here? No, not there. Wait, what's that? Is that just where the pawn shop is? On the, on the, other, si the, on the other side of the trees? Oh, to answer your question, uh, I actually have had to move snapping turtles somewhat often. I have to drive over um, a stream to get to the highway, and sometimes I come across a struck, a stuck one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good lore. Uh, how do they get stuck? Like on their backs, or uh, I've, I've never seen this by the way. Or did it's like in a hole? I know that sh uh, sheep can get stuck on their backs just by falling over. The ability are that poorly designed. Poggers. Sometimes on their mat backs, sometimes in the mud. Interesting. They just get stuck and die if you don't save them. How sad. Uh, apparently this is not the forest meadow, unfortunately. Oh wait, what's this? No, that's just another item. Okay, we're back to square one here. I don't know where the forest meadow is. It really looks like it should be that ring of trees, like here, doesn't it? Like this thing. Oh, maybe this. Like the Chrono Trigger Goblin Fortress. Oh, this place! The, the Link to the Past clear-in. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, there was a big candle here. I, I remember this. Yo, Michael's become Vivek. That's cool. How did he get past the candles, though? He has become Vivek. Why is the fire blue now? What? It's blue in front of the ground? What the fuck kind of shader did they did they apply to make the fire blue over the ground? Did they is this some sort of crazy like uh, reskin they did, like to make the ground snowy? And is the shader somehow affecting like the fire renderer too? God, I don't even want to think about how that works. It's only where it overlaps with the snow that it's blue. That's so fucking strange. Uh... Ooh, I can get the items first. You would encourage people to turn turtles right side up if you see flipped ones. And move them off roads. Except snapping turtles. They are uh, a fuck around and find out animal. <laughs> okay, good to know. I've never seen a turtle in the wild, or a tortoise. Was that five million dollars? Wait, what? How, how much money was that? Okay, five thousand. 
I thought it was five million for a second. You think it's transparent and fuses with the background to become blue? That's not how it works. It's it's not. It's desaturating, and the edges are going from like yellow to blue here. That's not a transparency thing. It's some other sort of a uh, shading effect. Do you have chest hair? Michael? Is that you? Where the hell have you been? I've been looking for you for the past week. No, you haven't. I called your house, knocked on your door. Wait, has it been a week? No one ever answered. Wait, since when did a week pass? What the fuck is time in this game, man? Like, I talked to four dudes, then there was like a cutscene, then I was at my house. And now it's a week. What? None of that matters anymore. Dude, he's so hairy. Why is he so hairy? He looks like fucking Chuck Norris. It's so trivial. Don't you see? Oh no, he's become a fucking pessimistic nihilist. No, of course you don't. I wouldn't have a week ago. What happened? You sound different. Your voice is different. What's going on? Michael, I've hit puberty. Alex, something has happened to me. I am transformed. I've come to understand certain things. Reach out, Alex, and gaze upon Moatra. I stole it from the god of treachery. Chim, chim, chim? <laughs> How am I supposed to voice that? I've been exposed to the truth. Chim, chim, chiri. What do you mean? What happened? He's re-entered the plot in a big way, you're right. This is his revenge for being plot irrelevant for so long. He's, he's become like a space deity now. Kiss him. Something happened to me. Something very startling at first, but now, now it's just incredible. He is talking about puberty. Are you gonna tell me what happened, or are you just gonna keep acting like Vela? I saw the soul space. I met a parallel self. I lived so many lives. I am everything. Well, that's neat. Uh, what? Isn't that also what Alex did? What did Michael do that was so much cooler than what Alex did that he's now like a spirit guru, and Alex is just fucking Alex still? Like, Alex was exposed to, like, many parallel lives and, like, fucking saw himself crucified in front of the earth and he was going to cause the apocalypse. And Michael is the one who's become, like, the transcendent yoga master now. What the fuck did he see? Alex, I entered the mind dungeon alone and I wandered and wandered. Soon I stumbled upon a hall of names. Each of these names was etched into a door. Inside each of these doors was a life. My life. For nine days straight, I experienced what it was like to be my parallel selves. Alex is just a Philistine who sees God and stays the same. <laughs> kind of based, actually. He just he saw the exact same thing as Michael. He just didn't really find it that impressive. <laughs> Alex, to experience a parallel life in real time is to become an oxymoron. To be something and not be something. Both at once. Oh, uh, dude, I just didn't think about it that hard. I am me, but I am also her or him. I have my memories, but they also don't belong to me. The very act of experiencing a parallel life is mind shattering. When we are born, we immediately begin developing a series of biases and defenses that help us ground our lives in the reality that we invent for ourselves. In doing so, we lose sight of the temporary nature of life. We forget everything. We lose track of where we came from and only look to the future. Experiencing a parallel life disassembles all physiological constraints that have been built up over the years. We see life for what it is, a three-sided box that only allows us to look forward not back into our own minds where the true nature of reality exists. Do you know what the funniest part is? You really did achieve Chim, yeah. What? I know what you've come to ask me. And I know that I'll say yes, even though I always turn you down. Do you realize how many times we've had this conversation? It's like clockwork. Alex is so fucking unimpressed. He's just, what the... <laughs> Can we get on with this, Michael? He looked upon the tower and saw the shape. 
This is the, the evaporating moth priest they were talking about in that one Elder Scrolls lore document. I have a friend. This friend continuously hurts another friend of ours, and soon he realizes his flaws. Turtle update. There is now a fox looking at the turtle. Can a fox eat the turtle, or does the turtle eat the fox? What, what happens in an interaction? He soon asks me to try and save him from self-destruction. Every time I say no, and every time you destroy our reality. What? Bro, I, I just wanted you to help me fight the final boss. I'm, I'm not going to cause human instrumentality if you turn me down here. I don't even really like you. Do these people like each other? I don't know. Maybe it took for me to realize what not helping a friend can do to that friend. But I'm in. Let's win this thing. He realized that it's bad to not help your friends when he didn't help his friend once and reality ended. I guess that'll do it. Like, that'll teach you your lesson pretty quick. It's like a really harsh episode of uh, Franklin the Turtle. Timothy goes to school kind of thing. Michael, did you see how reality ends? No. All of my lives end with you destroying everything. But I'm never there to see firsthand how you do it. Crap. I was really hoping you knew the answer. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised you're not alarmed by what I've told you. What have I missed while I'm away? Summon your fan art of the turtle. I'm hyped to see that. I think you should meet our new android friend. You'd get along great. You're basically the same thing now. Alex, do you feel the air? Do you see the stars? Their positions have changed. Did you notice the colors? Yeah, the flame is blue now. Everything is wrong. This isn't what it was like. Something is wrong. Something is broken. Can't you see it? You're talking about something else now. Michael, I... I don't know. Maybe... Maybe things feel different, but... Dude, they felt different for a long time. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about now. Fox can't really do anything to the turtle. Being a fox that might want to play with the turtle. Being a snapping turtle, it is a creature of an unmitigated homicidal rage and will bite the fox. Alright, so you have to protect the fox from the turtle. The very feeling of being me has changed. I can't really put my finger on it, but something is wrong. You're right. I'm glad you, you're here to tell me this, because I obviously am not picking up on what you're, you're laying down otherwise. Y you're not really articulating this feel of, of like metaphysical wrongness to the screen to me the player <laughs> do you ever remember things wrong no i don't think so what does that mean never mind i suppose not let's go We're back talking to about house. the mandala effect yeah maybe Uh, I like to think he just stayed hovering and walked back floated house, behind me. A strange feeling of nostalgia overwhelmed me. The college used to have a girls' dorm. Oh, out since picking up what they're laying down. Yeah, yeah, and Michael's house changed for sure. So what's this? This is like a different plot point almost. It's like that Michael has been Mandela affected. Turtle update. Fox was scared off by the turtle jumping at its face. Turtles can jump? What the fuck, man? It was as if I hadn't seen Michael in a really long time. Where are you watching the stream from? You're, 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 you're in the woods the with like an iPad? <laughs> what the fuck are you? I just thought about this. You hadn't seen Michael in a really long time, and the Michael you'd spent the year with had been broken and now was fixed. Okay. This was the Michael I remembered. Okay. In the cooling winter air, oh, it's outside your window. I had a series of memories returned to me. All of them involved Michael, but none of them felt real. I was, I'm picturing you like at a campsite with like a, a projector screen and like an old film camera that's like projecting my live stream. As if I'd experienced them in a far off distant life. It is a pleasure to meet you all. All the dipshits hang out. Michael's just levitating with no shirt on still. Like, just really awkward, man. Can you put a shirt on, please? He's just stuck like that now. 
This is this is why you don't expand your mind, kids. You just end up like that. You're just floating in the corner with no shirt on. And what, what's he gonna do? He's not going to college anymore like that. He's just gonna live in the woods. Although, in a way, we have met many times before, both in the past of our parallel lives and in the future of our parallel yeah, lives. Yeah, skip the bullshit. We're all from seven dimensions at once. Can we just talk like humans? I am going to make this brief. Starting tomorrow, we will train in the Mind Dungeon. It is now the 24th of November, and... It's the 24th of November. Well, that's good to know, I guess, yeah. Oh, you can that's found a cult! That's true. Not in Canada, it ain't, Chandra. Sit back down. Thanks. Giving? Tomorrow? Yeah, and so we should start on Friday! I can't believe the creator of 4chan trends to know. That's literally what happened. The creator of 4chan just goes on his fucking, like, a psilocybin mushroom binge. Uh, starts some sort of transcendental cult. Is never heard from again. I don't know what happened to the original, like, the, the real-life creator of 4chan, but it could easily be similar as far as I know. What about shopping on Friday? What the fuck are you guys on about here? Just kidding! Ser seriously, seriously, just kidding! Okay. You worked for Google for a bit. Ah, cool. I guess he didn't turn into Vivek. Many of my parallel lives were Canadian, so this is somewhat a surprise to me. She actually made the fucking Canadian Thanksgiving joke. Jesus Christ. Well, how does that affect your... Like, many of my... Many of my parallel lives... Were some of them not American, too? Shouldn't you just know the date for both of them and not be surprised? <laughs> what? As I experienced Canadian Thanksgiving a few Thanks for today. explaining the joke further, man. All right. Fair enough. Friday, we begin. Dialogue. Dialogue. The promise of a future is something I'd grown to take for granted. Now, with the threat of impending doom, I realize how silly it was to do so. And what else could be expected of me? Never trust a robot that understands Canadian holidays. I've lived the past 25 years knowing nothing but a series of tomorrows. Yeah. In fact, I'll do that tomorrow. It'll become my mantra over the past two and a half decades. Tomorrow, there may be nothing. Today, maybe the last day. If today was your last day, would you live each moment like your last? Something but bitches in the past. Hmm. This knowledge triggered something in me to fall away. It was as if the core of my personality dropped away and nothing came in to fill the hole. What was the core? What actually fell out? What's in there? It was like being hungry all the time except food, mindless fun, and things that normally bring happiness had lost their appeal. The knowledge that this was all temporary had stripped me of the ability to experience basic human pleasures. Well, that sucks. But I craved from a sense of normal. The desire to go back. No, that's not right. I didn't want to go back. If I went back, I'd be the same person I used to be. Selfish, unfocused, lazy. I had no purpose. I was a blank slate that was covered in war paint. What is war paint? I was going to defeat whatever was coming from my reality. Even if it was me. I would defeat myself. Sick. What that meant, I didn't know. But I was prepared to do whatever it took. Okay. I liked what I was becoming. What I didn't like was wasting time eating turkey, cranberry sauce, and mashed potatoes. Oh, it's, it's good, though. Oh, Panda. It's 7.05 oh, a.m. Panda's back. This is the earliest you've been up since you had that 7.30 class. And even then, you woke up at 7.30. Yeah, I know that feel, buddy. <sighs> Feels good. I was so excited to get to the mine dungeon, I barely slept last night.
I was so excited to get to the mind dungeon. Oh. Impressive. Well, get to work. Remember, you can choose to go to the mine dungeon or visit your friends in town. You can only do one or the other. He's literally just Persona with Morgana telling me not to go to bed after 8 p.m. We have about a month until the new year comes, and it's hard to do both in a day. Try and spend as much time in the mine dungeon as you can. If you don't train hard enough, you might not be strong enough by the time the end comes. Hmm. Got it today, all. What does hanging out with my friends actually do? This is permanently the music now. Huh. Dang, Panda always pressured me to spend all my time in my mind dungeon. <laughs> Today all. There's a third option, just to fuck around. I'm curious what this even constitutes. I'll try it. Spend some time with my friends. Oh, I thought it would. So in Persona, you have to like actually go and find a friend and hang out, and then time passes. Stories, little clues about what might be coming. This is just like we ring the church bell, and then everyone has to congregate in Alex's bedroom. The mine dungeon is the wind uh, dungeon tears of the kingdom's bitch. Okay. Is that like the... What's that one dungeon in the Phantom Hourglass they have to keep going back to and it's really stressful? Or Spirit Tracks too, come to, uh, come to think of it. You wonder what Michael's confidant gives. I don't know, the meaning of life or some bullshit? There's something I've noticed. Has anyone else felt like the amount of screwed up stuff happening lately has escalated? Everyone keeps saying that. Uh, I'm not seeing it though. What do you mean? Like, last year I swear I never heard about girls going missing. Dying in water towers. People shooting up their schools. And now what? Oh, just wait till the 2000s, buddy. You're not even getting started. I swear, every time I catch the news there's a new tragedy. It's like people are going out of their way to find new ways to die. You know, that's uh, it could easily be selection bias. I mean, the news that are going to report on the most graphic things they can get their hands on, right? So, you know, you can't really trust that as like uh, evidence of like a, gl a global systemic shift, in my opinion. When but... you experienced your parallel lives, were there any indication that it's just this reality that's like that? Hmm. That's a good question. That is a very interesting question to ask, Alex. I'm afraid that even I a being who is aware of all of my parallel lives at once cannot answer. Seems like a pretty simple question. The huh? defining core mechanics of each reality is so different that there is very little point in comparing them. What, Vela sounded pretty fucking basic. They just had more cows and different music genre names. The norm for, say, my life as Oda, compared to my life as Yuzu, are so starkly different. In Oda's life, I longed for family that was never around. In that reality, families were not close. Whereas in Yuzu's reality, people lived with their families and never moved apart. Okay. People who did not speak with their families were considered to be outcasts. <sighs> Great. So do you think things are getting worse? I believe things are always as they've been. Only you are just now old enough to notice how harsh reality can be. Oh, there we go. So even enlightened Vivek Michael is just like going on about nonsense. I may not answer because the devs did not consider this question. <laughs> A group of friends has never needed death grips more. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I have had the experience of... Uh, of getting into a random person, well not a random person, it was after like a, a live music event that I went to and some friends were performing there and then afterward they were all going to meet at a bar and this guy that I barely knew was just like, hey hop in the back, I got room and so I jumped in with some other people and then he just immediately starts blasting death grips from the stereo incredibly loud just from his personal playlist it just bombs down it was, it was quite the vibe actually 
I can understand the appeal. Is this, if I keep selecting hang out with friends, is that just an endless onslaught of cutscenes where Michael talks about like the uptick in school shootings in the news and then the Essentia says like, that's pretty crazy, I guess. I wonder if this means something and then it ends and we go back. Like that sounds like hell, I'd rather go grind. You're guessing it was ex-military? Uh, I don't actually think so. It was uh, Money Store? Is that an album? I think you mentioned Money Store. So what's even in here now? When, when he says train in the mine dungeon, like, does that mean literally just level up? But I, I can't level up without XP though. How do I get the XP? Oh wait, everyone leveled up now? Since when does that happen? What? I don't get it, man. Money store is a classic, apparently, huh? A Fantano 20. Or 10. Oh, Anthony Fantano gave it a 10. I guess that means it's good. These kids need direction and perspective that only a MC Ride screaming I've seen footage could provide. Well, they've seen footage of uh, Sammy Park being sucked out of an elevator by space gods. I need more training. Did this consume a day? Coming and like not being able to do anything? But then I just spent all day like meditating and achieving absolutely jack shit. Um. Yo, what's up? Oh, this is just the monologue selection. Wait, did I select reduce? No, bring it back. Wait, how do I change it? Oh, now it works. I, I couldn't move the cursor before. Okay. Yeek is a game about becoming progressively more noited until you lose your fucking mind. From any outside observer, that's exactly what's happening. But we, as the, uh, you know, since Alex is the perspective character, we know that this is probably actually real. Why is there a question mark option? I, you can't select it, I don't know. Does this use a bidet now? It does. So wait, why would I not just do that at the very end after, I guess I can grind somehow, right? But I should, should show, I should just go explore the town surely, right? Because th then I can grind, maybe? Yeeked and noited are the similar concepts, yeah. Stuck at home in a manner bordering on the titular. Oh, God. I'm assuming, yeah, it's in. If you train, you just get XP. Oh, wait, no, does it give you XP for doing the mine dungeon? Is that what it means? Surely not. I'm just going to go try to grind. See if it lets me. I don't know how many floors that fucking thing has. It, it could go to level 50 for all I know. Like, God help me. I've already cleared this one. It looks like I can just go grind. Oh, talking to friends gives you 100 XP? All right, it's fucking clobbering time, you bastards. Your recompense has come. 
I'm gonna start blasting We're Not Gonna Take It by whatever band plays that song. I wanna say Chumba Wumba, but that's probably not right. I'll also play Tub Thumping, Tub Thumping by Chumba Wumba after that. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna kick me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. He's not getting up again. Okay, fuck all of you, just defend. Even the defend animation takes a while. Ascension! Oh yeah, what does Michael do now? Proto Michael has become vodka drink. <laughs> Michael should be OP now. Uh, yeah, I should see if Michael's like jacked now. Uh, Rory can tank that shit easy. Yeah, we. Alex never actually needed HP, we just had to get Rory back in the party. <laughs> He's become the vodka drink. Why is that so funny? Wait, not EP strike. Beat down, there we go. That was a poor start. Oh, a bummer, dude! Chumba Wumba sounds like Scrimbolo Bimbolo. It is one of the stupidest names of all time, I agree. It's still better than Hooba Stank. The, I mean, there's a lot to choose from when it comes to weird band names. Chumba Wumba is pretty fucking weird, though. What is... Can you actually target someone, or what? Godlike reaction. The band is so fucking loud, the music. Maybe, maybe the Ascension can actually kill this one. It has so little health. Is it enough? It is. What about psychedelic porn crumpets? That's that's not bad. A Japanese band called Bathtub Shitters. That's also very good. Reference to Andre the Giant. Crywink is also pretty good in terms of band names. Not necessarily the act itself. The poop shitters is pretty good. Yeah, I like the poop shitters. Alright, they're finally dead. Uh, did we ever go into Monster 2? Nope. <laughs> I did one monster den and stomp. There's probably like 50 of them on the map. Get over here. Was that plus 2 XP? Oh, that, that doesn't board well. How weak are these fucking guys? Just try LP toss. See if I can kill them all. Now I got Check him. It was just not enough to one-shot them all. That's tragic. Maybe the party members can pick him off? 
Just barely. Look out for number one! You had a dream once that the Chumba Wumba song Dutiful Servants and Political Masters was used for its lyrics in a Megalovania version. So it should probably make a chapter by chapter RPG about it. <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? Why are they fighting mice anyway? To train for the final boss, diegetically. Shit. Shitty attack. Not even good enough. It's a great song, I'll take I'll take your word for it. Uh, I'm kind of curious what the Chumba Wumba back catalog sounds like. I know that I, I read their Wikipedia page. It, apparently the band is okay with being a one-hit wonder. Which which is a nice attitude, I guess. They know that no one else knows like any of their other music <laughs> besides Tub Thumping and they're fine with that. That's good enough. The turtle is free! Yo, you freed the turtle! Nice! Someone put the turtle in the, the pond in Illinois. This is such whimsical music. And all you do here is like slaughter the wildlife. It's time for your dick flattening appointment! We gotta flatten all the emojis' dicks. Shit, that's the wrong one. I wonder if I can mash on that. I've never tried. Just do nothing. You're all useless. Look out for number one! This is just local wildlife, I assume, yeah? The animation is so long, it's not even worth using that. It wastes so much time, holy shit. These are the monsters from Undertale, but they're treated like shit. Yeah, basically. Nice dodge, Rory. Oh, it takes so fucking long. Okay, use... Oh, I'm out of PP. That's bad. Can someone else heal Alex's PP? I don't think anyone's available to do it. Shit. Five should be enough, honestly. It wasn't enough. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Look out for number one! Fuck it, use the missile launcher, I guess. It's the bongo song, it's back, yeah. These are like chump level enemies from the start of the game. Why are they so tanky? Do they scale them? <laughs> nice one, Rory. Don't let El Capitan here take any actual damage. The song makes me want to kill Alex Ye. That's good, that's the mindset the developers wanted you to have. Hell yeah. Wait, is there, there's a Chumba Wumba song that ends with a clinical description of an abortion? That's interesting. I'm not sure exactly what the context for that is, but it sounds cool. For fuck's sake, Alex. Okay, just... Let's see what, uh, fucking, um... 
Chandra's theoretically really strong because she can use the heal share item, but we don't even need that right now. Uh, what is it? Config? No. Equipment? How do you swap the party members? I don't know how you move them. Equipment status. It's not config. Not skills. Is it in battle? No, you can do this from the menu, but I just forget how. Yeah, there's one more slot. You're right, that's ominous. Is Michael still bad? Huh. Maybe this is fine. The only person I'd want to swap out is uh, Chandra, probably, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just uh, give some sweet tea to Alex so that he can cast more PP skills. Hmm, tic-tac. Where is it? Not a milkshake. Oh, you have the birch beer still, that'll do. Perfect. Oh, Sammy Park was in the party, you're right. We, we could have like three versions of the Vela in the party together. <laughs> Just like Kingdom Hearts, man. It's literally like Kingdom Hearts! Deploy the... Uh... Where is it? LP Toss, that's it. God, they're fast. Why are they so fucking fast? How am I supposed to interact with this? That sucked shit. How goes the Yi King today, says Dork. Just got back from socializing. The Yi King has been pretty rough so far. It's... The game only gets weakier the deeper you go into the end game here. It's just been an onslaught of weird shit. Just just nonsense continuously. It's pretty wild. And the game crashed again, yeah, but it, it couldn't delete that much progress. It tried, but it failed. I ended up I booted it back up and then I I left the cutscene on autoplay while I read viewer submitted fanfiction in another tab over the top of the cutscene. It was it was a good time. You miss so much Yiki, you have no idea what's going on right now. It doesn't really matter, like, now the, they've revealed that there's going to be an apocalypse and they have to defeat the apocalypse by grinding in the field for a week. That, that's the story. And Alex is also going to destroy the world, but not if he doesn't stop it as well. I don't know. No one knows. Literally no one knows what that means in the story. We're just trying to improvise here. Look out for number one. Hanging out with friends then leveling up is the better way? Maybe, maybe it is. <laughs> Grinding is boring? I mean, yeah it is, you're right. The cutscenes are also pretty boring, but at least you get to listen to the funny dialogue. <laughs> eh. Our friend has reached enlightenment and we found $5,000 in the forest and it's not plot relevant. The whitest RPG ever made. <laughs> what? Is, why, why does that make it the whitest? I'm not sure I could... <laughs> it's, it's something. It does apparently correlate to make it white. Finish it off, Alex.
victory was mine that day. We only get 25 experience from that. Yeah, that's dog shit. Cheeseburger. The $5,000 is not relevant. Yeah, because Alex is just going to dump it into the fucking Scottish zine salesman. No one has to buy the zines if Alex just keeps giving him money to sell them. Is battle pacing still a slog? Well, no, we've... It kind of is, but we've trivialized it as best as possible with this really broken approach here, where Alex just hits for 7,000 damage and one-shots most beings. But then you have to wait for all the other party members to end their turns, which is a huge pain. Ideally, it would just be Alex and Rory. Look out for number one. The XP might scale? I'm not sure. I think attacking is just as slow as defending. It's You might as well just attack. There's another one. Kill all the monsters. Just like Undertale. You're asking what the point of this from a game design perspective is? We're beyond that. I don't know anything about anything anymore. The Yeek Genocide Route. I believe it's called Yeekicide. It's okay, we're, we're per per perpetrating genocide um, purely for the purposes of subverting uh, an omniversal super genocide. So it's actually just, it's completely ethical. In the long run, this is a uh, morally correct. Some of us got conditioned to need big grinding sections in RPGs because we're broken people. Hyper Neptunia understands this. What is Hyper Neptunia? Is that the thing that Chris Chan got obsessed with? Or is that something else? Chandra! Just attack. Don't question it, just attack. The battle music is not very consistent, You're correct, Dort. Um, it's not always battly, it's not always anything, it really just... It's whatever it feels like being in the moment. It, the only game where I, I willingly engage in grinding is probably Terraria, because it's like, you just fall into that mind-numbing flow state in Terraria, where you just... You just flop around, like grapple onto the walls and shoot at the enemies and, and repeat. For some reason that, it gets really, um, you just really get into the groove and stop thinking. Hyper Neptunia was the Chris Chan thing, yes, okay. <laughs> it's, it's not the best association to have with the work of media. I'm sure it's other things beyond that. Unfortunately, that's the only reason I've heard of it. I'll see if Alex can just, how hard he can hit with a basic attack here. Yeah, that was the idea, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Look out for number one. Oh my god. I haven't gone back to vanilla Terraria in a while. I talked about Terraria during one of the Delta Traveler streams, too. I, I've only ever played a vanilla Terraria because it takes me so long to do one playthrough of that game that, like, I can just come back every major update, then do one playthrough, and it takes me, like, 80 hours because I spend so long, like, randomly building structures and, and idling, doing nothing.
play Calamity. Yes. I may I think one day I, I have to play Calamity. The the question though is the thing with Terraria is that I literally don't remember learning to play it. Like now I know what Terraria is like. I know like the progression through the game. I know how to get the items and stuff. But I don't remember how I acquired this information. Because like when you start playing that game, you have no idea what to do and you have to read the wiki for hours. And I just I don't remember how I like overcame that. And that would be the exact same thing with uh, Calamity, is I'd have to relearn it from scratch. That's the Terraria mod Shay works on? What the fuck does Shay not do? Why does Shay work on Calamity? What the fuck? I know that um, DM Dokuro does the music for it. That was the uh, the connection between that and like Undertale Delta Rune, because he's also done remixes, but What what does Shay do on Calamity? Please please tell me. Why is there a brain in the jar here? Shay does work on that. What the fuck? That's enough. He just talks about it sometimes. It's weird how broad the web of calamity is. It's it's got its fingers in all sorts of pies. Many might not like calamity. It feels like a late game. I don't know. I mean, I, I've heard basically the description of it. It's very maximalist. It's very. Uh, the power scale is ridiculous, the bosses are really, really hard, it takes forever, the the aesthetic number one. tends toward the edgy and melodramatic, you know, it's I don't really care, it, it, it sounds fine. Ooh, nice, perfect, perfect hit. Calamity has a shit ton of Toho references. I, I guess that checks out. Hmm. You need a wiki open at all times. Yep, that's about right. Funny tire swing is always here for me, at least. Ho-ho stream win. I'm tempted just right now to, to close Yeek and boot up not Toho, but uh, the, the Matt Rozak uh, ripoff of Toho set in the epic battle fantasy universe that is just the same game as Toho, which exists, by the way. That's a real thing that exists. And I have played it. I'm free just to wander around, but there's nothing to do here, is there? It's it's the illusion of choice. You can grind or, or nothing. I'm probably just going to go talk to my friends in my room again. You gave up on Calamity after Devourer of Gods. I thought that was kind of like the last boss. Maybe that's not true at all. It seems like it would be the last boss. It said the name is Devourer of Gods. I can't even talk to the Zine guy, huh? You love CBT with Yuka Kazami? That's the literal cognitive behavioral therapy game, right? That's that's the joke. It's Krimbos with the golden alpaca on top. That's kind of cute. What is for you, Alex? Oh, backyard access. Nice. Mom let us go in the backyard today, guys. Hype, hype. Like Aldrich, Devourer of Gods from Dark Souls 3. Uh, a bit of a better boss fight than that, hopefully. 
you just the one with the really cool music, right? It goes Really sick soundtrack to that boss. Alex's backyard. Just drive the jeep up. Is anything up here? Why is the music like this? Jesus Christ. There's probably nothing actually here. I'm just kind of looking around. This sounds like every um, like dramatic piece you'd play in like a high school concert band. It sounds like every concert band piece. It's a distinct kind of aesthetic. Fight the radio tower. Oh god, I hope so. There could be an easter egg. There's not, of course, but there could have been. There's a locked door? What do you mean there's a locked door? Is there still something more to do here? Or is that just a pointless door? Huh. Apparently Toho sounds like One Piece if the uh, the girl fights were just pirates pulling nightmarish facial expressions. That is a big part of the One Piece thing, isn't it? Everyone just looks weird and disgusting at all times. <laughs> I've noticed that about the art style. I, I don't really like it personally. Not that I actually watch One Piece, but... There's nothing at all here, yep. I just like the wander sometimes. Alright, let's go home for real now. I wonder how Claudio got the Jeep back here. Wow, that was a cool stunt. It wouldn't be a Yeek stream without the pointless wandering. That's exactly it. That's why you will come to my channel, right? It's for the pointless wandering. My god, the depressing ass monologue every time I come back to the house. Remember the mountain dungeon? Yeah, that was great. I think I took care of everything. So theoretically I could stay out there forever and just grind until my heart's content. I have a whole month after this too. Like there is no rush at all here. How much content is left? How many conversations can there possibly be with my friends? Bringing all recent topics together, my section leader in high school concert band watched all of One Piece and it was one of his three character traits. <laughs> I think if you're going to watch all of One Piece, it, it might as well, like you're not getting your money's worth unless it's, it's becoming part of your personality, otherwise it's just a big waste of time. All I know about One Piece is that there is a trial of balls, and it's not what it sounds like. Oh, it's not? That's too bad. My little fighter. Now I really am. I'm fighting for the end of the world, Mom. I mean, against it. How do I end the day? Do I just try to leave and then decide not to? Today I'll spend time with my friends. I'm stiff. I tried doing some pull-ups for like the first time in years the other day and my arms have been sore <laughs> for like two days since then. Is it weird for you two being the same soul or whatever? It's a very insensitive question, Chandra. I don't think it feels real when you say it like that. One of the trombone players in my high school band was a giga weeaboo. Oh god. Is that like a tier 7 weeaboo? 
They're tier 8. The kind of caricature you only see in memes. Always the low brass. Yeah, the trombones were definitely fucking memers in, in my experience. N none of them were weebs, though. That was more like the, um, the percussionists. They were the ones that would just, like, completely slack off and do nothing but play, like, they'd bring Warhammer figurines on the band trips and stuff. It's not quite the same as being a weeb, but, like, similar, I feel. And they, they couldn't keep a straight, like, straight quarter note four on the floor and a bass drum to save their lives, either. And the the berry saxes were the, the crazy weirdos, too. The baritone sax players. Yeah. The low instruments, for sure. And for some reason, like, the, the flutes are always just all the girls play flute. They, they, I don't know what it is. It, it's like a gendered instrument. No guys played the flute in concert band. I imagine that if Bella were to suddenly become me, she would feel very weird. I am constantly experiencing the emotions of all of my parallel lives. That I sounds... I sad, happy, excited and aroused at the same time. That's... cool. That sounds like a nightmarish state of existence, to be honest. <laughs> or, or perhaps just a bipolar episode. I'm not sure. My takeaway is that she's horny all the time. Aroused? I experience every human state. <sighs> okay, moving on. No, no. I want to hear more about this. Is the section. This why you sometimes get a look of bliss on your face and. Alex, don't the press the fuck for fuck's sake, Alex. For fuck's sake, the section leader in my high school was also a. Uh, oh, the flute leader was a quarterback on the football team, and he was jacked. All right, so your flute section stole all the testosterone from my flute section. Is what you're saying? This is like anime dialogue now. This is immediately this is, they'd go straight for the jugular in like a, a harem anime, and that's happening here too. That's when Just somewhere in a make them life, talk about sex. Stupid questions, Alex. <laughs> Easy there. I wonder what I'm like in my parallel lives. I have to say, this parallel life stuff blows. Compared to the concept of past lives, this isn't very exciting. Is there even a difference? If we had past and future lives, we would get to be something different in the future. Now I just get to be me and not realize I'm so many other things at the same time. Perhaps you too should get an android shell for your physical form. This is the weirdest banter. It, it's like really casual, just quippy conversation, but it's about like the most high-level metaphysical Buddhist surreal shit you can imagine. Terence McKenna and the Machine Elves are just hanging out in the room, shit-posting together now. Crazy. The rest of the flute players were girls, except that he was the guy. Oh, okay, that's that's a strat, I guess. Or maybe he just really liked to play the flute. I don't know. I don't know his story. In a past life, Buddha kicked Alex's ass. Could be like you. This Except is better than grinding. I'd have more of a personality. Oh yeah. Perhaps my problem is that I have too much personality, as I am always dealing with a variety of stupid people at once. You should get off Twitter. It's uh, it's all I'm gonna say. For example, I am currently a 12 year old Scottish boy who just asked out a girl on his first date. The fuck does Karen know that you What? Girl, that's crazy. I've only ever been Scottish one other time. It was not fun. That was the Kuno life. Actually, I don't even know where Kuno's from. I, I've been over this, but... It, it could be just, like, north, northern England or something. I have only ever been Scottish one other time. That is a very funny sentence, I have to say. It's like something that happens to you. You become Scottish. And then you recover. Any way to tell what I'm like in a parallel life? Only if you venture far enough into your mind dungeon. But then you'd end up like Michael, so I wouldn't recommend it. 
You're talking about being bullied for playing the flute? I just don't see, like, once you're in the band kid crowd, no one in the band is really bullying other people in the band. It's just, it wasn't that kind of environment. You're already a band kid. It's like someone else has to come in and bully you all collectively for being in the band. I wonder if I'm a super kick-ass man with bulging biceps. Really just thick, inconquerable biceps. Massive quads. Traps for days. Is that desirable? Obviously. I don't know. Is it not? I like to pretend you're a really feminine and timid girl in one of your parallel lives, Alex. Then go dommy mommy on I your ass. Uh, mm, sorry, what, what did they say that I This is a really weird conversation. Like, that was 100 XP of awkward conversation. I guess it was worth it. And incredible pectorals. Trans mask Chandra. I guess you're not wrong. Clipping that for the soundboard. What? What exactly? I forget most things that I say on stream like a second after they leave my mouth. It's it's like I can't form memories at the same time as I'm talking. Well, that was fun. Let's do it again immediately. The endless gauntlet of bedroom cutscenes. Okay, so I've got some questions for you, Miss The Essentia. Put up with their shit and get 100 XP. That's what this is. It's like you play Truth or Dare. This is just everyone grilling the Essentia about being a pan-dimensional android, and Michael's just sitting there like, hey, guys, I'm I'm enlightened too. You know, you could you could ask me. I I I've lived like parallel lives and stuff. Like I, I'm pretty much the Buddha now. But okay. Do I need to use the the, or can I just call you Essentia 2000, or just 2000? What about E? E? How about I call you R, Rory? How do you, how do you feel about that? How about I call you Scene Kid with the dead sister? Is that your question? No, I I changed my mind. Oh no, sorry. So <laughs> you literally what did. What happens when people die? Does death bring you into the soul space, or is that something different? The estrogen two thousand. <laughs> okay. You are asking a very complex question of me. The only thing I can say is that I do not have a definitive answer for you. Well, some good you are then. I have spent many hours exploring the soul space. There, I have encountered many people. Why is what happens after you die still like a big question after all this? We, we have like multiple souls across different timelines and a hundred billion parallel universes at once. But we still can't say what happens after you die? Like, is that different than becoming a soul space traveler and astral projecting? Is that still not you dying? Like, something else happens? Some of them are parallel versions of myself. However, never have I met a version of myself that has died. Apparently it's still different. When someone dies, I lose contact with them. I can no longer sense them. And yet, there have been times where I can still sense the presence of my other self. Is there a whole month of content? I remember the Fable 3 had a year-long countdown, but only a few dates of gameplay. It seems to be one date at a time, and we have all of December left. I have come to observe that the ultimate death, to cease to exist entirely, only happens to those with worldly bonds. This is where they get you to join the cult. I see what you're getting at, okay. Y you go to hell unless you follow the- uh, then they give you the pamphlet, and you're like, do these exercises every day before- before you go to sleep. Death never truly comes. To those who look out to the future. So, what I'm getting from this is, you believe that if you die caring only about the world, you die forever? I would send hopes they wrote 30 scenes like this. I, I do too. I would say that is a possibility. However, please know that when I say the world or worldly, I mean people who care. Oh, about she's themselves. talking about capitalists. It makes Plus, sense now. Physical possessions. I believe that companionship between souls is the only thing worth caring about. That's not even Buddhist, though. You're, like, you're not even supposed to care about that, I think, in, like, you know, the whole Buddhist philosophy. You're just supposed to become detached, but uh, maybe maybe that's inaccurate. I, I, I'm not the Dalai Lama. You're going to have to ask the Dalai Lama if you really want to know, but... In this reality, 
It seems as if people only care about themselves and what they own. The lack of knowledge about what happens after death is to add more stakes to the character's death, even though the story has zero tension because of its pacing. Yeah, I mean, the same thing kind of happened in Homestuck too, didn't it? When once they revealed they had this like really bizarre afterlife mechanic, and they kept cutting back to dead characters who were just sort of like ghosts now, and that it did very quickly neuter any tension that it had about killing characters, so... I guess you're right. In many of my parallel lives, I have encountered individuals. <laughs> We're forming the ultimate like spark note summary in chat here. If you're capitalist, you go to hell, says Estrogen 2000. <laughs> it's like li the the liberal yeek memes. Uh, but never as many destined for the ultimate death. Witless tarnished, why covet destined death? My sister cared about me, about my mom, my dad, and a lot of people. She gave away her things before she died. I think she wasn't a worldly person. Rory, I am sure your sister was as fine a soul as you. I am eternally sorrowful. That she ended her own life. She is probably not in Buddha hell now, but I can't make guarantees. Let's move on. Life is a rare thing. Many lives in all universes never take physical form. As you throw that gift away is a tragic thing. Oh, there we go. Liberal yeek be like Alex Agelstrogen. <laughs> Jesus. I think... I think I want to help people who feel that way that I want to try and save people who want their lives to end. When this whole thing is over and we've saved everyone, I'm going to help everyone realize how precious this is. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I know it sounded lame, but I believe it. He grew up to be tomato in us. Alex could learn quite a bit from you. What is that supposed to mean? Is, is Alex's hobby like encouraging people to kill themselves? Off. You've unlocked the end is nigh. The Ernie even making a suicide joke two hours earlier? I think that's because he's literally suicidal. that Edmund game. What, did someone reference an Ed McMillan game? I, I missed it. This is a weird loop. It's just like you just never leave the same room. The end is nigh. Is that an Edmund McMillan game? Huh. I haven't really heard of that one, I think. Hang out with some friends. Okay, I have a very serious question. And I'm really hoping you can answer it seriously. You're hoping. I will do my best. Everyone just wants to talk to the robot now. No one's talking to Alex. He's just sitting there in the corner with his panda plushie getting all sad. And Vela's not saying anything either. She's just like moping with Alex and the panda plushie. Does my house show Joe Haru know she might exist in other realities? Am I crazy in thinking that this anime transcends time and space? Oh no, the the writers remembered his character trait. <laughs> they dredged it back up from the Marianas trench in like a treasure chest and opened it up and there's like anime inside. Ridiculon is such a good name it makes me mad. It is a pretty good name, yeah. I'm a fan of Ridiculon. The um the, the one that always gets me is a uh, Heart Machine, the the dev studio behind Hyperlight Drifter. Like that's such a fucking good name. Based Maho Shoujo fan, yeah. Yes. Just yes. Damn. 
I was really hoping it actually was as important to everyone as it is to me. No, I mean, yes, it does exist in other realities. In one reality, the three sisters are brothers. In another, they are three sea lions. That sounds rad. And of course, in one, they are all cats who are dating. Dating cats? But they're still sisters, right? Yes. That yeah. sounds so, so freaking awesome! This brings a whole new dimension! Oh. I almost want to astral project myself into the soul space right now and check out these various iterations of Maha Sojo Haru no Shibai! Normal anime. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you don't have to go to another reality to get those, those premises. Those are just like, wait 10 years and they'll exist. Incest cat sisters. Is that a reference to a real incest cat sister anime? It might be. I don't know. Uh, please tell me you're joking. There is no way that this is a thing. I'm afraid it is. <laughs> She's so grave. Normalist anime. You got a hundred experience for talking about incest anime. Cool. First day of Hanukkah, dude. What happens to Hanukkah? Does Michael reveal that he's Jewish still, despite like being being a Buddhist also? Certified ellipsis moment. Keep him coming, Alex. Keep the bangers coming. Let's let's just all watch anime together. Some like really awkward harem anime. Hey. Oh no, it's the serious one. Okay. He just invited the Vela's. The game has infinite universes or just a lot? It's unclear. There, there's sort of implied to be a finite number. Because it was mentioned earlier that when one disappears, the rest of them sort of like... compress, like they take up physical space. That was sort of a weird metaphor they used. It seems like it's a finite number though. Citrus is a step stepsister lesbian anime, but they're not cat girls. That's yeah, it's missing not different on two fronts, I'd say. Michael only appears Buddhist. In reality, he is a master a master of practical Kabbalah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Effectively, nothing. it's infinite universes, though. There, there could just be, like, an arbitrarily large number. No, I, I have no idea if Michael's Jewish. I made that up. Oh, okay, cool. As long as you're okay. Bella is lying. Damn. Rat it out. She just said she was okay. Man, I wish I could get in her mind like you can. Alex realizing that mind reading is better than conversing if you want to know what people think. It's true. You do not need a pan-dimensional mental link with Bella to see that she is lying. That's how it feels sometimes. I just wanted to tell you that you've come to mean a lot to me, Alex. You, Michael, Chandra, everyone. I'm so happy I left my reality for this one. Even if this one ends, that year I had with you and everyone else was totally worth it. It was a year. It doesn't feel like a year, but it was. I couldn't imagine my life without this reality. Without this Alex. You are so very important. Now they kiss? Alex definitely kissed them. This is your chance. Rory rejected you. This is your only chance. You have to make it happen. There's two of them. It's twice as big of a target. As long as you get one pair of lips, you're in the clear. When you say things like that, it makes me want to kiss you. But uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know which one of you to kiss. The, the line delivery was pretty on point there. You... You want to... Kiss... Me? Alex, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what a strange situation this is. Three-some, 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 three-some. What, you have to choose? 
I can kiss Vela finally. Don't kiss the fucking android, pan-dimensional android. There's no option to kiss both. That is sad. This is the content. I'm not wissing out. Everyone wants me to kiss the robot. The robot does seem to be into me in a way that Vela really kind of isn't. Maybe that is true. Kiss the plastic robot. Alright. <laughs> Final kiss the robot. They should have given you an option to find Rory and kiss him. <laughs> Just leave the house, <laughs> drag Rory back in. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss the robot. Oh my god, it worked. This is awkward. Ow! Oh, you wow. got shocked? <laughs> What's the name of the Alex X Rory ship? Uh, Al Alexri? Ro Rolex? Ro oh, Rolex. There you go. Rolex, like the watch. Sorry. I do not believe I am wired for such activity. Shit. You wrote, Alex. Maybe if there was less saliva to conduct You should have kissed the human, Alex. That was your first mistake. He's realizing now, oh, fuck, I fucked up. I, I should have kissed the human instead of the robot plastic one. Oh, that was your one chance. No one ever talked about this again. The day ends. Vela doesn't even comment on this. <laughs> Alex got no game. Uh, well, I think we kind of knew that. I think I did get XP from that. What the fuck is going on? Uh, this is the end game of Yeek. It's just a gauntlet of awkward conversations in Alex's bedroom. It's just the ascension now. There is something I'd like to ask you. And it's going to be a bit tough for you to hear. Where does the Ascension go in the meantime? Does she just he pose in the backyard or something? Pretend to be a garden gnome? There is no Riz stat, Mel. There's only like attack, defense, and speed and shit. It's not like Persona. Can you blame Alex? He didn't even have the opportunity to level up his like, uh, compassion stat or whatever. What's up? When the end comes, and there is nothing left to do but die, will you leave your body behind and join me in the soul space? Yeah, there is no reason to go to the mind dungeon more than once as far as I can tell. That's pretty weird. A gauntlet of awkward conversations is the end game of real life? Oh, don't be pressing like that, dude. I really don't think we can win, do you? Alex gets to kiss girl, but not boy. I mean, it's a. I, I guess the robot counts as a girl, yeah. I am afraid I don't know either way. I believe we may have a chance. All things are always 50 50. It will either happen or not happen. All th that seems like a really scary axiom. All things there, <laughs> there is a 50% chance of anything happening, no matter what. It's like like a, a psychotic break rules of the universe. Like, like God is coming up with his next banger, but then he just gets drunk and like scribbles that down in like the, the base level axioms. And it becomes like the most fucked plane of existence imaginable. This is the alpha rad joke, but seriously, I don't even know what joke that is. Yeah, we, we still don't know if the real Vela would have kissed Alex. She may have still rejected Alex. The robot has clearly been like conditioned to to love us unconditionally. What's it like to enter the soul space? Does it hurt? Oh, alpha rad just says that a lot. It's 50-50, it either happens or it doesn't. <laughs> it's such a 
a, a humorously like incorrect statement that still you sounds right. To pure spirit, your flesh dissolves, your form dissipates. In other words, it hurts like fuck. You will float in space, liberated from corporeal form. You exist with the freedom to travel wherever you please. You are adrift in the void. It is magical, and it does not hurt. Mel opened a fortune cookie that says you will go on a special date soon. But you're anti-getting bitches. How do I formulate that compound for, like, against getting bitches? Or is that like a full-on state of being anti-getting bitches? Is there a 50% chance that there's a 50% chance that there's a 50% chance that something will happen? What if you recurse that infinitely? Does it approach a limit? I'm not sure. Against getting them too scared. Aw. Uh. Well, you know, the fortune cookie, it's 50-50. It's either happens or it doesn't, right? So it's, it's okay. <laughs> so how do we do it? You must realize how unimportant you are. You must surrender yourself to the soul space and forfeit your right to a physical form. Agree to give up your lot in physical space and accept that you do not need it. Admit to yourself that your physical form is nothing more than a crutch. You were talking about anime like a second ago. I don't know if I could do that. I have only ever known a physical form. I can't imagine not living like this. Eating, drinking, reading, playing games. That's what life is to me. Please stop, though. Otherwise, you will go to Buddha hell. I understand that there's more. I really do, but... I can't let go of what I've been trained to know. The music's like... Oh! Maybe this is why you've never felt the existence of the soul space. You have never lost anything. Then she just walks downstairs and shoots his mom through the head, and now he's dissociated enough to go to soul space. Don't worry. When the reality around you is obliterated, you will understand loss. You mean the, the one comic about the, the miscarriage? Or... Oh no, she's talking about like the metaphysical concept. I just hope it doesn't come to that. The music stops. <laughs> Dork thought I meant the Zootopia comic about the miscarriage. I guess there is more than one story in the universe about miscarriages. Um, you can't unambiguously just say that, but yeah. Maybe that is what Alex meant. Like, he was reading that the other day and he just couldn't grasp, like, the deeper subtext. And now he's like, oh, I see when reality ends. I can finally know what... Uh, Judy Hopps was on about when she snapped and uh, 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 slapped uh, what's this the fox dude in the face the Zootopia wasn't the Zootopia abortion comic it's not a miscarriage it's, it's abortion comic different the bunny girl gets assassinated like a JFK what really that's <laughs> Awesome. D does she become the president first, or...? So... Okay. I have a serious question. Oh my god. It's pretty deep, Does anyone else have I'm any other questions? Of the answer. What's up? Well, it's gonna just be something like... Completely weird and embarrassing. I find it unlikely that she expects you to answer, Alex. Obviously, this question is aimed at either the Essentia 2000 or myself. Michael has just been seething over there, like waiting for somebody to ask him a question about the nature of the universe, but everyone just wants to talk to the robot. Like, even after reaching, like, literal enlightenment, he still is not, like, being included in the plot-relevant cutscenes at all. He's just sidelined, levitating there like a dipshit. He's so pissed. Maybe he saw every parallel reality and realized that he was plot-relevant in none of them.
Oh, that failed. The assassination fails, and then she becomes lesbian. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a wild comic, actually. A, a Nick Wild comic. <laughs> he never stops floating. Like, when he leaves the house, he doesn't get onto his feet. He just goes down the stairs in that same position and, like, accelerates as the slope gets steeper, then has to, like, stop before he hits the wall. His chest hair looks like weed. Uh, I, I disagree. <laughs> I, d I don't know what you're seeing in that. That looks like weed. So, if each reality is drastically different from each other, what does it mean if two realities share a common concept? It means that the developer doesn't have the infinite creativity required to create a completely different reality than that which we actually know in real life. And so he has to rely on very common ideas and tropes in fantasy media while throwing in the occasional bit of random nonsense to make it seem like there's actually infinite variety being created. Does this make this concept more real? Oh, that's what she's getting at. I see. First, I should note that there are similarities between each reality, and then there are not. Some realities are strikingly close to one another. For me to answer the question, I will need you to give me a specific example. We, uh, I think a good example is the fact that you said that fucking uh, magic girl anime exists in all consecutive realities, or simultaneous realities, that is. That's probably an indication that it's a very fundamental concept to, like, the nature of reality itself. Perhaps is like, easily derivable from, from Boolean logic, I don't know. Perhaps something more complex than... If the sun is blue in two realities, does that make it actually blue over the suns that are yellow or chicken? I love chicken. Okay, fine. Canada does seems to have it. You're right. Exist in all realities? Canada exists in more realities than not. No. God does exist in some realities. In others, he does not. But there could be like a bigger God that's above all the realities still, right? Right? That would be, you know. So, are you saying in some realities, God is a present force that you can get direct feedback from? Yeah. How nicely worded. And yes, that is correct. Some kind of double God? It's turtles all the way down, yeah. Jesus Christ, pick up a football since Jeff. <laughs> made all the realities and yet doesn't exist in some does this make god less important less omnipotent you're gonna have to talk to like uh martin luther about that or thomas aquinas or, or something i'm sure someone thought about this if there is a god in one reality and not in another why would god make a reality that doesn't have him in it that seems pretty bogus to me almost like the people who get god in their reality are lucky or less lucky, depending on how you look at it. Right, it's like when you, uh... If you get the part of the birthday cake with, like, the, the frosting swirls on it in the corner, that's like when you get God in your reality. They forgot Michael already. <laughs> it's just immediately deleted. He tried to be relevant, they just spiked him back into, like, the, the non-dialogue pit. Can God make a stone so heavy he can't lift? That's it. That's what I'm talking about. The, the shit that, like, the real, um, you know, the, the Franciscan monks, whatever they are, they meditate on in their cloisters all day long. What if the god hierarchy is infinite? I mean, this is just getting into all the, the good old Escher Bach gags now. But how you wish for infinite wishes from a genie, and then that genie has to go ask its boss, and that genie has to go ask its boss, and then just do that infinitely many times until they go to the very top. And then it comes all the way back down, and then the guy says, yes, it's been approved by the infinite Tower of Genies. She's oh. lying. Here's Michael. Who is? The Ascension 2000 is lying. She doesn't know if there is a god in another reality. I've seen many realities, and some do not have the word god, or have a concept of spirituality. But there is no reality that directly has a god or does not. She can't know the answer to this question. She is lying. 
they're still yammering on in this room. Uh, it's several cutscenes later and I've left the house, but this is the rest of the game, I think. Theologians haven't had the Estradol 3000 in their bedroom. <laughs> That's, you're not wrong. Get her ass, Michael. We have just two metaphysical beings who are going to have a slap fight about the nature of, of God in Alex's bedroom while he watches from the corner and, and thinks about what they have for lunch. Now I don't know what to believe. There might be a God. There might not be. Don't let a piece of electronic junk, no offense, tell you what to do. That was really offensive, Michael. You can't just say no offense. That was, that was obviously offensive. Okay, if she's leaving, I'm gonna get out of here. Way too many dudes. Michael accounts for two because he has his shirt off. Alex, listen to me. Something is seriously wrong here. <laughs> Alex cuts in. Um, Michael's actually lying. I saw some trippy shit too, and uh, there might have been God. I don't know. There, there, there could have been. Oh no, we we saw God in a an earlier section, right after the sewers. There was just a, a, some like uh, soul survivor labeled God, and we talked to him. So yeah, God exists. We know that. Can you feel it? It's in the air. The air is different. The light is different. Everything this reality knows to be true feels wrong. You keep saying that, dude. Can you elaborate? If everything is in flux. Why are your nipples you blue? You're Alex. looking at Alex's nipples? I mean, uh, Michael's nipples? They're blue. I don't think that's normal. Maybe that's like when you get enlightened, your nipples turn blue. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. That's what Michael's saying, yeah. He drinks silver? What do you mean he's like Sans? How do you know what color Sans's nipples are? What what level of Toby Fox's newsletter do you subscribe to to get that knowledge? Look, man, I'm getting tired. Let's sleep on that. Yo, we unlocked the flaming hula hoop somehow. But yeah, sure, okay. Talking about God makes me want to get flames covered on my hula hoop. You have the stream open on one device and Omori on the other. The music clashing is making uh, me think I heard Night in the Woods music. The confluence of Yik and Omori is Night in the Woods. That's that's a concept, all right. Is it? I feel like a Night in the Woods is what you get if you subtract Omori from Yik or something. I don't know. It, it doesn't really make sense whatever way you arrange the equation, but I think that's closer. I, I like Night in the Woods a lot for the record. I, I haven't played it, but I watched a playthrough when it came out. Um, it's it's not it's not really much like Geek tonally. <laughs> oh wait, uh, there's no more friends. Shit. They only wrote like five of those. Really? I have to just go explore now and grind? Wait, how do I pass the time if I can grind for as long as I want in, in a single day and the mine dungeon is just like you use up your XP and leave again? I ran out of friends, Outsin is devastated. Ah, I know. It sucks. Try to find some way to pass the time. Do Onism side quests? Oh god, that's like scraping the bottom of the barrel. I guess so. There's still that girl, like the ghost, theoretically. We never followed up on the ghost. Imagine being told that the world is going to end in a month and like the only thing you have to do is to follow up on conspiracies from 4chan. Kale mail. 
This is where the devs ran out of ideas. Yeah, I think it, it might have been. Th this whole end section feels like it would have been a weird tone shift even if it was done really well, but like it's, it's just very half-baked. It's like... It's just kind of like rushing to the end of the game because they like, ah, oh, fuck, we just have to get this out the door. Roommate. I think my roommate is maybe possessed. Like, seriously. I come home and find him kicking my cat. My beautiful, wonderful, perfect cat. So I asked him what in the name of all that was holy is wrong with him. And he just starts screaming at me. Words I couldn't understand. I think it was Latin. As far as I know, he doesn't speak Latin. So what do you guys think? How likely is it that he's possessed by Satan? Do I, is this really the side quest? Do I have to look at this shit? I don't want to look at this shit. What? Everyone died except for him at the lab. The trauma. He's on the trauma spectrum. That's it. He's on the trauma spectrum. His soul is broken now, so it's entered by the devil. These these are just fucking l lunacy. Consciousness is omnipresent. They're so long. At least color code them and add typing quirks, man. There's just theory that when electrons are split in two, it will reach the first screen and travels through both slits simultaneously. Uh, it then interferes with many other versions of itself that exists within the same plane, uh, thereby causing a wave effect on the wide screen. In quantum physics, this is called the principle of non-locality, where something exists in two places at one time. It's not restricted to one location in time and space, but it becomes omnipresent. What if our souls were like this? Then I close the thread. Uh, ghosts in the floppy disk. Is this it? Is it ghost? Morrowind gameplay? <laughs> <laughs> we finally got a CDR last week, but when I put it in, I couldn't figure out how to fit it in without taking out the A drive. So I took that out. The only problem is, last night I wanted to play Doom, and I had installed uh, for Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm amazed they're allowed to just reference these. Maybe just no one's bothered to sue them. I didn't want to uninstall that because it took so long to install in the first place. So I was driving outside when I see an abandoned computer on the side of the road. So I take it. I open it up. Not bad specs. 24 megabytes of memory. 300 megabyte hard drive. And a video card that I couldn't quite figure out what it was. So I... God, this is fucking boring, man. Um... Uh, then I, the strangest fucking thing happens. I shit you. I shit my pants. Oh, sorry. I mean, blood, dark, shining came spouting from the bottom of the computer. I started screaming. My parents came in and they're looking at me like I'm crazy. Eventually, I, I calmed down uh, and told, uh, look at all the blood and the mods removed the blood. Can't be that gross. Oh, it's not Bloods, it's just some some other thing that he posted. Okay, this is great. Where are the fucking side quests? This is just the ramblings of, of the insane people, like... Uh, Asian elevator girl. Mysterious star creature. I've seen all of these myself. Pog collector seeking a, finally a side quest I can actually do. I'm looking to purchase an entire collection of pogs. So, if you've got 10 rare pogs, come visit me at Frankton Park. I'll be glad to buy them off you for a handsome reward. Does he mean money? That would really suck. But okay, let's, let's look for that. Puggers. I hope I have 10. I haven't been counting, but I feel like I might have 10. He didn't say, like, how to identify him, though, so I I guess I'll just talk to every NPC in the park. 
It's not the drug dealer, is it? Want something to take away the fear? World ends soon. Might as well not have a heart attack worrying about it. There's no option to actually buy anything, cowards. You never got into pogs. And it was said to be for nerds back then anyway. You have like a resident millennial in chat here. That's pretty valuable insight for this like 90s game here. That's not actually about the 90s. Apparently everything in this game stylistically is just like the early 2000s, but whatever. Hey, this person moved. I'm impressed. You've matured a lot lately. I think your friends are a good influence on you. Do you stalk me, ma'am? Like, how do you how do you know? Okay, where's the fucking pog dealer? If the world ends next year, if the world ends next year, I'm okay with it. How many mothers can say they spent so much time with their kids? I've literally spent forever here just playing on the slide. I love her so much. Oh, that's that's the kid speaking now. Yeah, whatever, you guys, just whatever. There he is, the pog collector wearing his uh, cargo pants. You saw my post on Onism. Have you been able to find all ten pogs? You haven't. I don't want to seem ungrateful. However, I'm only interested in the collection if it's complete. If you happen- Oh god, this voice hurts so much, I didn't think it would hurt that much. If you happen to find the remaining pogs, I'll be here. I don't even have 10 pogs. This this is a disaster. I can't do anything, man. Yo, dude, another 420 from JD. 420 pounds, no less. Tuber money for the tubers. I'll use it to buy literal tubers, like potatoes, and mash them and eat them in a stew. Thank you, JD. This is awesome, actually. W what's the awesome part? You recently found out through the comments of Running Shine's Yeek video that the game doesn't actually take place in the 90s. The 90s references are all hallucinated by Alex. I don't know what you mean by the comments of the Running Shine video. I And I have no idea how serious you're being either. Doesn't it take place in 2016? What, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, back to the 4chan to look for side quests. There can't be that many side quests. I can't seem to find any of them on the computer. The entirety of Yeek's plot takes place in Alex's mind and is never elaborated. <laughs> I hope that's true. It actually takes place in the fever dream of, uh, I don't know, Peter Dinklage. Arbitrarily, he just, he dreamt it. That, that's the plot. That's where it comes from. It was all a dream, the end. Yo, the tortoises are back. The tortoise lore. Holy cow! Windtown resident here! Something weird's been going down lately! A local construction company's been dumping some barrels of toxic waste, and all the local tortoises have become unruly! Normally I just let nature be nature, but these little bastards have been stealing my pizza deliveries! So if you come and take them out, I'll be happy to make it worth your while! Oh, the ninja turtles. I thought it was talking about real tortoises. That sucks. Star creature at the water tower. Ooh. It's way lamer that they're just ninja shuttles. Yeah. Reporting back. Found another. We had to wind town. Uh, head beneath the underpass. You'll come across a water tower. It's pretty insane. Something about the tone there reminds me of... Uh, I guess I'll go to the water tower, see if there's anything there. I watched the the folding ideas video yesterday about uh, the um, Decentraland, which was very eye opening. Like I, I knew that Decentraland was like a, a clusterfuck meme, obviously, but um, seeing actual footage of people like shilling for it and just having to go and pretend like the most like dog shit mundane things were impressive was just like so surreal. Um, 
it was, uh, yeah, it outsend likes the video, unsurprising. Flooding ideas is, is really good, but I only watch his videos occasionally because they're they're very heavy and and heady and, and got all socioeconomic on your ass. I feel like they often do like legitimately expand my worldview a bit for how like weird these like predatory subcultures can get around uh like especially the crypto stuff. So you had another one on Flat Earth, which was very um enlightening to me about just like the the common mindset behind just conspiratorial thinking, cults, stuff like that. It doesn't seem that different than the crypto stuff at the end of the day. Commencing save. All right, we're good. But just like people, like this laggy, shitty game like it looks like uh like second life but worse basically and they're there's these like these bros and toques and, and their face cams are like streaming it on twitch to 10 viewers and pretending to be really hyped up and it's just like so fucking surreal like it it doesn't even feel like you're watching humans anymore it, it's just a completely alien form of, of life i don't want to talk even too much about it though, just because that that shit gets depressing. Uh, I said I was going to Wind Town to look at the water tower. That's right. Yeah, it's brain melting. It really is. I didn't realize how shitty Decentraland was because I haven't looked into it for obvious reasons. Like I just don't, I just don't care. But um. Like, I knew it was shitty, but I didn't realize it was that shitty. It's, like, so fucking bad. It reminds me of watching those, like, uh... Like, the McElroy brothers playing, um, Second Life. That, that was a, an extremely funny little miniseries they did, and it was... Second Life looks more impressive, but it's... That, that same kind of, like, weird ultra-niche communities that just hang out in these, like... Rusty, dated online spaces all day. It's crazy. I think that dogs should vote. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm fighting enemies now, by the way. So that's cool. I guess we kill them. Just slaughter them all. To the last man. Eh, 20 is enough. I got virtual land across the globe. Across the globe. That sounds like a pilot red sun thing, is it? It's a vine sauce joke. Ah, okay. Yeah, the comparison between the like uh, Decentraland and then like ancient dead MMOs with like less than 500 players that's fascinating to me more, more so than anything about the fucking crypto shit just the fact that there are still um, MMOs that are active with less than like a 200 active users and that that are still maintained just because the only guys using them are just like whales and they can run them and maintain them with such a low upkeep cost that they're actually worth keeping around just for those same hundred players to like pump money into. It's fascinating. Look out for number one. It's a world beyond me. Oh. <laughs> Crypto Luigi, is that the vine sauce joke? Mario, I just bought some land in the central land, Mario! That's how he talks, right? Luigi, that's gonna crash in value within a week! Oh, Mario, I'm popping up my life savings, Mario! They said it's gonna go big! I need diamond hands, Mario! Luigi, we need to pay rent!
The Mario is good. Yeah, the Luigi. Luigi is not so hot. I'll be the first to admit that. The Mario voice is basically just the same thing as the Susie voice, if you're paying attention. It short-circuited and died. Have there been AI scams yet? I, I don't know. That sounds somewhat horrifying. There's probably a million ways to do that, but I can't think of any one example. Did the robot just call me basic? You're basic! Basically immune to damage, if that's what you mean, says Rory sassily. Ascension. God, this shit takes a while. I think people in chat are playing yes to AI scams. I don't know exactly what they mean though. Twenty-nine EXP, how exciting. Hmm. Oh, the random encounters. Oh yeah, they're so much fun. I've already gotten bored. I know I'm supposed to be grinding right now, but I, I just can't do it. I just want to go to Windtown and look at a side quest. Ooh! This is a dead end. Oh no. I've made a grave error. Get back to town quick, quick, quick. I have to leave from the other side of town, because we're like landlocked by forests. That's a very straight line, wow. JD missed a lot of uh, Yeek streams, so I just realized Alex skates like a baby by putting the board down and picking it up anytime he's got to turn. <laughs> it's it's not just anytime he has to turn, like he can't stop once he goes. He has to crash into a wall and then pick the board up. If there's not a wall, he just falls off a cliff. Okay, wind town is over here. Shid. These guys suck. So close. Nice. What comes to mind is people using generative image AI to scam people looking to commission art. Thoughts aside about AI art, there's something clearly wrong about lying to people what they're paying for. Yeah, I guess that probably happens. It, it seems... Yeah, it, it probably is plausible. It, it seems like sort of counterintuitive for... Uh, Yeah, I guess you could do it, because there's enough, like, commissions that... I think you can get into doing commissions in certain circles with, like, relatively minimal experience. It's sort of just like a... Like, there's like a bulk demand in, in some ways. So, like, it's it can't all just be, like, word of mouth and, like, you know, everyone knows knows each other and what their quality is like. There, there is probably circles where you could get away with that, yeah. Um, that's just the fountain. I'm supposed to go to the underpass, right? Hmm, it's a scam, but a different type of scam compared to the crypto scam because the underlying technology works, says Outson. Yeah, I'd, the, the thing with crypto, I mean, like... I don't think the technology is almost irrelevant. Like the technology really doesn't even do that much. It's 
everything I hear about it, it really just boils down to like, uh, it's it's a culture, it's an ideology, it's it's a a mindset on like what to do with the technology more so than it is technology itself, because the technology it's it it's not like world shattering in isolation. It, it can't actually do that much. All right, I guess we can beat up the soul survivor for no apparent reason. Um, Ascension can kill them, right? We don't even need Vela. Circles are going inward and not outward. It's a, a backwards fountain. I don't know. It couldn't afford a forwards fountain, so it goes back in time. God, Chandra sucks. She's just Chandra. useless. Okay, let's see if we can kill the entity. Not bad. It has a lot of health there. This is going to take a while without Alex's ridiculously overpowered attacks being able to hit the entity. Unless they can now, arbitrarily? I don't know. Alex's basic attack still sucks. It's just the beatdown that actually does work. Hey, Andrew, what do? <laughs> what, what should you do? What do I do? What am I doing? What does that question mean? Um, you'll have to specify. Ascension. If you're asking for advice on what to do, usually a safe bet is to take a piss. And if that doesn't work, then drink some water. It's, it's the endless cycle of life. You should be doing one of those two things at all times, basically. Ooh, the perfect hit did 100 damage before. Let's see what this was. 77. All right. Yeah, that, that's it. With crypto, says chat, uh, the, the technology of the blockchain is a tried and true concept. What doesn't work is the bizarre and terrible implementation the tech bros want. It's just not a dynamic enough system. Yeah, it's, it's a very like mundane concept, and it's just extrapolated to ridiculous extremes, and essentially turned into real estate scams, um, because people don't really understand how limited what they're talking about is. It's one of those things you have to, like, understand a bit of the uh, the background to, to comprehend how lame something is. There's some things, like, if you understand how they work, they get more exciting, but it's not what blockchains are. Describe Rory's arc in one sentence. Um, he became less sad about his sister dying. I guess that's the arc. Buying some Andrew coin right now. Can we hit the entities? Let's just find out. No. Look out uh, for number one. Oh wait, that, that was literally two dollars of money that uh, Remnant spent to buy Andrew coin. I, I can't exchange that. I, I'm not equipped to give you any Andrew coin yet. Uh, but, but I'll accept the two dollars. Thank you. He did not become gay. 
No, he, he rejected Alex's advances immediately. Rory is not gay, confirmed. Or maybe he is gay and just doesn't want to kiss Alex. Like, either one's a valid possible. I prefer calling it a cunning coin. I, I already- someone made a cryptocurrency for me. It was like JD drew a sprite and it was, uh... I originally suggested calling it cunny money, then I was informed what that meant, and so I changed it to cunmuns. Which still sounds like some sort of racial slur, but isn't as far as I know. Cunny money was redacted, don't use that term. It's not on brand. This is gonna take so fucking long, man. Only one party member can do damage. I should have just brought Vela in. It's way easier just to bring Vela in. Shit. Dude, that's so little damage compared to the 77. That's terrible. Good try, Alex. You'll get him next time. Uh, there isn't an attack buff? I don't think there's an item. There might be a skill, but like, I think Michael had an attack buff skill, but it sucked and lasted for like one turn. And also I don't have Michael. Why does the Ascender have stupid shoulder handles? Um, I, I wasn't gonna ask. Maybe it's just like, really uh, emphasizes the uh, collarbone? I don't know. People that are into collarbones, right? The damage is going down exponentially now. What happened? I did it like 120 a second ago. It's stand design, yeah, kind of. You can pick her up and throw her by the collar handles. Oh, I wish I could. That, that's a mechanic in Superstar Saga. Not yeek, though. In yeek, you just yeek out. Clavicles are mechanically neat, but otherwise I don't get it. <laughs> what do you mean mechanically neat clavicles? That's not a phrase that's been uttered by a human before. Look out for number one. This is such a stalemate. This thing can't even hurt us. It's useless, and we can't we can barely scratch it. Oh my god, I need better combos. It sucks, the damage sucks. I guess I could use um, time dilation to cheese the minigame. I got a perfect- I was reading chat and I got a perfect attack that did no damage. Okay. I'm just pretending to do the mini games. The spending isn't actually any faster. Look out for number one. Okay, I'll try to cheese it this time. With maximum slowdown. Oh. I wonder how high it can go.
it gets non-trivial pretty quickly, actually. 16 hits. That's not even that much damage. Dork wonders if the update will fix battle pacing. I'm, I think they're completely overhauling the battles, uh, for all I know. But also, I know nothing about the updates, so don't ask me. That would be an obvious place to start, is what I'll say. If you want to make this game better, fix the battle system. It's the easiest change to make that will have the most benefit. Um, fixing the story will, will be much, much harder. But they, they seem to want to anyway. What do we even get from doing this? I, I don't know. I'm like, it's at the Sans fight where you just like, you deliberately miss in the battle mini game just to make the attack get off faster because it, it's not going to do damage anyway. Chandra. Even with maximum cheese, I don't even deal that much damage to this fucker. Again, I can't get past 16. It's a hard cap. Are there screens showing the update? I I don't know. It's not out yet. The strat is supposed to be buff Essentia somehow? I don't know. We don't really have any options for buffing as far as I know. At least none of these characters do. Maybe Chandra has something that she gained and I haven't noticed yet? It's all just different stances. Like, that's not gonna help at all. Oh, there are live streams showing off the update. Oh, apparently so, okay. There are no longer minigames. None at all? That's a quite a bold choice, actually. That sounds good, though. Because they're not really doing anything to help the game as is. I am curious to see what uh, 1.5 is like, but... Fuck me if I'm playing this again. I'm absolutely not. There you go, I broke the, the limiter. Limit break confirmed. The biggest attack of all time. Finally, thank god. Hasta la vista, baby. 26 XP? What? That was completely pointless. Oh, okay, we get a 100 bonus XP for doing the side quest I get, I guess. Okay. That sucked ass. There's a month to go. God, this'll take forever. Oh no, I thought there was just a bunch of cutscenes. <laughs> You'll only play this yourself if there's a mod that changes the text after. Get ready to fuck if you miss the attack. That'd be real dang satisfying. It would, yeah, that, that would help. All right, do we unlock more friend cutscenes? Hoping against hope? No. You get nothing. I guess in desperation I'll go to the mine dungeon, because why not? Maybe we'll get a new uh, crow cutscene. That could be exciting at least, you know? That could be cool. I'm impressed that the stream viewership is still at 57. It seems like it's constant. So I'm worried that might be frozen because the uh, the rate of chat interactions kind of slowed down. Maybe that's just normal though because nothing's fucking happening in the game. Yeah, level up, sure. Yeah, there is an Alex Yeek plush uh, that you can buy apparently. I saw an ad for that. And I think you can pay a dollar when you buy it and to make the devs kiss it before they mail it to you. It's a, it's a very cool feature, novel. They don't sign it, they kiss it on the lips. 
Hey, so... It's Dad. Yeah. Look, I gotta go away for a while. I don't know when I'm coming back. That's the lyrics of the the home song now. Is this going to finally reveal Alex's dad backstory where he went to get milk and didn't come back for 10 years? That kind of thing. Geek dad. Things, yeah, things will be fine. Your mom is a good mom. She's, yeah, look. You know I'm your dad and I'll always be your dad. So, yeah. Don't forget that. This is kind of like the Eric Andre episode where they got Tyler the creator in and then they just go like, Hey Tyler, your dad's here. And he's just like hanging from the rafters. There's some random guy. It's kind of what this is like. Look, things might be tough, but yeah. Um, crap, I'm terrible at this. Sometimes adults realize that they made mistakes. And sometimes... Their mistakes cost a lot of money and require a lot of food and educations. Savage. And some adults, like your mother, are better at providing for those mistakes than fathers. Look, you're lucky that your mom is smart. Smarter than I am. Anyway, sometimes the realization of those mistakes leads you to following other mistakes halfway across the country in hope of finding some dream. A youthful dream with nice legs. Only those legs aren't as smart as your mom's, but man. He didn't know investing in cryptocurrency was a bad idea. Are you kidding? Investing in crypto in the 90s? You'd be a billionaire. Anyway, yeah. So, hopefully this doesn't screw you up too badly. Just... Yeah, you can have all my stuff. I left most of it here. It's like your birthright or whatever. Is Alex's dad also Rory's dad? I... He could be. At this point. Like, what the fuck is this? So, my clothes are a bit big. But you'll grow into them. And then you can dress just like your old man. Try not to make the same mistakes I made. Okay. And then we never talked about it again. You know what, Crow? You can choose. I, I don't care anymore. I gotta talk to the Crow again to progress. That's where the Yeek fit? Yeah, the, the Yeek fit didn't need an origin story, <laughs> as far as I was concerned. That could have just been what Alex decided to wear. It's a shitty magic hint, yeah. That doesn't seem even remotely believable that Alex would wear his dad's shirt as it, like, that's just fucking weird. That seems like a joke. Okay, I have eight levels worth of XP though, holy shit. The absent father plotline could have been interesting if it was discussed in more detail than Gaster was. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. It really is. This is the first time you've ever heard of it. The first time, yeah. Since when do the other party members level up as you go down? Is that a thing the whole time? I don't know. I want that plus three in strength, for sure. The rest is garbage, who cares? You wish to level up, but it will cost you XP. Roselander. Imagine if something could travel through all of mementos and talk to each shadow individually at the same time. That's what the crow is, I think. It's hard to follow. You're explaining the crow to Doric in like persona lingo. <laughs> That's how it works. I, I know what a mementos is. I, I, I understand the reference, I think. Uh, 
All right. You gave me half a PP. What are you thinking, Marlene Macro? You would have expected they ripped the dad speech from Fight Club. I have no idea. It has quoted other works of literature, I believe. This game. It, it doesn't sound like it was from Fight Club, but I haven't watched the movie actually, so who knows. Yo, I got a PP icon, dude. Wait, why is it a black screen now? Yeah, I want to level up. I love PP icons. We're making good progress with the auto crow method here. Still four more to go. Did you find out the question, Alex? Ooh, 35. No. You're such a disappointment. Boy, can you do any damn thing right? Oh my god. Get out! Get out of my face! He means it literally. You're standing inside of his face. I hate you! I hate you so much! I had to pay the VA, like, extra for just these particular lines. Just go away! Get out! Who are you to fix me with your perpetual idiocracy? Just leave, Alex. Disengage Don't from the situation. Don't you dare run unless you find the question! Silly, pathetic, worthless piece of filth. Oh, your face is screwed up. Your face is screwed up. Well, back to the old grind. Yeah, beat the wall up, like an earthbound. No matter how many times Joseph Anderson tells me that my face is screwed up, I'm not leaving until all my levels are spent. You grind to level up, and then you grind to level up. Yeah, that's correct. Let's just forget the wall screaming at us. This has been a very bad trip to the Mind Palace so far. It's just like our dad abandons us, then a wall yells at us. All for no apparent reason. Hey, we're back with the Have library. You found the dungeon master? Is that the wall? He's tricky to find. Tell me, have you been enjoying your time in the dungeon of the mind? No. It can be overwhelming. Never knowing if you're making the right choice. Afraid to act because the paralyzing fear that you've chosen wrong. No, I haven't been feeling that. I just I just want the, the stats to be picked for me now because it's boring. I chose wrong once. I want to go away. Far away. Just to get out of here. To be on my own. Well, not here. That's how I wound up here. Inside the dungeon of the mind. I... I had a mom, but no dad. Mom got weird when dad left. Things were fine for a while. But before I knew it, life had changed so much there was little to be happy for. So, I cried myself to sleep every night. I screamed every night. I tried running away. Never got very far. And you know what? I got away once. Far away. But I came back. I felt terrible that my mom was left all alone. So I went back. When I got home, 
Things were better for a while. Then they got worse. Screaming, throwing things. Accidentally on purpose, blowing out the pilot light on the stove. So, I willed myself to escape. And I got far away. Did I make the right choice? No. I'm asking you! Did I make the right choice? Is this better? Feel bad for the VA. Did I screw up? I can't ever leave you now! All I can do is stay here and catalog the Dungeon Master's thoughts! Do you realize how many thoughts he has? Fuck Mel, the VA putting his whole Chrissy into this. What does that mean? There's a lot of yelling now, yeah. This is kind of like... Like, just, just reading all caps is literally screaming. I thought that was like a, a meme. Somehow, I don't think this was the right uh, direction to apply to the, uh, the performance here. It's just literally scream. I need to get out. Can you help me get out? Didn't think so. Of course you can't. You're trapped here too. Just like me. Hi, Andrew. How are you doing? Says chat. I'm yeeking. Yeeking pretty hard right now. <laughs> okay. Is there one more level, maybe? The script just said screaming like a crow. Yeah. Oh, I only have 92 left. I can't level up. There's so much weird mind dungeon lore. It's it's not really tempting me to come back and find out the rest of the mystery, I have to admit. Hmm. If you're asking how I'm doing in general though, beyond the Yiking, it's um it's been more of the same. I'm working steadily more obsessively on finishing the, the video. Because it's getting closer now, but it's like it, it's getting to the part where I, I'm just trying to rush to the end here. No, not literally rush, but It would be nice to get it done with already. Um, let's save and exit, I guess, yeah. New video. Well, yes, I've been working on that for months now, but... It's it's pretty close. It's like, you know, 80%, 75% done. Um, mostly I actually have to write now... I have the intro written. I wrote the intro first, but I haven't actually edited or recorded it yet. So I have to do that, and then I have to write a whole outro, which is usually the last step, is like, I do all the, the meat of the video, then I decide like what the conclusion is afterward, and then I have to write that and, and make that the conclusion, so... It's a bit hard to gauge how long that'll take. But most of the middle part is just done now, like the actual content, going through the examples. Yeah, they're, they're not so much hard to write. Intros and outros are hard, chat said. It's it's just like they require a lot of uh, like set-piece editing, I guess, to be uh, worthwhile in my eyes. You don't want the video to end or start on a, an anti-climax. Hmm. Don't screw yourself with crunch. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's probably good advice. It's hard to know how to not crunch when you're your own boss, though. It's like, it, it's not a, a, a paid break or an unpaid break. It's just like, work gets done or it doesn't. It's, uh, uh odd psychology. Today, I'll, I guess, explore town, because there's nothing to do in the mine dungeon. How long till Y2K? Uh, like, like a month still, I don't know. This is this this will take forever at this rate. It really will just take forever. <laughs> I'm a bit distraught. Because the stream has been almost six hours of stream already. 
I'm not making it to the end today. There's going to be another stream. I think that's inevitable. Dates help. I, uh, I'm very bad at setting dates too is the thing. I'm sure there would be better ways of like, you know, breaking down to like smaller goals and trying to complete those and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I've just never quite pulled it off, I guess. This is the ghost, surely. Uh, we checked up the cave and there was a ghost. Wow. Wait, elevator girl is in there. She's the ghost. Oh, this is bullshit. I see. There's an alternate theory. I don't care. Just where's the guy I gotta give the, the mixtape to? That's all I care about is there was a guy I was supposed to give the mixtape to so the ghost can haunt him for all eternity. Mel either hyper focuses on work or not at all. Well, yeah, I, I can relate to that. Yeah, it's very much a case of, uh, there's, I'm kind of just going on about this because there's not much else to like do or comment on in the game right now, but it's like working on stuff. It's like all I really want to do or can think about is the task of like, you know, the project. I, I get obsessive like that, but then I also get like exhausted in the moment for, of doing the task and I'm sort of left with just like, I, I don't want to do anything but the task, but I'm also sick of doing the task. <laughs> And that's like the, the struggle, it's, it's kind of fucked up. I don't want to complain too much though, it's just sort of... You know... Gotta struggle with productivity sometimes. The presence of a, a childhood stuffed animal, surely something's cool about this. Onizen's been really dark lately with the disappearance of Sammy Park. Okay. Oh, uh, your friendly neighborhood mod has decided to uh, start a happy topic. That's such a forum mod thing to post. Speaking as, you know, I've moderated forums in the past. Don't ask which ones. They had to deal with Undertale. Mine was a was oh toby dude toby's in the game toby the ox he was an ox named toby wow that's so cute michael had to hide the ox from his mom so that he didn't give him away toby fox is for sona the ox toby ox oh my god that's his is that an intentional joke? It, it might be, for all I know. Toby Ox. It could be an intentional joke. The devs knew Toby Fox. Oh, that's where Rory's nickname comes from. He had a stuffed bear, and that's where his... All he needed to be happy as a kid was the bear. That's so cute. And some randos, I was too busy playing with myself to worry about the stuffed animals. I, let's not read into that wording. Someone else had a red panda named Panda. But that's... What, this is just like a, a fucking nothing thread about people's stuffed animals. Okay, that's there's no side quests there. Andrew, which is better? The sus board or the dough board on 4chan? How would I know? <laughs> I don't browse these. That's like, how often do you beat your dog kind of question. Like once or twice weekly. The Yeek Mail reminds you, uh, that ODE boss Toby mentioned really screams icy foreshadowing. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about actually, was that in, like a newsletter? 
I, I somehow failed to subscribe to the newsletters properly, and I, I don't actually get them in my email. I don't know what I did wrong, but I have to rely on, like, a trickle of secondhand news about them. Andrew. Andrew what? Undertale reference? They go to your promotions folder? Oh, that might be it. I, I thought I checked, though. Oh, it's a, an interview with the Live Alive composer. Right, right, yeah. She did a shit ton of stuff, right? Like a Street Fighter as well. She, she did like a million games. But I, I don't remember the thing about o ODE or whatever. Uh, missing people. Is this Claudio posting here? It is Claudio. It's pretty clear from the footage's reaction that people are upset. The more people aren't covering Sammy's disappearance. Has anyone else ever had a friend or family member that vanished and wasn't reported? It's, it's a, <laughs> obviously a leading question here, but yeah. Um, this is all too common. When I was younger, my brother went missing. He got a blurb in the newspaper and nothing more. My dad still hands out flyers, and it's been over ten years. Kid's gone, and we'll probably never see, know where, the, where he went, you know? Sometimes I think he's still out there. Like, I can feel him, but still nothing. I swear Claudio told us all of this exact dialogue word for word in a conversation already. I don't feel like reading these reactions. Well, that's just depressing. Okay, we got some 4chan lore. Um... Oh, ODE was in Arn's quest. He slammed the reference down again, and neither of them knew Garfield, so it fell flat. Okay. <laughs> I guess ODE is uh, the, the progenitor of IC is the point here. But, okay, someone else says, I remember when the, uh, the MLP board was made after the Great Pony Flood into unrelated threads. The fact that there isn't an Among Us board should give you an idea of how less prevalent it is than ponies were. I mean, yeah, there's... MLP was huge on 4chan, I have to imagine, based on the, uh... Let's just say the, the samples of people I've seen on the internet who were into My Little Pony. That seems like a, a, the relevant demographic for some reason. Oh, Odie is the final boss in some ancient Toby Fox RPG Maker game. Understood. Okay. Were you a brony, Andrew? I was not a brony, no. I was never very close to that subculture at all. I am the elevator girl. Oh, cool. Homestuck is still banned on all boards, but not enforced on the lewds. What do you mean? What do you mean it's not... So it's banned except for porn? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that sounds like a, an interesting state of affairs. Why, how did they ban Homestuck from 4chan, by the way? What's the story behind that? Because I know that Homestuck in general got nuked, but like... How fucking bad does a board need to be before it gets removed from 4chan? Like, what happened? That's what the, um, in my Discord server, by the way, it, the Homestuck General channel, that's named after the, that 4chan board that I never was on, but I just heard of it, and it's just like a funny, you know, it, it's like a funny urban legend in my mind now. My mother's name is Kyung Su, and she is mentally handicapped. She suffers from bipolar 1 disorder and shows signs of being schizophrenic and has been very difficult to live with. When I was born, my father worked his hardest to give me a normal life, even without a normal mom. When I was six, he left us. Wait, is this sounds like Sammy's actual backstory, but who is posting this? I had a younger brother, but he died in his crib. After that, mom went even further off the deep end. Finally, my uncle insisted we put her in a home. 
Wait, how the fuck is Sammy posting about this? Semi human. What the fuck is this? It's someone pretending to be her, but how do they, like, we know that's actually her backstory, though. Like, we saw, we've seen that in, like, Vela's mind dungeon, that that's, that's true. Sometimes general boards get so bad they make a containment board for it, like for MLP. Not sure what happened with Homestuck, though. Um... It's a bannable offense on any board, including the porn ones. They usually don't enforce it. You still could be. It's mostly that fandom was so spammy, but a better reason would be age. Well, yeah, obviously that. Um, I'm assuming there's <laughs> that's not not usually a concern on 4chan, but... Uh, so it is, really, it's a bannable offense to post any Homestuck <laughs> ever on 4chan? <laughs> that's really fucking funny. That, that's kind of a sad distinction. The, the Homestuck fans were too young compared to the My Little Pony fans who were much older. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> There's several layers of this that are just, like, unpleasant to think about. Uh, anyway. I mean, we're literally in-game reading 4chan now. It's not a surprise that the conversation has gone this direction. I've been experiencing strange phenomena. I'm pretty sure it's phenomena, plural, but whatever. Phantom vibrations in my pocket. Now I've got a cellular phone that I use for business, and it stays on the vibrate mode. But even when I'm not carrying it, which is whenever I'm not at work, I still feel it vibrating in my pocket. I reach my pocket, tap the spot where it would be, and there's nothing there. The vibrations feel so real. Has anyone else experienced this? It's fascinating. That, that's some lore in chat that's so deep I, I don't even feel like reading it out loud, wow. Ban Homestuck in ACDS, the server will die. Uh, there would be a massive population loss, that's for sure. It would be really funny to watch though, I have to admit. Just recreationally destroying the server. I don't own a cellular phone, but I can imagine the sensation. My father, back when he had a job, used to carry a beeper. We'd hear the beep and know it was time for him to leave, so my dad got injured on the job and has been on welfare for five years. His jog took back the beeper, but sometimes we'll still hear it beep in his pocket. He'll turn out his pants, pockets, coat pockets, sweater pockets, and they'll be empty. It's pretty spooky. My dad is also an adopter of the cellular phone. He works for a phone company, and so he's carrying... Uh, I've warned him about the potential radiation side effects, etc, etc. Could it be possible that there are paranormal side effects as well? My work offers a cellular device to anyone on the management track, which will be beginning next month. I've always been perceptible to the paranormal. I'm expecting to experience this phenomenon quickly. Is there a you in another multiverse receiving the phone call? Good god. The word Homestuck appears 7.6 thousand times in ACDS, everything would break. You're searching the wrong word. It's it's mostly uh, Stage Light here in chat posting about a fan fiction called God Feels. Um, I, I bet that comes up more than the actual word Homestuck at this point. It's highly entertaining to jump into the middle of the playthrough with no context. This isn't even the middle, this is the end. This is like the run rate to the end of the game as far as I know. It's just deeply ambiguous how to actually move down the runway. I'm literally browsing a paranormal forum right now. Weird stuff. Oh, there's not even 1,000 god fields, huh. Well, oh well, I, I guess I'm wrong. I'm so sick of 4chan. Me too, there's, there's nothing else to do as far as I know. I'm looking on 4chan to see if there's anything else to do in the game because I have like a month of time to kill. 
just go to bed like I'm playing the the Amori Hikikomori route here. Finish as he pants. Oh, that's a good idea. Although part of me wants to save that. If enough Azzy Pants is built up, which it looks like they are, like everyone and their mom on the Discord server now is writing Azzy Pants fix, I can just do a whole stream reading, <coughs> oh, excuse me, a whole stream reading those. And in that case, I don't want to blow this one uh, in the stupid Yeek stream, right? So I'll probably save that. I, I have explicitly promised on Discord that I will do an Azzy Pants stream as long as there's enough content. Um, or rather, as soon as there is enough content. Alright, I guess I can go out and grind somewhere. And then eventually end the stream. It's gonna be weird ending the stream because like there's nothing that's gonna happen. That's like a natural stopping point. It's just that eventually I become too exhausted to continue. And uh, I don't know, maybe go play Cheers the Kingdom. I don't usually do any more uh, editing work after streams, so that's my my excuse to just play video games. I could skip through the days. <laughs> that does seem so depressing though, just like waking up and going back to bed. Even even to Alex Yeek, I'd feel bad for living like that. Um I can leave town here, then go grind. That's the plan. The thing that makes this work in Persona, right, is that you have to like go out and then every interaction uses like a certain amount of time, and you have to like memorize people's schedules and stuff. And like uh, you know, go go to the the super beef bowl challenge every day when it's uh, it's available from the Chinese restaurant. There's lots of nuanced mechanics like that. You're meant to just skip the days. Why did they give you a month? I, I thought it would be like a week, right? Just rotting in bed for a month is so sad. Mel said that's what I do every day. That's, that's too bad to hear, yeah. You're still cooler than Alex, though, Mel. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm calling out a- I'm not calling out my fan base. I mean, like, if- I don't know. Maybe some people do end up rotting in bed. I mean, like, the depression hits people and all that. But, like, no one who's doing that wants to be doing that. That's what I mean. Do I want to fight these fuckers? I, I went out to, to grind and now I'm like... I, I get one random encounter then I'm like, fuck, I don't want to fight these guys. There's immense cognitive dissonance. Hi Andrew, can I have words of support? Yeah, you want to like, in particular? I, I don't know what's going on in your life, Gasoline. How are you doing in general, Gasoline? Freestyle it. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, you seem like like a, a cool person whose life has value and has great enthusiasm for life. And um, sorry, it's, it's what the fuck was that? Sorry. It, it's hard to concentrate on the words of support when I'm doing Yeek minigames. Why the fuck are these guys so strong here? No, you, you actually seem cruel, Gasoline. Not, not even as a joke. You seem like a very unique person, and I'm impressed about how many weird antics you get up to on a daily basis. Or at least that you post about on discards. There you go. That's a one per stream offer, by the way. No one else gets to ask for words of encouragement after that. Ascension. Why was that guy so strong? Like, really? <laughs> I 
Gasoline agrees that he is rather cool. That, that That's nice. Can I ask for words of discouragement? Sure. Uh, uh, we, 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 we've got your data. We, we know what you did last summer. You were really cringe. Uh, Dunzo, you know, the word Dunzo, that's you, buddy. You stink and you, you don't bathe well enough. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the, uh... The fucking, uh... I don't even know his name. That one bit where they roast a guy named Andrew. No parasocial moments for me. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, you gotta ask first. Can you give words of neutral opinion? You exist. You are a human. You've you've spoken to me before, uh, and you're watching my stream right now. And I know this to be true for a fact. So never doubt those those things about yourself. How did you know I played Sonic 06 in the summer? Hey, apparently Mooks is into it or something. Who is saying they liked Sonic 06? Was that Mooks? I know Mooks likes the Sonic, uh, or the Shadow the Hedgehog game. We have the, uh, the, the mythical boomers, or the, the zoomers in chat that Cybershell was complaining about. Who just live to defend Sonic 06 and eat hot chips. Shadow 05. Bing. All right, I did a battle. Who's the green douche? I ain't ever seen them before. That is the Essentia 2000, also known as the E2000, also known as the Estrogen 2000. Uh, she is a pan-dimensional android that is also Vela and Sammy Park at the same time, uh, and is programmed to unconditionally love Alex for reasons that are not clear to anyone, including God. Who doesn't exist, probably, in this universe, I don't know. We got the disco song, at least, that's cool. The slowdown really just does jack shit in this mini game. It's it's useless. Check out my sick beats. <coughs> the muffled grunts of pain are disturbing. If you don't think Shadow is cool, you are a lame hater. You mean the character or the game from 2005? There's so many of them, and they have so much health, dude. Oops. Get wrecked. Eight damage. You ain't coming back from that one. Uh, Self-destruct is a good option here for you, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just, just literally kill yourself. What what is this fucking crazy attack? It does it, it's instantaneous. You can't block it. Why is it so fast? Okay, EP strike is the way to go here. Oh, wait, that guy has a little health though. Someone else can finish him off. Alex has to- wait, not- not EP strike. I'm using the wrong move. That's what's- That's what's wrong. They finally made a good Sonic game and all they had to do was kill Sonic for April Fools. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm guessing Sonic is literally fucking dead or whatever the game was called is a bit better than uh, Sonic Forces. People have mixed opinions about Frontiers, at least. Some people think Frontiers is good, as far as I'm aware. It looks 
very visually unappealing from what I've seen, but not that my opinion is relevant to this discussion. Andrew, I would never ask anything of you apart from those times where I have. Oh, that's good to know, JD. Uh, I'll take that to heart, and I really hope that you don't ask me anything ever again. Mel's got to play Sonic front... Oh, the visual novels, not Frontiers. Okay. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, I thought the visual novel may be more up your alley. Look out for number one! Huh. <laughs> the fuck gasoline? <laughs> Who the hula hoop girl? I don't like her. Not because I'm racist. I don't vibe. Say <laughs> the instantaneous. I'm not racist. I just don't like her. How does this guy still arrive with one health? What's his problem? That's Chandra. Her personality is that she went to Japan once and has a missing brother. <laughs> Synthosaur says, I don't vibe with the Kulu Hoop girl either, but it is because of Mesa. All right, we have diverse opinions in chat here. We're a, a, a platform for open discussion and free speech, one. just like Twitter.com. Oh, perfect attack, Alex. Came in swinging. Yeah, 26 damage is dog shit, but, you know. They're adding Amy to Frontiers to save the ending? I, I don't know- I, I didn't even know that Amy wasn't part of the, the Frontiers already. That's how little I know about Frontiers. Gasoline requests that Centosaur find better reasons than racism to dislike John. <laughs> but I look like the deranged banter chat. We, we've been left to stew and just doing nothing for so long in this game. That has become deranged. Amy is in Frontiers. Oh, well, why was chat saying they patched her in then? Or they're going to patch her in. Can I talk to Rory's mom again to see if my dad married her at some point? They're making the characters playable. Oh. So Amy exists, but not as a playable character. They're patching Amy to Sonic Origins? I don't even know what Sonic Origins is. I've never even heard of that one. Masahiro Sakurai likes Frontiers and he's like game dev god, so that's all that matters. True, I've heard that. I didn't know that he liked Sonic Frontiers. It really just looks like a fucking Unity tech demo. Like, you just look at the this terrain in that game and it's like... Just random shit slapped together. It... it I don't know. It, the visuals don't appeal, as I've said. It's a very melancholy game. That's a very interesting concept. This is so fucking imposing. This music and those aliens just like looking at me in unison, they're all gonna start like, like doing the Gangnam style dance, synchronized. I'm gonna be powerless to resist. Oh, it's clown music, actually. Cool. Aliens! He has some good penis music. Penis music alien squad. Yo, penis music, says JD. No aliens! No duendes! No marcianito! Frontiers has five glitches they said are just a feature now. Well, that's neat. Sonic has no shortage of uh, features in that case, in general. 
Sonic games are just really good at being glitchy. They lend themselves to glitches. They're like high speed, kind of hastily glued together physics simulations that they just barely work at all times. Charger. The, the 3D ones specifically, it's, it's easier to do 2D. As far as I know, Sonic, like the original Sonic games, had some really clever physics code. Yeah, just attack it, I guess. You hate me and want you to starve, says JD. But what did you actually want to ask me, JD? What were you going to ask me? I remember Sonic Frontiers, I was really surprised that it was not dog shit, because everything leading up to the launch of that game it looked like it was maybe the worst thing the series had yet produced to date, and when it was actually decent, I was I was very surprised. Mystic Slime speedrun Sonic Frontiers? What, really? I didn't know that. What is it doing? Don't you know it's an objectively bad move to heal less HP than the other enemies can deal to you in one turn if you don't have any allies to fall back on? Like, what are you doing? That was perfect. Apparently. Seven damage. Perfect attack. Worth it. It's one of two perfect attacks I've gotten with Chandra in the entire game. Ascension. Remnant is going to buy Epic Battle Fantasy. Sick. Which one, though? I wouldn't recommend starting with one. Three is where it, where it gets real, you know? Unless you're really invested in the backstory of uh, why one of the party members appears to be like a Nazi cosplayer. Just don't worry about that. It was from Newgrounds, okay? I gotta think to myself, have I done enough grinding for today? Can I go back? I I'm now working like a 9 to 5 job just grinding. I could do this for as long as I wanted. But theoretically, like, I should be pacing my- I don't know, this doesn't make any sense. This this approach to the designing the game makes absolutely no sense. Uh, apparently there's an, an alien here at the reservoir, but I don't know where to look for it. I don't see an alien anywhere. What the fuck is this camera angle? This is the smallest lakeshore of all time here. Like, there's no boundaries, it's just an open field, but it feels claustrophobic. Don't worry, it's from Newgrounds, works with far too many things in modern society. It's, it really is, like... You could look for a list of trigger warnings, or you could look, it's from 2006. It, it kind of says all you need to know. It's the same with Tales Gets Trolled, basically. Have I played Bullet Heaven 2? Uh, at least one? I'm not sure if I've played two. I've played one of those. It, they're just Toho, th those ones though, right? Oh wait, have you played Bullet Heaven? Are you saying you played that before and didn't realize it was from the same series? Bullet Heaven is basically just like the the EBF developer wanted to make Toho and put his own characters in. Yeah, Tales Gets Trolled being not for you is a very uh, valid uh, opinion on Tales Gets Trolled. It's It requires a, a lot of you. It, it requests a lot of patience and uh, overlooking of flaws. The the appeal of Tales Gets Trolled is that in order, the, the process of overlooking its flaws and, and trying to pretend that it has a real story will drive you insane and thus put you in the perfect headspace to enjoy Tales Gets Trolled. Toho, but it's possibly not only girls, therefore lame. 
there are guy characters, yeah, that's true. We're fighting Frankenstein, by the way. I don't even know where we are. How did we get here? I don't remember walking into a sewer. I just dissociated. I don't know where I am anymore. Help. It's just the Ninja Turtles again. I don't know what I'm doing anymore in this game. It's like an endless purgatory I've wandered into here. They don't have much health. Uh, Alex needs some PP. Pee -pee. Like, holy shit, man. Oh wait, but getting the perfect attack recovers your PP. That's clutch. The Rory guy looks cool as shit. Real Nirvana fan. Nirvana cuckhead type. You like him or her? Cool. Uh, his hair looks like a, a bike helmet and or a, a raincoat hood, but... And he looks like a, a kind of a who, like he doesn't have a nose. Yeah, personally, I think he's absolutely hideous. Like, Rory's design is an abomination, to be honest, Gasoline, but um, I, gu I guess you're entitled to your opinion. Look out for number one! Brain desperate for stimulation. <laughs> you like the raincoat here, okay. Well, they all fell to their deaths. Too bad. Uh, How much fucking health is Rory's a real tank? Uh, he just grunts. That's his job. Can I put on Family Guy funny moments in the corner? I could try. I don't, I don't actually want Family Guy funny moments. The 12th server rules that you must download and play EBF3. I would never force my interests on another person. I would never do that. I, I don't even expect that most people will like EBF3. <laughs> like, I have no reason to believe that it's actually that impressive beyond the fact that it's like the first game I ever played as a child. It's just a funny thing that I, I like making references to. Although, according to Jaru, it's the best RPG ever made, so take his word for it. I should stream it. Yeah, I should. Dude, that's- it's unreactable! How do I react to that? Dude! They're too strong. Is this like a boss UFO? Like, what the fuck is with it? It has a crown. Am I gonna party wipe here? I mean, the Essentia is gonna be able to tank this for a while. I just have to one-shot it. That's my... There's two of them, holy shit. Twenty-one, that's big damage. Yeah, I streamed it for like a minute at the start of an Earthbound stream. I don't know if that counts. Thirty-nine hits, you're fucked. You're fucked, boy. Fourteen hundred damage. That'll do. Oh wait, Chandra can just heal everyone immediately. I forgot about that aspect of Chandra. Just duplicate the grilled chicken sandwich with her Jesus powers. And we can all eat the sandwich. Oh, I used- I didn't use item split, I just used the sandwich like an idiot. Okay, well that's not gonna work, fuck. Can I mash on these? No. You have to use your timing. Oh. Okay, they're kind of weak, actually. Except for the attacks. Like, this shit is ridiculous. You have to sort of anticipate it. No, you're fucked. You weren't coming back from this one. <laughs>
Oh yeah, this is the Penny Fox song. Okay, we just have to get back to Yeekton before dying of alien attacks in the wild here. Oh no. Oh, we got the Scars theme though. This is called like Yeek Ska in the soundtrack. All, all the battle themes in the soundtrack that aren't from guest composers are just named after their genre, which I I kind of find horribly lame, but also it's kind of cool. I don't know. It's bass and cringe. Oh, the pee pee. This is looking bad. Hmm. All right, Alex, you, you take your sweet key, and Chandra can actually heal the party. Where's the tea? I need that shit. The tea, the tea, the tea. Being completely real, Yeek fulfills the niche of games that just suck ass that I really want more of. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You could you could employ yourself writing like anti reviews of other people's shit, just like write takedown reviews for hire. That, that's incredibly savage. You think Toby Fox led a song with loop five times per battle when he made it for this game? And I think that's why he deleted this tweet promoting it. Is it the music looped too much? Uh, use your skills, Chandra. Spread the item. The personal pizza is now a communal pizza. Da 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 da. That's some big pizza gains. I should make Ram just shit enough that you'll enjoy it. I think we can probably manage that. It's a bit shit at the moment. We're, we're trying to experiment with level design and stuff. Really ironing out all the, the kinks of the new systems. Look well, I should say that one. we are. I mean, people other than me are because I'm in the, uh, the editing no dungeon man, still. Please. It's so fast now. They turned up the game speed while it wasn't looking. Like, the, the dev just cranked the knob up and it's playing at double speed now. There's so many of them, fuck. Uh, use Missile Launcher. Which is obviously it. Again, it's just a minigun, but... Oh, the... That turtle is weak to gunfire, but the other ones are resistant to it. That makes sense. If the stream ends before I'm back from smoking drug, have good night, everyone. <laughs> All right. How long does it take to smoke a drug? Just just a couple a couple puffs, right? Shouldn't take that long. Give Ram five minute monologues, as like an epic epic dunk on Eek. Make like a concrete character, and everyone hates it, and unironically thinks the game is shit because of it. But I sure did dunk on Eek. It takes 12 time to smoke one drug. That's about in line with my estimates, actually. I don't actually smoke drug myself, so... I only have second-hand experience. A visceral grunt of agony for Master Splinter as he is cloven in half by a, an LP. Perfect hit. Chandra deals jack shit damage as usual. Look out for number one. A perfect hit. Ascension is so much fucking damage compared to the other random party members. I don't trust sober game developers. I don't know what to tell you, man. 
there's there's probably plenty of unsober game devs that you can follow if you're not into me. That was a good line, Alex. Yeah, Zun. Drink drink one beer. <laughs> I, I could I could do the Zun method, right? He just drinks like a beer and then programs the game. I think I could handle that. Not like micro dosing on LSD and Adderall to increase my productivity. Oh my god, fucking car crash. Would he have crushed me to death before I saved? That would have sucked. I would have had to do the grinding again. Save before the game crashes again? That's a good idea. What about you, Mr. Zine? Zun drinks one beer for every lesbian. You mean in the game or just in general? He's gonna have a lot of beer to drink at that rate. Shut up, Dad. Oh my god, he does not... Like, every time you walk in, he's opening up his West Coast emo song about leaving his son to, like, I don't know, do drugs and hookers and stuff. I think I took care of everything I needed to for that day, which mostly meant crawling around in the woods and fighting aliens for some reason. Every lesbian. All of them. It's a lot of beer, man. It's a lot of beer. The game is good because it has frog picture. I'm going to leave that one save uh, from a while back for some reason. I forget what it's for. I'm definitely not going to replay this game and get more endings, but you know, just for, for the principle of it. Beddy time. It fucks me up that you never actually go to bed. You have batteries, Alex. You've literally bought batteries, but you still can't play the Game Boy. Please skip the rest of the days. I probably will, but like not this time. It's I think it's time for the stream to end. Six, almost seven hours of stream. It's too much, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here and look at some fan art, because I'm only gonna get more delirious as this goes on. And then next time you can finish it off, and I don't know if it ends early, I'll, I'll stream ho ho or something like that. I'll just do something. What the. You, you like the Cunningham jokes where it's like, haha, yeah, set up, where it's a reference, and uh, something unrelated. <laughs> I don't even fully know what you mean. Do I do that? I hope so. Do more. Mel really wants the Isaac runs. I should do another Isaac run at some point, you're right. <laughs> Okay, let's see what, what ort we got. I'm expecting a lot of snapping turtles. What the fuck is that? That's a stream art, but it's not anything I can comprehend. Um, okay, let's save that for a little bit later. Uh, this is all pre-Yeek stuff. Okay, so that is the first piece of stream art. How the fuck did that get produced immediately? By Rack City, a user I don't recognize, actually. That's fucking crazy looking. Look at this shit. Oh no, that's still Yeek. That would have been a good punchline. It's just the, <laughs> the yard is just Yeek. Uh, gotta change the OBS setting to visualize the uh, the art. There we go. So this is something. Um, yeek is love, yeek is life, and sparkling wingdings. Skateboard, hand, star. Coffee? Is there even coffee in the game? I don't remember. Oh, there's tea, I guess, that you drink. Asriel Dreamer and Burger Pants, and they're both Yeek and Rory, and they're kissing, and there's a llama. This, this is like, 
they show this shit to the Guantanamo Bay prisoners to like break their minds. Very impressive work. I missed one. Oh yeah, the the uh, the Fumo, the Mooks uh, Fumo. I did see that. That's just a glorious little Michael Michael Fumo here that we can sacrifice to the elder gods and ultra kill maybe. I hope. That's very nice, Mooks. Elden Heek. Oh, this is the um Alex's like a uh, Elden Ring build that we were spitballing about earlier. Oh my god, you're right. The madness debuff is literally just Alex's yeeking out pose. The whole time we've been making fun of him and, and this motherfucker has been afflicted with a flame of frenzy. He's getting teleported to Kaelid. What the hell is going on? Like, yeah, M Melon is delivering all, like, the really cryptic dialogue, and Yeek is just, like, I, I called him Yeek again. It, it really, the brain poison, man. Alex is just shaking her by the collar, like, demanding to know, like, what the fuck the deep lore is. What, what is the Erd tree? Invaded by Bloody Finger Rory. Oh, no. That's an excellent interpretation of Al Elden Yeek. I'm a big fan of that. And that one is by Skeletal Bozo. But there's more. We got Walter the Frog coming in here. With that fucking horrifying Alex there. Fuck off, ghosts. Just like spraying the ghosts with fire. That is often what Alex does. There's the recap, another uh, very scary looking Tesla. Talking about vaguely ethnic women. Um, no Melitz, I, I know that your name is canonically pronounced Melina, right? But the Elden Ring one is Melina, that's how you know. I, I'm not talking about you if it's Melina. And that's just pizza pants, some, some good old fashioned pizza pants down there, you love to see it. <laughs> Looking, I love the deranged pizza pants, that, that's good. It's not really a pizza pants unless he looks fucking cracked out of his mind. Did I call Melon a Mel? Maybe I did, I don't know. We got... Ooh. What is this? Oh my god, I think someone made a Tales Gets Trolled comic, but it's Yeek. Who the fuck is this Raxity dude? Just appeared out of nowhere and is making like the most banger surrealist fan art I've ever seen. Oh no, this isn't actually Tales Gets Trolled. This is, this is really hard to articulate what this even is. This is a parody of a parody comic based on Tales Gets Trolled. Which I thought was a Rick and Morty gag, but apparently isn't. Or maybe it is. I don't remember. It seems like the kind of thing that would be in Rick and Morty, but it's maybe not. But it's definitely not from Tales Gets Trolled. But this is separate. This is now yeekified version of that. We're, we're at like a very deep layer at this point. Sorry it took us so long to save you from the time prison, Michael. So what do you do in the time prison? Well... After 50 years, I started to feel like I was losing my sanity, so I started to break my fingers. I'm gonna just break my fingers and set them again. I started breaking all my bones. I broke every bone in my hands. I broke my arms separately, and then started to break my own ribs. I broke my femurs, and it took a while. And then I healed again, and I broke them again. After 5,000 years, my bones were all scar tissue. They had grown so solidly back together that I wasn't able to move. And after another 5,000 years of furiously intense movement, I built up enough muscle mass to spontaneously break any bone in my body, and then I could move again. My body had done so much healing that I healed almost instantly. That's all I do now. Every time I move my body, my bones shatter and heal back into the next shape. If I take a single step, every bone in my leg splinters then reforms. I don't know what pain is because I've been alive for 10 million years. Oh, okay, Michael, but you just look like normal walking. I know. Okay, well, that's stupid. 
this is actually so fucking funny. Like this, the dialogue here, apart from it being yeek, that's that's a the cherry on top. But like this feels exactly like something that could be in Tales gets trolled, but it's not. It, it really, it's just a, a genius tribute to the comic, and I don't know where, if anywhere, it actually comes from. It's not a Rick and Morty gag it, officially. So okay, that's. It also seems like a Rick and Morty gag, but it's not. Just I really want to know who made this. Two bucks for a Jabronian stream length. Uh, thanks. Is does Jabroni Mike stream? I thought Jabroni Mike streamed for less long than this usually, but unless you're talking about some some other kind of Jabroni that I'm not aware of, but but thank you for the two bucks regardless. This is based on the shadow thing, yeah. But th that itself is based on Tails gets trolled, so. Oh, there it is. Raxity is in chat now. You hurt your hand making this after Michael scene because this was all I could think about. <laughs> it, it is the same vibe as walking back and then Michael just like meditating without his shirt on. <laughs> he went to the time prison. Oh, the original is posted just below that. Yeah. The, the quote unquote original, which again is not originally from Tales Gets Trolled. Oh, there's a Death version, a Death Holiday version as well. It, it's like a format now. That's cool. Um, okay, here's an Outsin one, a concept concept art. Outsin also made a Michael Fumo for some reason. Everyone just wanted the Michael Fumo really badly, as well as. Can I even get what these references are to? That's Alex Yeek as a monk, I think, being visited by angels. Um, what? <laughs> the, the reference will click eventually if I just think about it for long enough. That the theologian talk, maybe? Yeah, that could be it. Talking about like. Um, whether God exists in parallel universes, whether God can create a universe in which God does not exist, all that stuff. That's where Jersey is. Oh, it's it's Yeek, a pre-modern RPG. I get it. It's it's just like old Yeek, where the Isle of Jersey is like in the English Channel. I I don't know who this being is yet. Is, is that maybe it's like uh, that Sammy appears to like a medieval Alex as an apparition. I'm trying to form what the lore is here. It, oh, I <laughs> the, the outs in art always takes me a while. Like the layers sink in over time. It's not yeek. It is in fact yik. Like why 1k? <laughs> year, year 1000. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Oh, and these are the party members. Oh my god, this is all, like, taking so long to sink in here. Alex is playing a hurdy-gurdy. Michael is just painting people. Uh, instead of being a conspiracy theorist, Rory is a... Or a, a pacifist. He's, in fact, a, a an ascetic monk. It all works. It's all perfect, actually. <laughs> Is he wearing a great kilt? Like uh, the, the the plaid cape. I, I think kilts could actually be worn as capes. They were just these big amorphous fabric things. And I guess in the bottom corner, it's just everyone hanging out and admiring the Essentia while Michael meditates sadly in the corner with no shirt on. <laughs> Man. It's a mental workout. Oh my god, someone did the fucking, uh, whatever the, this animation meme is. Um, but Tesla, JD made one of these. I, I don't even know what the original is called here, but that's really something. I think this is based off the edit that Doc made previously. That's some high quality work, JD. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, it's Caramel Dancing. Oh, 
Okay, I think that's actually it. I didn't see any turtle art. I was surprised. I was expecting a bunch of uh, turtle fan art. Unless it's higher up. I'll do a quick check for that. No, this is definitely pre-stream stuff. No turtle, what the fuck? Oh, you said someone make turtle art as an imperative, not someone made turtle art. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, it's a dance from a hentai that's used in caramel dance and memes. I didn't need to know the origin of the dance. Like, uh, you ruined it. You went too deep. No turtles. Oh, sucks. That's an excellent showing of, of art overall. Let's, uh... Remnant always seems to link way more than I think have been posted, but, like... Oh, it includes the one underneath it. Okay, that's why. I guess that's it then. That the stream has reached its conclusion. That was a lot of yeeking. Next time I'll be back to finish up the rest of this clusterfuck with this turtle art. Did someone just post it? Okay, yeah, Doc just drew a turtle in the, the last 10 seconds. Excellent. I can show this off. And this is the official turtle that was being talked about on stream the whole time. So there you go. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, I'll finish off the rest of this um, weird kind of anticlimactic tail end to the game. I'll fill time doing some other bullshit, and then by then there'll be enough Azzy Pants to do a whole stream of nothing but reading viewer-submitted fanfiction, where Azreal and Pizza Pants just... I have to assume. I, I'm not sure what they'll be doing, but... It'll be really good. And I'll see you all then. You know, it's, it's it's fucking me up. It's really hard to do, like, an enthusiastic outro without music in the background. With the music really just, like... There we go. Much more natural. All right, this has been Andrew Cunningham streaming at you from British Columbia. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll be here next time. Same bat time, same bat place. Peace out, everyone.